Uh, <laughs> Nihilist. Okay, I'm definitely streaming. They Namibia. changed the way that Twitch channels look, which is, I mean, goddamn, is so fucking irritating. No, I don't want to host them anymore. I want to do my own stream. Thank you very much. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Somebody actually yeah. subscribed with, with Twitch Prime 11 days ago. Uh, nice. Swordsman's Chagrin. I have no idea why, because I haven't streamed in like a month. But thank you, whoever you are. Yes, uh, complain about getting money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Typical burger. Uh, ah, yeah. yes, I am like this. Okay. This is... I'm gonna ha I have to find my bearings for a second. Uh, hi! Welcome to uh, playing Lancer on Twitch. We're going to play the tabletop pen and paper RPG Lancer. Uh, I'm still trying to establish pen and paper RPG as a thing in the English language, so you're gonna have to bear with me. Uh, I'm here with uh, my boys. Uh, Ali, Anfash, Brexa, Matteo, and Sandro. Let's, for a second, introduce ourselves. Go starting with Ali. Uh, here we go. Hello, I'm Ali. Sup? <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Anfash. I uh, I do stand up, and I'm trying to start back up my YouTube channel. So hopefully that shit gets rolling soon. You are though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Nice. Brexa, my man. Yeah. Oh, I'm uh, Brexer uh, Red. My uh, code name is Skippy, and I'm a software developer in real life. For a second, I was like, "No, was that your character?" No. But no, actually, that is yeah. Yeah. Matteo. Yeah. Yo, I'm Matteo, studying physics, having fun, but and shit posting a lot on Burger's server. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty oh, much it. <laughs> Well, that leaves me. Hello, everyone. Name's Sandro. Some of you might know me as Walking Warrior, one of the mods on servers on Burger's server. I can't speak English. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm doing everything, yes. and I shouldn't. Mod uh, man. Playing... Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm studying criminal psychology. I'm also a part-time pianist and author, and you guys should check out my blog where I post uh, stuff about conlanging, and I will be posting comic books as well. This motherfucker is a serious online right. guy. It's crazy. Thank you, thank you. As for a second, I saw I'm a, I'm a, I'm a uh, amateur penis. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what the fuck? Accurate. On the weekends. <laughs> I moonlight as a penis. <laughs> oh, Brexit dropped again. Is this? Fuck. Oh. Oof. Is my man having internet? Oh, he got dropped completely. Damn. Oh, damn. Mashallah, what is going on? Yeah, what is happening? Come on, my man. Let's get, get back to it. Get back in the party, uh, my friend. There we are. He's back. Fantastic. Uh, moin. Oh, I'm, I'm waving at the camera. I shouldn't because there is no camera. Yep. Big brain time. But I just literally the last time I did one of these live streams, I was talking to the camera the whole time without the webcam <laughs> even being there because I take it down when I'm not streaming. <clears throat> because it's very uncomfortable when you're jacking off and there's just a camera looking at you. And you're like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I can, I can this imagine is that. Yeah. Just this, this is Tony the Tiger on the screen. That's already weird enough. Hell yeah, brother. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's well, let's start playing. Actually, uh, let's, start, <laughs> let's stop just doing whatever the fuck this is and uh, stop st shit posting. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, start okay, actually I'm playing sorry, Lancer. Okay, so um, uh, the system that we are in is the Galileo system. It's a system Wait. that yes, you haven't talked about the system that we're playing. Okay, Lancer is a pen and paper RPG with battle mix. Noise. Uh, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. Yeah. No, it's like, a, it's a, it's a, I'm a, I was gonna f sort of also explain the lore a little bit as I, um, 
as I introduce the system. So uh, the thing that controls most of the galaxy, well, not most of the galaxy, actually a a tiny portion of it these days uh, for humanity is a a thing called Union. They're like a post-scarcity... I feel like this... Is my mic a bit loud? Because sometimes it just jumps up extremely, while usually it just doesn't. That's weird as fuck. Anyway. I think it's fine. Okay, people in the chat will complain uh, if, if it's bad. Um, so Union is this uh, post-scarcity super utopia. So of course, it's not a perfect place, but they have... Uh, they're like, hey, uh, we're this big uh, interplanetary, intersystem government, interstellar. That's the word I was looking for. Um, and uh, we want human rights everywhere. But because the human civilization and the interconnectedness of it all, the galactic trade network has... Uh, collapsed several times over the course of the last like five to eight thousand years Uh, there's a lot of different cultures out there um of humans of people and uh, one such culture that isn't in union although it is fairly close to union space and also an extremely high population system is galileo which was um i think we have uh two characters from the galileo system right uh, Blaze and Skippy are both from the Galileo system, um, which was uh, settled uh, primarily by um, uh, Italians and Indians um, in the in like a, lo- a long, long time ago. And they're not quite. Which is at, at this point, just for context, like the term Italian would mean about the same as the term Hittite would mean to us today. Um, it's just like a vague denomination of ancestry. And there's also a lot of other peoples, especially given that the system has such incredibly high population. Almost every uh, planet, uh, celestial body, is at least, like, not explored to a certain degree. Like, there was... Except for, like, in the asteroid build where there's just too many tiny rocks that you don't give a shit about. Like, every celestial body of a decent size has had people on it at least once and most of them have some kind of settlement um there's a lot of different political powers in the system um one of which is union uh because even though of course uh, the system isn't part of union uh union does operate here uh for trade relations there is a proxy which is like it's not really governor it's here more of a diplomat uh, type situation and they also have a, a, a military presence um, which is uh, located on a thing called council station uh, which is a, a it's not in any planet's orbit it's a it's a huge space station uh, in, in an actual solar orbit of its own it's basically the heart of interplanetary politics in the Galileo system uh, where all of the uh, different um, planets and administrations uh, send representatives to uh, talk about problems that concern the system on a system-wide scale and union also has offices here where they maintain a small military presence and they also hire people like you lancers which are basically i mean some people would call them mercenaries but frankly that's a that's a bit of a simplistic way of looking at it because they're more like hero mercenaries very often working in like actual just exclusively for union uh they're they're like um uh, for, what's the what's the english word for the knights 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 errant yes uh knights errant essentially uh flying through space um and this particular team ha- it comes from space uh, from a, from different systems even though two of the characters were born here they returned after uh, meeting up in the long rim i think you guys met up to come yep. back to this system to do some work for union and even though uh and there's you know there's you found a job that you could do um they were looking for a team of lancers to take care of a particular situation union was uh, and even though uh, the guy in charge of union operations um for lancers in in this particular system is uh, major Celacio valdez uh, you're not quite important enough yet to get to talk to him. So instead, you're talking to his basically right-hand man, Lieutenant Commander Odin Catalano, um, who, uh, from the two people who are from the system here, uh, can tell isn't actually himself 
from uh, this Galileo system here. And so you all find yourself it, yourselves in this uh, quite large uh, conference room. It's uh, it's very it's very high. It's it's very clean. It's all like uh, white plastic and actual some a little bit of real wood on the tables. A lot of like from the terms of aesthetic, like the Normandy and Mass Effect Two, but with a bit less orange. Um, it's all it's all very clean. He's wearing his uh, his fairly simple, almost not quite militaristic looking uh, Union uniform, uh, and has you assembled around this table. Uh, there's uh, holograms um, projecting at this point not quite any specific data, but just the bulletin that you guys found. Um, and uh, <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> I'm just reading the chat. Also, um, I'm gonna butcher a lot of Italian, my man. This is this is that's why I want you on this in the stream. I, I didn't care that you like to play Lancer. I just wanted to make you mad <laughs> by mispronouncing right. Italian things. Valid, valid way to harass your friends. <laughs> Para me. <laughs> uh yeah uh, uh yeah so basically let's go uh, around the table starting with uh, with the uh, baron uh, introduce our characters a little bit who are they uh just you know surface level things that the other characters might know about you and thus the audience should maybe know about you as well i do have to start again yeah um i'm playing baron who's actually called yando nibiro of the house of order he is uh exiled baron, actual baron from the trade baronies of Karakin, which is a pretty big organization in the Lancer universe. And yeah, since he and his family have pretty much been exiled, he's questing and being a knight errant. A nobleman defending people's rights. What the nobleman should do. Noblesse oblige. Do I have to talk about my mech too? You don't really know. We can do that later. Yeah. Uh, my turn then. Um, Giovanna. Giovanna is uh, a native of the Galileo system, a member of uh, essentially the equivalent of nobility in the system, but not quite. Uh, essentially, she's a direct descendant of the first Italian colonists, and uh, there is some friction between the the first the, the, the direct descendants and basically everyone else because they got there later and um, she's she went out uh, you know probably through talking to her that she's gone out in the galaxy to gain enough uh, license levels literally because that's the in universe way of uh, Lancer's uh, getting gear to be able to utilize her family's ancestral mech Just for a little bit of context here, uh, for a second, uh, there, she's from the uh, world of Sambav, which she would call Fiducia, uh, because this is it's a terraformed Gaia world, it's one of the two uh, Gaia worlds in the system, which is like a huge bounty in terms of Gaia worlds. And basically it was colonized by Italians, but eventually like a lot of people from the rest of the system went there because it has an open sky and you can breathe the atmosphere which obviously the other uh, alien world also has an open sky but you can't breathe the atmosphere because it's an alien ecosystem um and so uh what well, there is one government uh on sambav which is the official government but there's also a parallel government that has their own elections but you have to be descended directly from the first colonists uh, of uh, fiducia to be able to vote in that government, and this that's like a big conflict in this law. Other than that, she's quite good at mech engineering and uh, does her things. Oh, it's me. Okay. Um, hmm. So I'm, I'm not I, okay. I'm not very good at the character thingy. All right. I'm sorry. It's my first time playing Lancer. All right. Um, but I'm not sure if I should say some things about my character that Berger knows about, but uh, other people may not know. Well, I mean, what do you, what would Only, the other yeah. characters know about him? What, sorry? What would the other characters know about him? Okay, so, uh, my character's name is, uh, my character's full name is, um, uh, Roberto Carlos Buccanelli de la Vida Nuova, and, um, 
they basically the other characters well my partners here know that um, I I just essentially keep to myself I don't talk much I only talk when I have something important to say um, I'm a very private person very secretive um, and they don't really know where I came from um, they they suspect that I am a uh, that I might be hiding for something, from something or from someone, and uh, that's about it. Okay. So, uh, my guy, John Smith, uh, he was a mechanic, uh, an outer worlder, I guess, right? Wouldn't that be the term? And was feeling very lost and directionless in life, so he built himself a um, lancer and. Uh, no, you now. are a lancer. Oh, yeah. okay. Built himself a mech and became a lancer. Sorry, sorry. And uh, still, still doesn't seem too happy. Uh, but you know, he's trying. <laughs> Just the depressed character. <laughs> <laughs> can, we can't run away from depression. It's <laughs> it's a major theme. He certainly tried. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right, uh... All right. So uh, my character is was born on the uh, planet Bari, and his family worked for the uh, Bari Energy Company. Um, his parents attempted to advance in the uh, corporate ladder and ended up losing their lives because of that. So he was shipped outside of system. He was outside of the system, the planet he was staying on had a uh, tyrannical government, and uh, during his time there he joined a freedom group to uh, fight back against them, and uh, eventually got a uh, hacking mech in order to uh, do so. Um, uh, he was able to liberate a little bit of the information on the planet, but they ended up chasing him off planet, so now after 22 years he has returned to uh, um, his home. And he is trying to uh, find work to uh, get by. Twenty-two years objective, by the way, not subjective. Yeah, because you look a bit younger than uh, like fucking forty. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, that's that's basically the people sitting around this table for the uh, benefit of the viewers. They do know each other a little bit. They have worked together in the past. Um, yeah. So uh, this brings them to uh, Odin Catalano, who who is uh, sitting there eyeing. He's sitting you, I. Uh, he's sitting there eyeing you a bit, a bit suspiciously, because obviously you are new, and you are not. Uh, he doesn't know how trustworthy you are yet. But I mean, you know, you have the records, and so so he begins. Um, thank you all very much for uh, meeting me today. Um, this is uh, of course a. Uh, one of the more, um, let us say, clandestine operations of Union. Uh, we are working, let us say, in conjunction, possibly, with the uh, Harrison Armory, who have lost um, a cargo. There was a, they have uh, stations out in the Shadow Belt. This is an asteroid belt, the outermost asteroid belt in the... Um, in the system, and so he pulls up a, a, a picture of a, of a big freighter. Um, it's a hologram that is now like floating in the middle of the room. This uh, ship, this ship is called the Balena Nera, and it uh, came from the Shadow Belt. This is an independently contracted ship, and they use it to uh, move cargo from there to uh, different planets and different facilities in the system. Uh, however, uh, it was flying around um, Nilam. The, Nilam is the outermost uh, gas giant. It's a, it's a, it's blue, basically. It's it's a blue gas giant. Like Uranus. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, ex except like a bit bigger than than Uranus. It's pronounced Uranus. It's a big. Uh, Actually, it's pronounced your mom. <laughs> Uh, fair, she is fat. No, I, I mean, she's... though, uh, you can't actually say Uranus, though. It's, that's allowed. Okay. No. Yeah. Yeah, that's, you, you, that's legal in most states. 
Americans. Not in California, though. That's you can't say that. There. Um, yeah, uh, it was. Uh, it disappeared. Uh, none of the scopes that we have been able to tap uh, show where it has disappeared, or where it has gone. It is as though it was stricken off the map, which is not entirely unusual in that uh, general part of the system. It is, uh, you might say, our frontier. Sometimes uh, expensive cargo gets hijacked by pirates. Uh, it is a, a real nuisance. However, this is a special problem because uh, it was carrying high-tech weaponry uh, manufactured by Harrison Armory in the outer system. Uh, we are not exactly clear what kind of weaponry it is. Uh, we got this information of a contact within the corporation. This is not an official mandate from Harrison Armory you will be working under. It mm. will be in Union, primarily. Uh, if I may, um, how does the Armory lose a ship? I thought they were the experts of ship defense. Or is North Star starting to edge over? Well, uh, the Balenanera is not an official Harrison Armory ship. It might have been one of their subsidiaries who actually loaded. Uh, it is some kind of registered company. Mm. And why might that be? We are uh, black ops, obviously. Why would they, why would they, use, why would they use their official ships? Uh, well, the presence of Harrison Armory is uh, in this system primarily uh, situated to the core worlds, the the key planets, the inner planets. Uh, it is not unusual for them to. Um, operate through uh, it might be a subsidiary this is not actually clear sometimes data transfer is uh, more time consuming than uh, it is essential to act quickly you understand but yes uh, it, i i do i do find it highly unusual all right so basically retrieve some kind of uh, ha weapon probably no weapons paracol. plural weapons probably paracausal knowing ha um, sure. I mean, anyone else got any reservations? No. I How that much do we can pay? Memory, right? There is one complication mm -hmm. that I do believe you should be aware of. Um, what is happening? I am, uh, hello, I am at the GM info overlay. Let me manipulate things on the GM info overlay, you fucking piece of shit. God damn it. Um, Jesus Christ. Um, there is uh, one problem that, um, and this is uh, only intelligence rumors, but I do think it is important to inform you about this. Another, I do not think he is worthy of the title, but I mean, there is a lot of different definitions for what is and what is not a Lancer out there. Um, there is someone else of your trade who has been last spotted in the Nilam planetary system um, and who has since gone dark. And uh, the way that we track him is we always know that when he drops off our radar, it is because he is doing something um, less than kosher, shall we say? He too is a Lancer. Okay, why is this not visible? Is he visible now? Yep. No. Okay, he isn't visible on the stream, though. That is... Yeah, he's visible for us, though. Yeah, yeah. why is he not visible on the stream? Uh, this is the stream a little bit ah, because the window was minimized in the background. This makes sense. Okay. There you okay, go. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. Um... Uh... A lancer named uh, Vulture, one of uh, our locals, you might say. I personally wouldn't put him in the category of lancer. He is not honorable. I have never worked with him. I would never work with him. But uh, he is a very dangerous man, and uh, there is reason to believe, not definitively, but through uh, a well-informed guess that he might be involved in this situation in some manner. Is there a bounty on his head? Uh, we have never been able to confirm anything, but um, mm. there are probably some people who would like to see him well, taken out, alive. taken down a notch, maybe. It is. It would obviously, uh, you know, he, he would need to be delivered to the courts. Mm. 
to face Although, trials. Somehow, we need to take him alive. That's fair. I mean, if he's shooting at us, we should be free to defend ourselves. Obviously, you can't defend yourselves, but, uh, you know. Yep, sure. Within a reason. Mm hmm. Any information on how he gained his licenses? I assume he has some if he's running around as a lancer. Wealth. He is very good at what he does. He most often works for criminal elements in the system. Mm. Which is why we are so concerned that we can't find him right now, at this crucial time. If these, we do not want these weapons to end up in the hands of cartels, specifically the Lagrimas cartel he often works with. Ah. Uh, possible ties with Horus? Mm. Whatever. I mean, I don't see how Horus should be a bad organization. They are chaotic, but not evil. Who knows what they do? How much are you getting paid for the job? Mm. Uh, the, okay, so this you have never played Lance before, right? Uh, <laughs> no, I told you, I told you. Uh, I never Five thousand uh, credits. No, I mean that basically. Uh, yeah, you get. I mean, you'd get a license get level, but a this is a one. Fuck ton of money as well. Yeah, you basically get a lot of cash. <laughs> yeah, okay, Lancers are funny. very rich. Yeah. All right, all right, fair, fair. <laughs> They're not quite Empyreans. Okay, so at, at this point, uh, uh, the door opens. Um, to the conference room um, and uh, uh, Odin Catalano gets up um, and he, he salutes he salutes in a way that like senior officers salute officers that are more senior to them it's not like this very stiff rigid almost yeah, nervous like he, waits for, he waits uh, for the other person to salute first uh, almost yeah. nervous uh, kind of saluting to your to some high officer it's like a, you are at my superior in the chain of command and I will show you the due respect, but also we're kind of friends. Um, hmm. uh, as this uh, man in a slightly more ornate uniform enters, uh, Major Celacio Valdez, um, who looks uh, who looks around, and uh, his eyes trail until they uh, they stop on on Blaze. Is it true then? There is a new Varani in the system. Yes, yes, there is, finally. It's been long enough, don't yes. you think? Yes, yes, it, it has been a while. Uh, most of the, let's say, hereditary Lancer lines, um, well, they're not really active anymore. Yeah. Miss, uh, Miss Baral is still active. Oathkeeper, you might know her. But uh, actually, he doesn't have an accent. He's j they just is yeah. Earthkeeper. You, you might know her, but yeah. other than that, I met a couple times. Yeah, well, you know, I actually was in system to claim um, the uh, the king killer. Have you claimed it? Ah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Up to you. <laughs> I mean, do you have the? Is that the mech that you're using? Yes, yes, yes. It is. Okay, well then you have. Yeah. It. Uh, recently, yes. Before coming to see what the job was. I remember um, being a young boy when your predecessor was using it. It was quite the media spectacle whenever he showed up. I hope you will do it honor. Well, let's hope so. Yes, uh, please forgive my intrusion. I just wanted to see this for myself. Also, a good day to all of you. I will be leaving now. And he she just... He amicably. He just sort of leaves. Um, uh, and the uh, Catalano goes, Hmm, then you got to see uh, the commander, after all, eh? The major. Mm. Do you have any questions? looks around to the everyone else you will be provided uh, with again. with uh, this ship to travel around the system obviously um, uh, it, it, it has a, an NHP pilot so please do not use it to make uh, strange combat maneuvers because it will not be able to do so 
Uh, unless you yourselves can pilot ships. This is only to get you around. It has facilities for a total of six mechs. Uh, you will obviously only need five. Uh, they are not. It is not one of the the primo ones. It is. Uh, I would mm. not say second rate, but better to go under the radar. Mm. Um, I mean, it it does. It is flying Union colors. Mm. Useful. So no special NHP variant. No, it is uh, a simple piloting Shame. NHP. All right. Regularly cycled, in very good condition. We can work with this. <laughs> he uh, he provides you with a set of uh, like navigational data as to like uh, telemetry as to where the Balena Nera. I will actually write it down in chat. Mm -hmm. This is the name of the ship. Um, mm -hmm. uh, was was spotted uh, the last uh, uh, available data and uh, yeah uh, uh, like a full map of the Neelum 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 planetary system um, mm. yeah and that basically if you have no further questions I will leave you with my office connection number if I am not there you will be speaking to my secretary oh, very well Union hopes uh, for your cooperation and discretion in this matter. Of course. Don't want Harrison Armories lost in the system either, so I don't see why we would not. Let's go! Shall we? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Uh, okay, let's. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, uh, so on your uh, nice little ship, it truly isn't the most state of the... I mean, unless you want to go somewhere else. You wanted to go to the ship, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just checking. Um, yeah, the is ship... Some kind of, uh, sorry. Is yeah. there some kind of room in the ship where we can just all talk and plan this thing out? Oh yeah, this is so. Uh, this is a. Uh, it's not a, a huge state-of-the-art ship, but it is a, a, a decent mech transport. Not necessarily uh, made for lances, but just military mech deployment, uh, moving mechs around the system. Um, it's an in-system ship. It it couldn't go into Stella if it wanted to, but as that goes, it is actually it is fairly quick, um, fairly sturdy, military issues, so no fancy comforts. But also, it's not entirely uncomfortable. There's a, there's even a, a, a bit, a little bit of greenery, in very specific boxes to keep up crew morale. And the food is decent. That is always stocked here. Um, this is obviously this has been leased to you. Um, it, it it doesn't even have a real name. It just goes by this number. Um, this is this is the the Union Transporter Eight Eight Seven. Um, very standardized. Uh, you, you might have actually seen one of these in a different system before, depending on how long you've been working as a lancer and how often you've worked for Union. Um, yeah, and it has it has a, like office spaces. It, it has cabins for all of you and even more crew people, uh, potentially. And uh, of, and you, all of your mechs uh, have been loaded onto it. Uh, yeah, and the, there's a there's an NHP there that doesn't really have much of a personality um, and it will be at your service as you require okay. so now you can think about how you wish to approach the problem of finding this lost transport okay as I see it this is very simple the transport is, large, is lost we know where it was last seen we should set up a perimeter and we should keep track of all incoming traffic around that perimeter. Make sure no one can surprise us. Sounds right. good. Uh, Sounds we good. should, yeah, investigate the last uh, last known locations and the projected trajectory. I assume. Let's see. Right. Um, Do you wish me to start the journey to Neelam? Not yet. No. Still planning. That sounds. Yeah. 
I mean, well, we're gonna have some time before we get there. I mean, yeah, it's probably it's probably gonna take you like a day to arrive there. Okay, so. okay. Yeah, right, yeah. Sure, we can we can plan the rest. It's as pretty we big. Yeah, space is pretty big. I mean, hiding somewhere out there wouldn't be that hard. True. Anyway, I mean, I mean, you could just fly dark and slingshot somewhere, and no one would ever see you. We could do that. Yes. True. True. I mean, before we plant, shouldn't we figure out what everybody specialized in? I mean, no. um, been working on like together already. Uh, I, mean, yeah, what, I don't think we. I mean, okay. <laughs> it's I just think that would help with the planning a little bit, but you know, just the backstory, my dude. <laughs> all right. Okay. Um, well, all right. Who wants to start? Fair enough. Right. You can set course for Neelam. Setting Neelam. course for Neelam. And you kind of, you know, the, the uh, gravity sort of disappears for a moment as the ship uh, disconnects from the ring station, a uh, council station. And there's a bit of a thruster activity, a moment of zero-g as it moves over. And after like uh, maybe 20 minutes of just zero-g going away from the station, it goes... <laughs> And the, the, the engine start and the whole ship starts to rattle. And you get pressed down by the acceleration at a steady, nice and comfortable 1G. Alright. Not All right. All right. Uh, one thing stuck with Projected me. flip and burn in 13 hours and 45 minutes. Oh shit. We Alright, well, that definitely gives us enough time to plan. Yes. Yeah. Right. Odin was talking about that uh, this was not one of their official ships, right? This seems this seems like some black ops or some fucking corrupt shit. And he didn't give us an inventory of the weaponry inside the cargo ship. So I think Oh, this is this I is think, definitely Harrison's fuckery. Harrison yeah, I think, I, think, I think some questions are in order, but we obviously can't ask directly. So, what we should do is we should retrieve the cargo, if we can, and we should keep some for ourselves, because if it goes missing, they will come back to try and find it, and then we'll have our answers. I mean... You sure you want to fuck with the, whatever the armory does? It's not usually the safest things. Mm. Wouldn't want to be accidentally pulled into blink space without a spacesuit. Yeah, also the Harrison Armory is something like Corpora State, Big Kingdom slash Galactic Superpower, rivaling Union sometimes. There's yeah, also well, a lot to gain though, isn't there? Yeah, they don't have much to gain from in, in occupying the system just to get back a couple of weapons. They already have their bases, and they to exist, they do need people outside to keep buying their products. Well, if that's the case, then they won't mind a few weapons missing. Uh, sure, if you want to learn how to use them, do okay. so on your own time. I mean, it's not like we're gonna miss any, or miss much of that. So what else should we do? Any bright ideas? I mean, for now, get a scan of the area when we when we're there. Keep radar, keep our you know visuals peeled, and hope they come to us. I guess that would I'm make not it easy. hoping for that. Yeah, isn't the reason that we're in this shitty shuttle is so they don't come to us so we're under the radar? You're not under the radar. This is a very obvious Union shuttle. Like, everybody who'd see... It has an official Union transponder. Alright. Well, okay. <laughs> Perhaps we should change that transponder, hey? Yeah. That would that not really be legal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not surprised that the mercenary suggesting that, but 
Eh, I mean... If you're expecting a comeback, then you'll have to scrape it off your mom's teeth. <laughs> okay, <laughs> as you travel... Uh, after 13 hours and 45 minutes, there's a, a 15 minutes without gravity as the ship sort of flips and then gravity returns as it decelerates towards your destination and uh, another 13 hours and 45 minutes later whatever you've been doing during this time period well w how would you guys spend your free time during this mm. well i'm gathering intel probably i don't know how with how... my back yeah i'd be doing the same thing i'd be tinkering with my back yeah go fix up my uh Improvise well, my various outfitted weapons. My mech is in perfect condition, so no need for that. I'm just gathering intel. How okay? Do you have? I mean, do you want to roll for gathering intel of some kind? Uh, yes. Okay, but was uh, it one of? What's like what's your triggers? My triggers. Oh, you mean my abilities? Yeah. Okay, I have blow something up, pull rank, charm, take someone out. Okay, so you don't have any special. You don't get special uh, things for that. Okay. Is this going to be, like, downtime actions? Uh, well, no, I'm just going to give him, like, this yeah, one shot. Okay. Also, because you, like, have no contacts in system, I'd say it's, like, a, a, a like a one level of difficulty. Um, right. Which, I mean, you could just, yeah, you, you just roll. Do you know how to roll that on the character sheet? Uh, no, I don't, actually. Okay, so basically, uh, you have at the top... Yeah. Uh, there's like pilot talents, mech, all that. You can click on the pilot thing, uh, and to the right of that, you have uh, um, uh, ACC diff, uh, and you would go, uh, you would click diff, right, um, and then do put a one where the zero is. Uh, man, I can't find that. Uh, is that on my dossier? No. Uh, it's on. Are you are you in CompCon right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't be in CompCon uh, right now. Be on the okay. character sheet and roll twenty. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, where the pilot is, there you have. You can roll with accuracy or difficulty, and there's a sort of uh, there's a drop down menu for the number of accuracy or difficulty up to four. So do I, do I, what dice do I? What die do I roll? A d twenty. But you have to. But you have to. It has to be calculated with difficulty, which is minus one d six. Oh god. Oh fuck. I'm sorry. <laughs> which is minus one d six. Please let me finish talking. Okay. okay but okay, I'm sorry. this wouldn't have. I mean, if this is minus one d six, it wouldn't have worked anyway. Yeah. So, uh, all, because unfortunately, you don't have really a lot of contacts in the system, and there's a lot of light lag. Uh, though you ask around through the like common Lancer channels that exist in pretty much all systems the only things you hear are like fucking i don't know i didn't even know the transport disappeared what do you mean the vulture the vulture of course i mean he would be involved with something like this but how about it maybe you don't fuck with him it's not a good idea nothing useful knowing that i have data plating i probably am seeing also this scrolling by um scrolling by looking uh, looking over like chat logs and be like ah, all right sure uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to help poor uh, poor Roberto in fucking getting any piece of information calling up my friends I already know okay I mean you could if unless you had something special for that you could do a regular d20 uh, word right? on the street yes oh that's a good one Bam. Tremendous. Uh, 21 just even. Holy, up, my shit. Friend. Damn. Holy shit. Damn. Alright, fuck it. Sure. Uh, call up my friends. So, yeah, you uh, through a, a, a series of calls um, and a, like a, a chat logs, um, the, the, the dark back rooms of the Lancer world online, of course. Uh, slowed down a little bit by the light lag of traveling through system. Ooh, but I have a Omni hook. You have a what now? Omni hook. I have access to the Omni net. Yeah, and that's infinite speed, though. 
Yeah. Holy it, shit. It uses, it uses blink space. This, uh, this is, uh, okay, this is anti-physics, okay? Oh, you didn't know that there's, like, blink space, which is just... No, I knew about blink space, but it's... I've, I'm, I'm, I'm not too deep in the Lancer lore. I'm just moderately deep in it. All the technical shit, I kind of oh, skipped. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Omni hooks are difficult... Uh, kind of, like, difficult to operate if you don't know how to do it, and they're, like, low bandwidth, so you can't really do much past, past like, uh, essentially what you could be able to do on a 3G network. So it's... So loading a titty pick is, like, half an hour. Yeah, so it takes a while, but you, it's totally good for like messaging and even even some video calling you can do. Um, but yeah, it's all it's all basically it it works kind of like blink space for ships, uh, where it's like uh, you would need to accelerate, except that given that radio waves are already traveling at the speed of light, it's just easy to pass them through immediately. Okay, so apparently uh, there was a guy. On the on the on one of the moons of Neelam, just some dude working out in like not necessarily the fields. For whatever reason, he was fairly out on the moon Pancho. Uh, let me put that here. Okay. Which is also uh, that's where near this moon is where the Balena Nera disappeared. Mm -hmm. And he apparently saw. Like a, a big spaceship was like something drop somewhere on the moon. Uh, like he he thinks it might have been a crashing spaceship, and he isn't the kind of guy to make that kind of stuff up. Um, right. So the it might so it probably could be found on Pancho, uh, where the main settlement of that moon is uh, uh, is uh, let me let me find this. Resplendida, which is because this is not one of the Italian settlements. Uh, Neelam is inhabited mostly by uh, people of Hispanic and uh, Turkish ancestry. Although the thing about Neelam as a, a planet, as a planetary system, is that there are some, there are a lot of crazy people who live there. Because not only is it fairly far out from civilization, but there's also like ancient floating structures of unknown origin. Fuck, uh, that was, uh, ah, yes. <laughs> I was just playing with the engines. <laughs> um, uh, there's like ancient floating structures of unknown origin mm. that is in some way technological on the gas giant itself. Um, mm. That are that are like have been extremely difficult to even like send drones into on account of it's a fucking gas giant. Um, so it's no a modest interference. It's a it's a hot spot for crazy people, is what I'm yeah. saying. Some kind of alien structure is not monist or anything. Uh, who knows? Uh, who knows, fair enough. They've How been there for a while. Like I they mean, knowing monist, knowing monist one, it might just have gone back in time to make them. They were discovered uh, at, a, at like a later point after like they were discovered after the system was settled like a couple centuries after um yeah, but like nobody had neelam is like very far out there they there wasn't really much of a reason to go there uh yeah. as, aside from like not being on the like nice worlds because there's nothing really inhabitable on neelam i mean there's gas yeah or like the moons of neelam people hang out there yeah, nobody lives on neelam yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. all right so that is that is what you manage to figure out. Send the ping out to everyone but Roberto because of his nasty comment earlier. Oof. Oof. Be like, well, no, actually, no. It would be to everyone. Be like, well, saw Roberto was trying to get some info, pulled some strings. Um, yeah, decides to to lend a hand. And yeah, I post the information for everyone to see and be like, I guess we have a destination. Which is... I wasn't listening to all of this. You have to tell me that. Oh. Uh... Carol, I'm sorry. <laughs> Pancho, the moon, some... 
technician was working outside. Um, I mean, you don't saw... you don't have to repeat this because yeah. you posted the you literally posted the information. Yeah, but Sandra's a bitch. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So we're going to we're going to Bancho. All right, let's go. Yeah, we're going to Bancho. Sounds like the plan. Okay, so after this, uh, your your whole travel time, which should have been like a, a, a while. Let me let me do the math on this real quick. Uh, wait. I mean, it depends on where it was in system. Yeah, that would be twenty seven hours and forty five minutes of total travel time. Um, I just had to. No, I literally what I had to do was add the two together and then add 15 minutes because okay, I okay. am literally retarded I mean you okay. say that but you're actually dyscalculic aren't you yeah, yes the, I think I'm pretty sure that counts as being <laughs> retarded at <laughs> least I, I at least it should <laughs> oh Cito has renewed his, 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 his twitch uh, twitch prime subscription uh, thank you very much uh, Cito for five months damn um uh, uh I got you got an emo mode thanks to Cito's subscription. What does this mean? What does this mean? Also Rat oh, Appreciator a custom emotes. And the Girk Birken yeah. has have uh followed. That's pretty cool. Um also I just realized I always, when I do these streams, the reason I make the uh, do the give these chat rooms, the the World Twenty rooms, these great names like Ted Kaczynski's Parcel Delivery Service, is because I'm of the opinion that you can't see this on stream, but you actually can if you look at the name of the tab. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> well, that my <laughs> that's not a problem. Um, <laughs> Oh my god. Hell oh, yeah, dude. What I want to do. <laughs> just click <laughs> buttons. Activating, yeah. yeah. Look, I, I have never used D20, okay? I'm just, who, uh... who, go, who cares? Just click buttons. Yeah, yeah. Click right. everything, brother. So Neelum is this uh, massive sort of dark because it's quite far away uh, from the sun. D blue gas giant with like e e streaks on it that are almost as black as the darkness of space. But there's also, like, little dots of light that occasionally seem to break through the cloud cover, uh, which are probably these ancient, uh, ancient structures, which must be extremely fucking bright to do that. Uh, it has a number of moons, as all gas giants do. Uh, Pancho specifically is as unremarkable as a moon can be. It's just a grey regolith moon with some, but some gashes on it like big claws of a, of a massive beast that cut over it once and in one of those gashes uh, several kilometers wide obviously uh, is located the city of Resplendida uh, with its own spaceport obviously you, you're not allowed to fly spaceships inside of the gashes on account of um, it's dangerous uh, you can only fly like planet going not the planetary system going spaceships, but interplanetary already there's a restriction on that. People here don't like it. So if you want to land here, you will have to park at the spaceport, if that even is what you do. Because coming to the point where the Balena Nera was last seen, you find nothing at first glance. It's it's a, sp a piece of space. Mm. Right, well... Probably should investigate the surface, given that someone said that people have reported that a spaceship fell out of orbit. Um, do you want to dock or do you want to stay in orbit? Definitely stay in orbit. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that's right, right, yeah. I hope everyone has strong enough propulsion systems for that. <laughs> nah. Um, I mean, we're going to need a shuttle of some kind if we want to go to ground. I mean, you can... The spaceship can go to ground, but you don't have a shuttle that you could deploy your mechs with. Oh, so the spaceship can can land on the planet? Yeah. So the spaceship is pretty much a shuttle, too. 
Yeah. Yeah, the correct. spaceship. Yeah, it's. I mean, because it doesn't. It's not atmosphere rated, but the. Uh, okay. Yeah. So I mean, this it yeah. doesn't have it. It doesn't have an atmosphere, and it's also fairly low gravity. So. Well, I mean, it kind of needs landing struts at least. Unless it does have land those. And, yeah, it does okay, have yeah. those. Right. Um. Sure. Um. Well, okay. I suggest. I'm going to suggest something. What if we keep it static above the surface and we get down the last few uh, hundred meters uh, with with uh, our frames? I don't like that idea too much, but I'm willing to do it. I mean, not that we we need, do need to get to the surface somehow, and it's not realistic to get all the way there. Yeah, I know. I mean, apart from, I guess, Skippy, yeah? Is that the is the dusk wing in the hangar yours? I think so, right? Skippy? Yep. You have the dusk wing, right? Yes, that's mine. Yeah, you could get all the way down from there. Re I read the documentation. But right. don't think anyone else could. Alrighty. And, uh, will you guys be, uh, following along? I mean, no, you don't have to. We're going down, all, all of us. Right. Where would so you be going down? I want to execute. Um, uh, not too close to the, uh, like, close enough that it's, like, within mech walking distance of the spaceship. Uh, of the of the location of the person that saw the spaceship. Okay, but well, you it, don't it, know where that was. You know that oh. there was some person who did see something in some general region that's like several... It's probably like 3,000 square kilometers. Right. Uh, okay. Wherein that could have happened. Because they... Also, I mean, you, you know the approximate location of where they were, but then they saw the ship at a distance... They didn't know what ha what the, that was even, and maybe it went down here, maybe it went down there. Yeah, fair enough. Um, from like a objective. from a basic like uh, sweep, you don't see any obvious crash sites. Hmm. Yes, there's a variety of ways that we can go about actually getting to the destination. Scratch that, then I guess. Uh. We could, uh, you know, get some investigation done at the main city, see if the weapons pass through there. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I'm down. Oh, we can definitely get out to that way. Sure. Cool. Let's try that then. So, right. how, do you want to oh. descend with the spaceship to the main city? Yeah. yeah I mean, I assume there's like spaceports for the or land. Yeah, there's land. a spaceport, and again, the system can land anywhere on the planet, uh, on the moon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just because yeah. that seems, yeah, yeah. There's a spaceport. They're a completely serviceable, uh, mostly cargo spaceport, but obviously, you know, it has smaller facilities that that can accommodate your ship as well. Yeah, good enough. Interesting. So the NHP, without much uh, uh, mucking around, uh, gets docking clearance, everything. Probably no person has at this point been involved with you arriving in the city. Your identities have been confirmed. Still no human being even knows. You're logged in a thousand databases. Nobody actually knows. Uh, so this, this union ship lands... Uh, in like a like a docking tube, essentially, the walls are made out of the the natural gray regolith stone, um, and there's a, a tunnel, a pressurized tunnel extended to your uh, docking, with like adjustable, uh, with an, an adjustable like suction area. What what would you call that? Like the the thing that connects to your airlock. Umbilical. Uh, yeah, the umbilical. Exactly. The uh, fucking yeah. It's uh, the the um. Uh, umbilical is adjustable to whatever size airlock you have, but, uh, you know, unfortunately Union has a standard size. Uh, mm -hmm. And, yeah, basically you can just walk out of this dock. Uh, fees will be paid by Union. 
and yep. there would be no one there because literally nobody cares that you've just landed. Yep. Uh, yeah. I'd uh, specifically instruct uh, uh, my frame, my ComCon unit to, you know, stay hidden, but don't get too far from me. Trail us, basically. Okay. As we go around the city, and uh, okay, yeah. as you you leave your uh, the 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 thing, it's uh, first you arrive at like a it's a fairly it's not like run down but it's very practical, uh, industrial. There's a lot of cargo being moved around. You see some people here and there. Uh, they give you a, a short look. They're wearing like you know big the the yellow vests and. Uh, operating machinery but mostly what you find here is robots and drones doing work and fur and then further into the city it begins with like uh, some of the you know the the moderate spaceport kind of entertainment so you have bars that so it's cheap bars that double as like eateries bistros where you could yeah. get cheap food and brothels also a lot of brothels yep. And the city itself is is not much better than this. It's a, it, it seems to be fairly poor. It's very, um, the corridors are very large, very, um, very like straight angles. Uh, there's big. Uh, I always forget words. I fucking hate it. At this, I forget words in German too, and they only come to me in English. And in English, I forget. I have words in German only. And there's never a decent flow. I can no longer maintain conversations. Oh. <laughs> I have lost the underscore ability. IRL apart from the fact that sometimes I don't remember them in any of the languages I speak. Yeah. <laughs> That's the worst. <laughs> so there's like uh, like a big suspended rails above where uh, well mostly nothing happens. Um, corridors are, are you know wide sheet metal floors. Uh, compressed regolith for walls, um, and yeah, you you walk through this uh, area. It's uh, a lot of empty or closed down stores. Not in the sense that they 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 used to be something here, but in the sense that there was never anything here. There's this is just an empty commercial space that has always been empty. Fair enough. All right. Well. Um first port of call i'm gonna see if i can contact the dude that gave me the information and like arrange meeting or something uh the dude that gave you the info who knows who knew a guy who knew a guy he doesn't live here he just has oh, okay. a cousin who has a cousin and uh all right who gay who lives here all right um can we find that cousin who has a cousin who has a cousin uh yeah we could do that or we could start you know asking around for the weapons uh, I can ask around and I can use my ability, uh, what's it called? Charm? I mean... Hmm. Um... Yeah, I'll drop a few lines. I mean, I have a couple of contacts and... Yeah, uh... Could probably get lines with the local undergrounds. Is, is, is right. anyone is anyone around us who's, who seems like they may know anything? I um, mean, there's not. not really anyone around you. There's the occasional yeah. people that walk by, give you a short glance, and then continue walking. Most of them are, uh, uh, like, big time focused on Jando or Nebero, who is dressed in ostentatious clothing, you might say, moderately. Unless you're, you're not. Like the people here. Um, it, so, by your description, this wouldn't be, like, the best uh, space station, right? Yeah. Like, it would be kind of... It's seedy. Space oh, it's, yeah, not, okay. it's not super seedy. It's just kind of, like, poor. Desolate. Okay, it, it's not seedy? Because I was going to say, um, if I could, while they're looking around, uh, just uh, keep survive up, just paying attention around, and if anything happens when people are doing things, I would know. Um, because it says, uh, I can navigate or avoid, uh, natural or man-made, uh, hazards, such as navigating a city safely or avoiding dangerous areas of the space station. Yeah, you can, you can roll me for that. 
Okay, and uh, how would I do that again? Because I uh, there you can just I mean, is it on the cat? Did you port the character sheet sheet into Roll Twenty? I asked you if I could do that, and you said no. How do, how do I do that? Okay, then I mean, you don't you can't have to port it directly. You need to input everything, but yeah. manually. Yeah. But if you did that. Uh, un- I but I see you didn't do it. Uh, well, how how high is your trigger to that? Four. Okay, then roll one d twenty plus four. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Sorry about that. Just- no well, stress. First thing. First things first. Who's up for a drink? How do I how do I put the modifier on the twenty? I'm so sorry. I- Just a uh, plus four. Okay, well, plus four to that would be twenty two. Yeah. You have a very good eye on the general situation. There's probably not not going to be anything that escapes. Um, Sorry. You. All right. Using word on the street, can I um, basically take them to the local kind of you know less uh, you know the, the the hangout spot for the less than legal elements? I mean, yeah. You could find that. Cool. I'm gonna try to take them there, basically. Ask them, so who's up for a drink? Uh, sure, man. If they have something with taste. <laughs> I'll have a glass of milk. You, you're you lucky if the taste is not rust here. Yeah. Um, so, where do we end up? Uh yeah you uh, so it's 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 actually not that far uh away it's actually this is nicer than you would have imagined because it it actually opens up it has like a big uh glass front opening up to the to the canyon outside to the gash uh which is actually like inhabited on both sides and there's houses down below uh, there there are even some green domes uh, that are being like shown on by uh, big uh, uh, floodlights uh, that are like not necessarily too focused on the human spectrum of vision, um, but who se- that seem to be supplied from like big solar collectors on the rim of the um, of the of the gas. Yeah. It's not it's not crater, it's a gash. It's like a canyon. Ah, uh, yeah. Um. But yeah, you. Uh, uh, it's, so it's it's it actually is one of the nicer bars. There's a sub- uh, subdued lighting, uh, sort of privacy in the booths. There's not a lot of people here. Uh, there's like a sort of loungy music playing in the background, very softly, very nondescript. That like somebody put on the the Spotify playlist music that people forget the second they hear it. Um, are there hookers? And there are a, like one or two women sitting at the bar that you think might potentially be hookers. Uh, there's a you know there's a there's a simple barkeep, uh, and the place is called. Uh, let me let me write this down. The lifting place, which seems like um, some kind of inside joke that you don't get. Correct. Nice. All right. Uh, let us talk to the barkeep. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was planning to go up to the barkeep as well, and uh, mm, let me see. What, what's this guy's name? Uh, this guy uh, is, um, I mean, you know, it doesn't say his name. He just, he's wearing, like, pretty casual, casual clothing, even. I lean on the bar in order, like, one of the more common, you know, the, 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 the local but more common uh, drinks of the area. Beer. No, 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 it would be a mixed drink of some kind. Okay, so you want like a cocktail? Yeah. Something that's that's common. Basically, um, yeah. Beer plus water. I I literally want a glass of milk. Okay, so he'd give you a Negroni, Blaze. Yeah, cool. 
because you know. Yeah. It's Italian. Not of me. <laughs> Uh, and he, he looks at, at you, Roberto, and says, um, We don't have milk. It's much too expensive. It is expected. So, who runs this place anyway? W what do you mean, who runs this place? Who owns this place? It's my did, boss. Did. Uh, yeah, just obviously, but what's his name? Uh, I really know, I'm like, just, just give him some condensed sil synth milk and some yeah. water I, I don't fucking know. Uh, can, can I have a beer? <laughs> Please. Hey, uh, you know, I can, I can talk for myself, you know. Yeah, you're, except you're making an ass of yourself already. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> you do your ice water. Uh, okay, so he gives he gives uh, Skippy an ice water and Osprey a uh, uh, actually fairly nice uh, lager beer. You wouldn't expect a, a beer that is this tasty um, yeah, all right. in a place like this. And uh, 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 Roberto, he offers you a, um, hmm, what's a, what's a milk-based, a grasshopper. All right. What the hell does it taste like? Mint and all right. chocolate. All right, this is good. This is good. Okay, I'm going off of like official cocktails right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gives you a grasshopper. Uh, and you? He looks at Baron. Give me the best you have. He 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 gives you a frown. He looks at you frowning. Sighs in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then he, he, he goes behind the bar, like he, 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 to the, to the big where all the bottles are and to the top shelf and there's a, a clear liquid with a, there's something in Italian written on it and he pours you like a, like a whiskey glass of that. Um, what is it? And, uh, throws in, uh, throws in like two round ice, like ice balls, not ice cubes, but they're round. Because this is the future. Is it anything specific or is it just something in Italian? Yeah, it's something in Italian. Okay. <laughs> Spaghetti macaroni. I mean, it's, 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 uh, it, it says the name of, uh, it of says, it just says Rolly. Mm. All right. Careful well, that. I, I try to taste it and try not to look too disgusted. Oh, it it tastes very sweet, uh, of like lemon and licorice. So, can I use my ability full rank to persuade here, Blaze, um, helping me out who runs this place? <laughs> I mean, you don't use the abilities on other players. It literally says. Yeah, pull rank, pull wrong. Uh, yeah. Information resources or aid from subordinate. Yeah. So is Giovanna your subordinate? Obviously. <laughs> I mean, That's he can try. Here. I can just blow him off. It's I mean, if you if you would allow him to roll on that, absolutely. She's just to see how well he does. does. All right, let's let's go. Let's go. God damn. Wait, wait. Where is it? Okay. Did I fail miserably? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you say, even? I don't even know. Come on. I, I don't know. Uh, okay, I need to be real and smooth for this to be a nine, right? No, you, you failed. You yeah, yeah, you failed. You can say, you can literally say, uh, could you uh, give me your poo poo or something? You could <laughs> it, genuinely. No, I'm just saying. I'm just gonna say, hey, why don't you just stop being a bitch and help me out? <laughs> Listen, look. Those, those look, uh, those look, uh, those girls look like they're interested into you. Um, uh, she looks and uh, at the girls and like gest gestures like with the eyes to him. Just Whoa. get him off of me, basically. I'll pay you. Okay. Um, one of the, uh, one of the, uh, 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 <laughs> uh, a, a dark-haired, um, 
a woman with a really like bright eyes, bright green eyes, uh, uh, nods and sort of approaches him, wearing a, a cocktail Pasta, dress. Like a chip that, that has like some credits on it or something. Yeah, and she, really. and she she passes by, grabs it, and just walk away basically. <laughs> And she, if she then, Roberto, she approaches you and uh, engages you in a conversation, flirtatiously. She seems very interested, of, of, although, of, of course, obviously, you know that this is a hooker. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah. I walk off and go to, like, do they seem like they have some kind of pimp or anything? Uh, not that you can see. No, uh, right. Okay, uh, so she's talking to me. Can I use my ability of charm to get information out of her? I mean, go ahead. It's like, uh, um, okay, let me, let me, let's actually make this into a conversation. And so, hmm, what's your name? My name's Roberto. Mm. Sure, well then, Roberto, I am. Let's check this on my list real quick. <laughs> I'm Sevilai. I, I can't even pronounce that, Sevilai. Yeah, let me. I'm, I'm, I'm talking let me as fucking, not a character. Let me fucking pip, pip, paste this in here. This is her name. This is the future. People have ethnic names, okay? Yeah, of course, of course. Guess like John Smith. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe it was that was ethnic where you come from. <laughs> this is just surrounded by fucking people called Chingo. <laughs> it's a, this John Smith fellow. What a strange person. John Smith. <laughs> what ca what the fuck kind of name is that, John Smith? <laughs> Are you fucking retarded? <laughs> Shana Smith. <laughs> Shana Smith. Uh, I can't even pronounce it. Yeah. So uh, you actually see, you know, you, you talk to her a little bit and she actually, uh, despite initially only approaching you on the behest of another woman, uh, and also uh, being a hooker, she kind of actually seems interested in you now, and like a little bit. Obviously, she's still a hooker, so uh, but like she's actually just like, oh, this is a client that I actually find somewhat interesting, and he's like a lancer and shit. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, so uh, yeah. So maybe um, I'm gonna take her to a room. <laughs> God, that Jesus. there's no. I mean, there's no rooms here. Yeah. It's just. Uh, what can I do? I mean, I'm not gonna play uh, like a. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Please keep this conversation to the bar. Oh, okay. You can fuck her off screen later. I don't, I don't care. Wanna fuck her. I don't want to fuck her. But we're not doing this. I don't want to. I don't. I really don't. I really don't want to fuck her. Yeah, you could get like a booth where there's a bit more privacy. So, all right, let's do that. Yeah, with the other people. What do you want to do in the meantime? Is there anything special? Because he would get information now. I'd start um, talking with, like, the clientele currently here. Yeah. Okay, so you, uh, there's, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, Blaze, there's not really... Nobody knows what you're talking about, really. Uh, there's like, well, yeah, sometimes a ship goes down, but usually pirates well, no, that up. I wouldn't be asking for that. I would be more asking for, like, if they heard something about, uh, something about some new weapons being sold or some shit? No, none. Yeah. None of them heard that. But uh, some of them offered to procure some for you, so I could probably find something. Um, I mean, you know, specifically looking for some HA gear. My, my, if you, if you, if you come across some, just drop me a line. Mm, okay, okay. Uh, meanwhile, at Roberto's, what does Roberto then do with, to talk to her? Well, um, we're just talking, right? Um, oh god, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> well, your character's mm. not. Well, yeah, my, okay, yeah, my character's great. Okay, so my character tells her a bunch of shit, is like superfluous shit, and asks for information on who she works for, 
who owns the bar and has just... who do you work for? <laughs> <laughs> the names now. <laughs> Give me all the names. <laughs> Fucking okay, okay, sure. Uh, uh, okay, well, uh, she, you find out that, because you ask this a lot more subtly, of course, <coughs> that, uh, she, she is self-employed, um, unionized, um, so if something goes wrong, the union has security personnel on contract, uh, which also work for the same organization that, the, that protects the city. Um... And, you know, she goes into, and the, he, she doesn't know who owns the bar. Presumably, the owner of the bar. Uh, she doesn't know this. What else would you want to ask? Uh, what else do I want to ask? Um, if she's seen any, if she's seen any um, suspicious activity. <laughs> I mean, this is this. You, you know, sound like such a cop. It's just a complete yeah. fucking. Yeah. It's just, <laughs> Just a spook, just immediately. <laughs> <laughs> uh, send to me, so it's fine. She's uh, like, yeah. well, you union guys, uh, I mean, you know what kind of bar this is, right? I mean, this is, there's suspicious activity going on everywhere. I'm talking to you about this because I assume you don't give a fuck. <laughs> no, not really, no. Of course not. Oh, yeah. I, I have an important conversation that needs to be done. Okay. Uh, okay, I tell the bartender, this is good beer. <laughs> it is, yeah. Yeah, okay. Where do you get it from? Oh, oh we, uh, they, we brew it locally. Like, not oh, really cool. us, but, the, you know, people. Where, where? I just want to know. I might want to buy some off them. Oh, it's on the other side of the rim. There's a brewery. They specialized in, uh, specialize in like micro organism cultures, and they they sell a lot of um, uh, protein generating fungus. But it's a side business of the owner. Um, oh, that's neat. He's created several very interesting strains of uh, yeast. That's cool. Yes. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, okay. Thank you. Do you want another one? Yes, please. Four. Any... I mean, yeah, one. Four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he pulls you a new one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, now I'll take another water. Yeah, he gives you no... The water also, very, it's like sterile. It tastes like nothing. Nice. All right, I, uh, I, I walk to, uh, what, Blaze? Isn't that uh, the person that's been asking around stuff? And yeah. I'm like, hey, uh, yep. I, I don't think this is a useful place. It has been <sighs> yeah. here, but that's about it. Sounds like they're not selling it around the area. They're probably fencing it somewhere else. Yeah. Uh, um, Blaze, however, you get... They have their own microbrewery hmm? back there. It's pretty cool if you want to go investigate that. <laughs> hmm? Uh, uh, yeah, Blaze, you get uh, an alert on your com mm -hmm. by your suit. And it essentially Ooh. gives you a camera feed uh, where there's just a bunch of guys in black uniforms with weapons in hand sort of standing around it, looking at it, cocking their heads. One of them waves into the camera. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone in there? Just send, tell them that you're some kind of automated uh, special security droid. And uh, then keep repeating no comment to any question they ask. Defend yourself if necessary. Uh, all of this is done through data plating, yeah. so it's uh, sub vocal. Okay, so these guys are definitely cops. That's something that you can intuit. Like, these are, this is police. Okay, uh... Uh, just, uh... Show them... Do you, do you have an outside screen? Um... Use, use the outside projector to display... Just 
your own identification uh, should be enough. Uh, they... So basically, to the suit that the fact that it's registered to a lancer, without specifying who it is. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, that's that's not going to be enough. You're going to have to leave the the station. We can escort you to whatever ship, you can, but you can't. We can't have autonomous weapon people walking well, around here. That's not legal. Like, is, is Tell them that, that, that I'm not with them. Am I? No, you're not with them. It's just it's the it's Blaze's <laughs> mech talking to the police. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. But I'm right next to Blaze. Patch me through. Patch me through. <sighs> yeah. Hello there, ma'am. Uh, you need oh, to officers. remove this. This is not okay. You you ha you need to bring this back to your ship. It is not an autonomous uh, weapon system. It is under my direct control. Well, are you in there? Not inside of the suit, but nearby. Okay, uh, please only be- have this suit on. Actually, no. You don't even get to have this suit on. This is a b It's okay to have small firearms on this station, just to make people feel safe. But don't come in here with, like, a big fucking weapons platform, because we don't do that here. Alright, could you escort it to the nearest airlock then? Uh, yes, but we would rather escort it to whatever airlock it came out of. That's fine. What are you doing here anyway? Union business. Be arrogant then. And then he starts escorting the mech. Hmm. Away. Sure. Uh, yeah. Uh, whatever. Whatever. Right. You still know basically nothing. Man. Yeah. <sighs> so, uh, look somewhere else. Perhaps yep. what information are we attempting this, to obtain? This was only his mech, right? Like God. Yeah, 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 no. That was because my mech was following me. Uh, it, it was outside of the... Outside of the bar, basically. Oh, waiting in an alleyway, semi-hidden. Hmm. Sure. Right, I, 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 I call up... I'm basically communicating with the... Uh, with the, with the CompCon unit being like... Fucking, I, I fucking told you to engage stealth protocols. Yeah, but well, never these, are, mind. these are cops. They had, they. You don't turn invisible. Uh, fair enough. You just don't have to be spotted by anyone. Just hide in the alleyway, dude. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's also cops in alleyways. All right. It's better police than I thought the place. Yeah, they're not thugs. They're professionals. Yeah. This well, isn't America. Just... This is. A... <laughs> I, knew you, I knew you were going to say that. Yeah, of Jesus. course. <laughs> yeah. Hey, dude, they're professional thugs, all right? Give them a <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess. Guess that's fine. Double-edged swords and all uh, and all that. So, yeah. Uh, just stay nearby. Uh, just uh, uh, when they put you on the ship, just exit the ship. Uh, exit an airlock. Be outside and but be nearby so that you can enter by the nearest airlock. Still, what's your plan? Hmm. Um. What's the present course of action that we're attempting to execute? Well, find the fucking either the ship, the weapons, anything. Honestly, at this point. Which one we are we actually focusing on at the present moment? I don't know. Uh, well, we're in a hab, probably the weapons, because we have our best line for the ship already. Uh, and that would take just, you know, exploration, which we could do. Yeah, um, we have any connections to the weapons, like any manufacturer or any yes. um, um, common seller? 
Well, they are Harrison Armory, that shit doesn't go under the radar much. They're pretty, um, you know, obvious. And you would normally buy the uh, weapons in the uh, local area. Uh, it's possible, possible, although I didn't hold much faith because I assume that if they you were stolen, buy. they would have already had a seller. That's a possibility if they actually planned ahead. Yeah. If they didn't. Especially such kind of uh, this kind of uh, this kind of weaponry. So, do we have any connections to the uh, criminal um, underground around here? I, I mean, have basically just weapons. asked around the criminal underground, and yeah. they don't have the weapons. Yeah. Right. I, I dropped some lines. They don't have anything, but they promise to get back on me if they find them. Basically, if they find anything, uh, HA. So we'll see uh, if they do. The violent part of town. We are in the violent part of town. <laughs> oh, like, actually, yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not, it's not a big place. It's. It's just a bit frontier. It's not. Particularly dangerous. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Maybe this isn't street level like what we're dealing with. If the people down here don't know, I don't know. Yeah, it probably isn't. That's why I um. That's I why don't I think so much staying hope. in staying in the bar would be the best course of action then, just because you know. Nah. There's a couple of things we could do, but uh, the closest thing right now. Probably exploring the 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 area. Yeah. Um, honestly, so we could just try the tech approach, send out some drones. Yeah, if we have any, that would be good. I mean, the ship I went down with food. Huge Although flood. I don't want to heat it too much. Hmm? There should be a lot of molecules to put some sniffer units out. I don't think molecule sniffers work. In this case, remember Harrison Armory has like the top well, notch. Not, not sniffing for the weapons themselves, but for the ship. Oh, could do. I wonder. Yeah, I I I wonder if the ship was crashed or just landed. I don't think if it was landed, they. Either would way, find there would be traces. Better than nothing. Uh, also, you'd be surprised. Yeah, I guess it could. Look for exhaust, uh, exhaust yeah. signatures. I mean, entering atmosphere is a messy thing, after all. What atmosphere? There is no atmosphere. Yeah. I gotta fucking yeah. make this. But the ship drive should have some emissions. Okay. Yes, yes, that's that's what I was thinking. If they're landing, if they if they crash, then definitely they probably have like all kinds of shit, radiation leaks, that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, no, they're better than nothing. There is, you saw on your way here, uh, actually Osprey saw this because he paid attention to his surroundings a lot, that there was a, a, a company that does, um, that looks for stuff that you have lost. They're basically a, su a, a surface surveillance company. You know, uh, there's a company that looks for things that you've lost, basically a sur the surveillance company uh, so around here. <laughs> uh, maybe we should check that out, perhaps. I don't I don't know how much we want to reveal them to them, Wait, but uh, as long as we give them strict instructions to not enter the ship. If it said discretion it. guaranteed. It, it said discretion guaranteed. Yes, uh, but... Yeah. I mean, I don't. I'm not good at talking to people, but I don't know if someone is. Maybe they could figure out. I, it's just, it's the best shot I can think of. We have no leads currently. Yeah. We can force some discretion. Yeah. I don't know. Just a shot in the dark. That's all. Fair enough. Definitely a good one. And um, we can try. <laughs> So this office is just, it's located between a pawn shop and like an empty storefront. Um, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's basically, it's fashioned a little bit like a private investigator, uh, a PI agency. Yeah. Like a space orbital PI. 
Basically, yeah. yeah. And uh, it is operated and owned. Boy, let me. Ah, oh, Jesus. This is. I oh, know. It's right here. Let me actually. Yeah, this is the right overlay. Because I don't want this to look weird. Uh, 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 there we go. I need to. Let's actually. No, no. Uh, okay. This is better. I'm still not with them, am I? Well, I mean, I assume you'd have you now were gone left back. in the booth. Yeah. yeah, I mean, unless you really want to go somewhere else and fuck the hooker, you can do that. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'll just, I'll just leave my contact for her, because, because uh, she's so clearly interested. Clearly. Yeah. Clearly. Uh, so in there, uh, cleaning up uh, her office, it's a, like a, there's a lot of like charts and maps and elevation data, and uh, a lot of like uh, some drones that are opened up on like a workbench uh, right next to a door to like a back area of the shop. Um, there's like a privacy screen to like the because the other stores have like these glass fronts where they advertise their products. Here it's like a, a privacy screen where you can't look inside, you know, as you would expect from a PI office. And as you uh, enter the door, she's like, Ugh. "Okay, it's late." Indeed, it is. Good evening. We have business. Yeah, you couldn't have come here like an hour ago. Well, we had to get drunk. Man. Uh, yes. Maybe. Sorry. I assumed as much. What can I do for you? Well, um, we are obviously interested in your services. Um,. We are looking for uh, a lost ship, possibly crashed, probably crashed, either that or, you know, boarded, um, was spotted landing on the, or crashing on the moon. Well, it was certainly crashing. That's, certainly I mean, crashing. the way that he, that he described it. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, one ship crashing on the moon. I mean, it doesn't yeah. happen very often, but given yes, that I've um, not heard of it, you're going to have to be a bit more specific. Of course, of course. Um, the area is about, uh, like, I don't know, there's, like, geographical features, I assume, they point yeah, out. Yeah, you, you, have, you have extrapolated yeah. some data. Terun Mauritia, something like that. Wherever it is. Wherever yeah. the area is. And about that area, as far as we know, um, and yeah, we only need the location, if you can find it. Okay, do you want this, like, now? When you can. I mean, obviously, the, sh the faster it is, the better it is. The options are, you get this, like, now, but it's expensive, or you get this... In a week, and it's cheap. All right. How much do we? We owe have you? the money. Uh, he, she, she, she names a, a fairly high number, and you think that probably most of it is because she's very annoyed. Union, I give her that, and like, Can I she? mean, is is the union paying? Yeah. Yeah, I give her that at plus ten percent. Can just charm her to lower the cost? Like, seriously. No. Why? Why the union's paying. Yeah, yeah, but like, okay, yeah, sure. Whatever. Yeah, I give her that plus 10%. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. The union's um, paying, anyways. Pardon? Nothing. No, Baron? Not oh. our money, so you spend it well. See, this is, yep. you could basically bribe people with infinite amounts of money in this game. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The extra, yeah, the extra on top is for you know extra secrecy if necessary. Yeah. Okay. She looks at that amount of money and is like, well, "I was kind of hoping that that would scare you off, but now that I've given my word, 
I'm going to have to do this. And oh, she you know, I, can, I can lend a hand if you want. No, please don't touch anything. There's a... Uh, Your place? Go over there. She points at, like, an area where there's, like, a couple very comfortable couches. They look very comfortable looking. And uh, there's an empty plate where there might have been cookies. Shrug. Or some other baked good. This is condescending. Yeah. Shrug. And she sort of feeds yeah. uh, the data into her system. Uh, and she spends the next, like, hour and a half... Uh, looking at, like, new satellite images, extrapolating this precise landing point from uh, the, you know, the, the she does, like, calculations at the angle of having yeah. seen it and the vague data and the date and time and new, the newest, latest images and telemetry data. Uh, and she goes, well, uh, this this is where your ship is. And she shows you a picture of an empty crater. But it's it's empty. Yes, <laughs> but the radiation signatures and uh, you can't see it. She sort of zooms in uh, into the projected image, and there's like a couple uh, pieces of debris around. Uh, yeah, it it definitely crashed here, um, came down here. Uh, from the looks of it, in a more controlled way than an absolute crash, the way I can judge this. And um, have people on board. If you can, uh, if you you can see here, there's these track marks going into this cave. Hmm. Interesting. Mm. Oh god. Thank you. That was good information. I put twenty percent more because poor lady. You do know that Union isn't going to pay like infinite. Like if you tip her thirty percent. Fucking the guy is gonna be like, what do you, you you can't just give money to people, okay? <laughs> I mean, yeah, sure. I'll say sorry. It was to keep quiet, tight lips. That's that's all there is, you know. Okay. Security surcharge. That that's gonna be, that's gonna be the next adventures. Just the union accountants I mean, are there- like fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, instead of paying her, we just kill her. But yeah, sure. Um, no. No. Uh, no. You fucking yeah, psycho. No, I'm not a psycho. What? Ah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> a literal a psychopath. I'm not a literal psychopath. <laughs> I'm just a figurative one. Whatever. Well, You're uh, not killing random well, fucking did, civilians. Do you know these? That, that I'm not talking. Union as a probably I'm not, wouldn't. I'm, I'm literally not talking as a guerrilla. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. We uh, should go to that cave. Yeah. yeah uh, good suggested set of moves. So we relocate and advance. Yeah. Basically, you could do that. Definitely yeah. Definitely not comfortable just going there like without any scouting. Yeah, I mean, I can do that. Although, honestly, we can probably all go. Well, yeah. We're five fucking. Yeah. You go wrong. I mean, what we can do even better keep the keep the ship at a hover, like above the site, and at worst you drop in. That would burn like, a lot of fuel. Is there? Uh, do we not? Do we not have uh, engines running on efficiency? I mean, it's very like this. It, that would be. I mean, it could be done. I mean, it depends on how long. But it's it just seems wasteful. You still haven't gotten my character, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, probably it's just like, oh no, leave the engine running on my <laughs> fucking Ferrari for five days. I mean, otherwise it, it'll break, so yeah, of course. <laughs> I I no, my dad pays people to drive in his Ferraris because otherwise they risk breaking. Obviously, I'm going to be there like this. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, you could do it. That could be done. So you want to go back to the ship and then relocate to the place. And Anfash fucking... Yeah. Is Anfash out again? <laughs> internet, internet, uh, Anfash internet committed suicide again. Yeah, it's all this to continue. Ripping pepperoni. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, um... Peace be upon him. Uh, Anfash. <laughs> not among us anymore. Yeah. Um... Yeah, so you basically, you can, you, you sort of get out of the docking bay. You still have to pay for the full day because fucking rent seekers, man. And, yep. uh, you fly out. It, it's like a journey that takes, it, because it's like a, like a low orbital flight. It takes like an hour until you, do you want to leave the engine running or do you want to land? I mean, one of us, I think one of us we should could go ahead just land and then and we have can the land. Um, have the Ooh, actually, we could send Skippy ahead. He can fly. Uh, I don't think it's smart to split the party. I mean, I, to to I, mean, I can also kind of fly less efficiently. You could fly. make a high altitude overflight, gather some data, I guess. I mean, you you know that that wouldn't yield you more data than what you already have. Yeah. Like senses, man, they're good enough. Yeah, I think it's a poor plan of action. So let's go. How far away do you want to land from the cave? A kilometer. I mean, whatever you do, I I. If no one's going, I'm stepping out of. Uh, I'm stepping out mid-fly and landing there. Just uh, adjust my trajectory. Yeah, we could do this and uh, let the ship land farther away. I mean, I would not want our ship get bombarded while we're in. Well, it's more about you know stealthiness. One person-sized mech, or even two. Uh, are probably much stealthier than an entire ship coming down. What's the size on your de on your mech? Person sized. Is that a half? One, two, three? half. Half. Okay. Mine's mm -hmm. much bigger. Hello. Hi. Back. Oh, we got one. Come back. Come back. Come back. You're dead. Okay. Yeah. That's what I said. Oh. Skippy. Uh, Skippy's also flying a half size. We could. Um, and the flying one, we could uh, adjust the trajectory while you make the trek there. We'll we'll be in touch anyways. We have comms. Okay. What what's the plan? Can I just? What, what oh, basically happen? we found the location, so we're gonna land like a kilometer away. Except that that's the plan I'm proposing. Me and oh, Skippy okay. are gonna step out of the ship mid landing and like land next to the place. Because we can. Yeah, uh, not just land and get out. Okay. Yeah. I would, uh, what's the uh, strategic value in that? Well, um, stealthier. They will. We'd be landing at the same time as the ship, but much closer, and they wouldn't be able to see us. They wouldn't expect us for a while, probably, if they've seen us. And what's the rest of the party going to be doing? Hoofing it, I guess. Uh, mechs aren't that fast. Right. I mean, we could also just assault them, crash, land our mechs at the cave entrance, and not let them think about being attacked while we attack them. I mean, if you that's, want, you can get yourself like a wide uh, course of action. Yeah. Sure. I'm definitely against that. Yeah, the, the ship is our way out, that's the problem. Look, we just land a kilometer away and we walked and we walked there with our max. Whatever. Alright. Literally the worst strategy, but hey, let's do it. They don't know that. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna step out of the fucking ship and go there immediately. <laughs> Whatever they do. Look, seriously though, like I don't know any of the things of this game, so I, I mean this is well, not so much this game, but like yeah. The oh, art general. of war. Yeah, shouldn't we know what we're getting into, like, before yeah. we get in the shit? That's exactly like, Well, you, you know that you're getting into a cave. Anything beyond that is beyond you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We okay, cannot we look at the map of the area. But we don't have the technology, is what I'm saying. I don't know what everybody has. Maybe they have devices that allow them to know what's in the cave. I don't. Oh. Okay. 
I mean, you could, no, no. you could all quickly print, like, throw away rocket attachments for your mechs or something. Possibly. No. We could do that, or I could uh, send a drone in and it could be back information. See, that's and then we could simply follow in for it. Um, the problem there is that getting the f getting there is gonna be is gonna take a while if we do that that way. All right. So, like... what's the faster way to achieve the objective? As I said, we two go ahead. Uh, you deployed the drone when we're nearby. Um, as we land, we stay hidden until the others arrive, and then we see what we have to do. Yeah, but that still splits the party. But let's... Uh, uh. You know what's happening right now? This is something that always happens when there's planning in RPGs. Mm. Nobody can make an executive decision because nobody's in charge. Yeah. yeah. And so you yeah. just keep on making new and new plans. <laughs> Because you say, oh, there could be something wrong with this plan. Let's Personally, do a completely different yeah. plan. Yeah. Personally, I'm all for scouting ahead. Um, if you don't want to come, feel free, but uh, I don't yeah. have my drone, so I would have to do the scouting. Um, Personally, I don't think that stealth would give us that much of an advantage. Yeah. So right. we could just airdrop our mechs into the entrance. Yeah, so as long as, the, as we make the ship land far away. Yeah, that's why the ship has an NHP autopilot. Cool. Sounds good to me. Alright. So shock and all. Yeah, Hell yeah, brother. Yeah, they're gonna do that. I'm just gonna lay low behind them. I'm not gonna not gonna do that. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I could take the front. I've got a big I, mech. Well I my mech's built for charging like just in the front. And just breaking shit. Oh, my mech is okay, I, I, I get in my mech and fucking step out of the shit. As we, <laughs> I, I assume we're already suborbital. Yeah. Towards uh, yeah. I, I get yeah. in my mech and fucking get out the airlock. You do shock and awe. <laughs> you basically <laughs> land. Are you are you actually not going down at all? I'm going down. I'm just not gonna, you know, fucking blow this shit up. I'm gonna be more reserved. Okay, I mean, right now the plan is just to go in. Yeah, sh yeah yep. I'm going in. So I'm you want to be in the them. back, essentially. Okay. Yeah, 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 exactly. Fucking the. I'm bitch. already outside the ship. Plan as we go. <laughs> um. <laughs> so yeah. Make, uh, yeah. Just yeah. Use my own my own all theater movement suite to do the uh to do the uh, suicide burn to land and uh, yeah. Fuck it. These, Jesus, roll 20. these boring ass people are staying inside, so uh I mean they're all coming. That's the point. They're all dropping. Uh you drop yeah. basically into the cave entrance. Um yeah. it's like a long lava tube. You see immediately that there's like big track marks leading into the cave. Like something wanna... dragged something in here. Hmm. Um and in like the first, the big antechamber of the cave, um, there's not much of anything, just a disassembled spaceship. Oh god. Um, but no trace of the cargo at this point. But the corridor, like the, the cave goes further down. Uh, it, this, is, this is in fact the ship we're looking for, right? Yes, this is the ship you're looking for. It's pretty destroyed, it's slagged. There's portions of it that are just completely fucked, others are like fixed but it was definitely cracked open with uh, machinery and some of that machinery is still around are we are we not describing the mechs <laughs> okay now is the point where you can describe the mechs yes okay uh baron start out oh i do have to start again yeah um i'm riding riptide that's a pretty huge hulking towering um mech is not made by a specific manufacturer. It's an open source model, not really tied to certain usual corporate marks. It's big and it's not carrying visible weapons. Huh. Wait, what's your frame then? Valor. Okay. Ah, yes. You know, um, yeah, I'm 
size of a person, basically looks like an armored uh, spa uh, space suit slash power armor. Um, with a, with like, you can see a blazon on one shoulder, which is like red and uh, purple, while the rest of, the, of it is like silvery and uh, like silvery and light blue accents. Okay, my, I am uh, piloting a Horus Pegasus. Its name is Miserix. Uh, and I'm using a Ushabti Omnigun. Alright. Uh, it's basically a bullshit gun that can transform into anything. Yes, the Ushabti also, is, is spooky. It looks like a fucking nothing. Black hole. Yeah. Yeah. You can't, you can't really understand what it looks like. Yeah, that's true. Uh, uh, my mech doesn't have legs. Instead, it has like four arms. And, and it just crawls around everywhere. Spooky. All right, so um, I'm uh, rolling with a Tortuga. Yes. Named, Am named Amtrak, and uh, I, I'm I'm equipped with a, um, a catalytic hammer and a depth a deck sweeper automatic shotgun, and uh, also oh, I have Juggernaut three, so I can just run in a direction and break everything and knock people down. Wait, um, hang on. You're a size two. Oh yeah, wait, yeah, yeah. An, entire ship, an entire ship could get in the cave, so it's like size two is probably fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I run in direction and break things. <laughs> Fucking oh, yeah, I didn't mention Hell my yeah. specific. Yeah, I didn't mention mention my specific type of uh, mech. It's the Atlas. Okay. Skippy, what are you running? I'm running the uh, SSC Duskwing. Focused round control and support. Wanna describe and it? Also, um, uh, has a uh, light hard suit, a uh, light AC for the uh, primary pistol. And no, that's you. Head. That's you. That's not your mech. Oh, oh no, no, that is kind of uh, that is kind of the the mech sort of. Out. Okay. The mech looks like a hard suit as well, kind of like mine, except it has like thrusters on it. Okay. Forget what I said then. Okay, as you advance into the cave, uh, you get a, a consistent one-way communication signal. Oh. Stay away. Oof, fuck's sake. The fuck are they to tell us anything? Damn straight. Okay. okay uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take a, like I'm gonna take this opportunity to leave behind explosives. Like where we are, as uh, before we go on, just in case. Okay, just in case you want to collapse right. the cave so behind you and trap yourself for eternity. No, just in case we want to run and then we'll trap them. Okay, you guys stay here. All right. What the fuck is wrong with this bitch? Like, what the I'm heck? gonna uh, activate my uh, sylph undersuit and step out of my mech. Oh god! All right. Just gonna step out of my mech. Activate my stealth, uh, and activate my stealth suit. Okay, but if you step out of your mech, you're gonna die. There's no atmosphere here. But that's why I have a stealth on the suit, which okay. uh, is a full, basically, a uh, enclosed encloses my head to make me live. Okay, so this you have like a zero, like a like a zero atmosphere suit. That's yes. okay. Yeah, it can be worn for extended periods, translucent semi liquid, can be stored when not used. Uh, yeah, silk thunder suits can cover the host's head, sealing against vacuum, providing protection against radiation, and filtering air or liquids. So, yeah, I'm just gonna step out and then use the stealth hard suit to literally become invisible. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna make my way a bit close. This, 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 this Giovanna sounds like a Mary Sue. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just well built, and no, she's not because she's an asshole. This, this looks like an encounter. Do this is an initiative. This is an encounter. Yeah, uh, you, you know that you don't roll initiative in Lancer. Yeah, it's it's a classic. Uh, encounter yeah. starts. Roll initiative. Uh, this is basically what you can see from from where you are. This map. Let me actually. Yellow things. 
Uh, okay, so the yellow things are like shipping c containers. Ah, of course. I thought that, but I wasn't sure. Okay. All right, shipper. Uh, let me let me fucking mm. do something real quick. Then I got should have fucking done earlier. Da, 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 da. <laughs> are you gonna search? Are you gonna roll for a search? No. Yeah, this All is right. the this is the uh, next to this the big turret gun back there. There's yeah, I wanna, I wanna... there's actual there's like like different uh, there's a, a different set of containers uh, in Harrison Armory Red, uh, but they seem they take only up like uh, take up only like a small space. So there used to be a lot more of them. Clearly. Hmm. Well, I just want to activate my protocol and shackle Ushapti. I'm sorry. Wait. You do what? I just want to activate my protocol. I don't. I don't. Yeah, just... What does that yeah, mean, what? though? That's my question. Unshackle <laughs> Ushapti. Yeah. Basically, what? the Ushapti gun activates and turns into something. But yeah. what does it turn into? To to one of my enemies' weapons, so the fucking cannon. at random, yeah. That, now the fucking cannon. It's not. <laughs> is it not a random? It is random, yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna turn into one of the other ones. So what you now have in your hand is a. It looks like sort of a mix between military and mining equipment. Uh huh. Uh. All right. It's it's quite odd. It doesn't. It feel it feels sort of weirdly weighted in your hand. It doesn't have a lot of uh, support systems. Okay, just just one thing. This ability also allows me to use my omni gun like three times per round instead of one. Yeah. And that means what? He has the special he omni has gun, special which omni gun, yeah. deals one damage per round. Okay. Extra. Whenever to you any want. target. Yeah. Let me. So the gun that you've just received, um, uh, essentially, uh, here's the stats that it has. It has uh, a range of three. Okay. A threat of three. Uh, write this down, please. Somewhere. I am. I am. I am. Okay. Am. Uh, it does six kinetic damage. Yes. It has a plus one attack bonus. Uh, plus two difficulty. Uh, wait, aren't those the NPC gun stats? Shouldn't he have, I mean, use his mimic gun stats and stack? Yeah, the mimic gun stats. They oh, I, apparently the gun has mimic. I, he said just that he had the gun. Yeah. Uh, uh, I assume that this means... That. Okay. No, no, he can't actually copy yeah, someone no. else's weapon. It just no. looks like another weapon. Yeah. That's retarded. I okay. Thought, I thought it literally turned into the weapon. Okay, well then it just looks like this gun that the small guys right, have. Right, 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 right. Okay, well cool, that, but it's nice that I now revealed this information to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, well th this is basically the tactical situation ahead. Um, but yeah. Yeah, please place yourselves on the field. Okay, hang on, because he's activating the the mimic gun. The, he needs to do shit. You need to roll three d twenty. Okay. Okay. And then those will be x, y, and z. At the start, x is the range. Um, how do I how do I roll three d twenty? You time? said roll three d twenty. Yeah. On the chat slash roll three d twenty. Oh. Uh, everything together, or should I separate it with... Uh... It's fine. Uh, it's just going to be in an order, and we're going to use that order. Okay. <laughs> cool. So, your gun has... For now... Yeah. Uh, for this turn, has a range of 1. And it but does kinetic... it says kinetic... Here it's 15. What? It says here that the range is 15. Oh, no. Um, well, it's 1 hex, technically. So, 1 square... Okay. So, um, basically, your gun will cycle every turn between the three, mm -hmm. and uh, it will have the range of the number, and damage one plus half of the current range. Okay, I, I assume it rounded part. up, because in Lancer you round up. Alright. Yeah. And as a full action, you can provoke the Mimic Gun to re-roll the entire stat block. The the three D ten base uh, the three D twenty basically. I'm gonna do that. 
That's going to be a full action. Hang on. So it's in your turn. Or... In your turn or in, of initiative. All right, right, right. So please place yourselves on the map. Right. I assume now at the very we're... edge. Yeah, at, at the bottom edge, yes. You can, like, okay, in the first... I in, place myself. Do I start a few blocks forwards because I was in my suit? Yeah, you can... Within the first four uh, blocks, you can basically... Um, yeah. Okay. And I'm invisible. Yeah. How do I... Are you not in your in your, in your your mech? No. Okay, well, that's a, that's a thing. Uh, let me give you... Um, Why do we have two of them? Because one of them is the mech. Okay. Can I not move myself? Uh, you need to be to too behind. big. You need to be because your Tortuga is a big boy. Uh, oh, yeah, right, right. Uh, also, I'm gonna, I can't make you half size uh, as a token, but I can uh, maybe give you a tag that says you are half size. Um, yeah, this, this, this tag means half size. Okay, so please, all the rest of you also place yourselves on the map. How do I do, sure to do that? Uh, you just pick, a, go, take your character sheet and drag it onto the map. Oh, I get it, I get it, okay. Uh, yeah, also, yeah, your size uh, is One. relevant. Yep. How do I enter the size? No, you. I mean, what size is your mech? One. Okay, then it's fine. Uh, I, I know that Anfash's mech is size two because that's also the one I run with. Um, yeah. yeah. That is correct. And also, Hello, size um, two, too. Uh, if you want to be size two, uh, you just you drag the token. Yeah. At the edges. Okay, so the way that combat works in Lancer is uh, not uh, by initiative. It's that the 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 good guys go first. Yes. One of you That's moves, awesome. and then one of the enemies moves. And one of you moves, one of the enemies moves. One of you moves, one of the enemies moves. May I request the no shit moment when ever when I see the mechs? Uh, I mean, what? Uh, requesting to the other people to go first, basically, because it's the oh shit moment of oh I thought ah, you would be I thought investigating. A no sh okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going last, so. Uh, I mean, I would want to go sooner rather than later because I can be used as um, hardcover, and also if I'm engaged, I give everybody adjacent soft cover. Um, and I'll go in the middle. Okay, th at this point, you can you can't move anymore. Also, Skippy, you haven't put your thing down yet. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, uh, Skippy is also half size. Yeah, I I I have been informed of this. Okay, who wants to go first? Uh, I'm may cool I, with it. Oh yeah, you may can. I, may on. I so I don't get fucking shot to shit? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go. Oh fuck! Recall protocol. When I see the mechs, and uh, my suit is gonna just fucking dash towards me, fucking basically jump on me. And I'm just gonna uh, dash forwards more and take cover behind a rock. Yeah. Okay, but like, who is going first right now? Also, Skippy, please place yourself down. Oh, I am because I'm gonna. I'm uh, gonna. So you do want to go first after all? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. The icon present? No, you just okay. you just take the you yeah. take your character so sheet and drag it. The... And that is yeah. that is not that is oh. not your um. Oh mech. no! The point is that again, I would ru my mech would rush to be jump over me so I can yeah. go back in the mech and then keep going. Yeah, okay. So okay. then keep going here. And, uh... Hmm. I'm going to hide. Uh-huh. And then I'm going to boost. Uh, which means I can move all the way to here because I also, oh no, wait. Um, they do have Overwatch, yeah. don't they? Yeah, Let you me... are within their threat range right now. Oh, but I am hidden. I mean, yeah, they, they would get. Please don't. You just moved yourself, Anfash. Please don't do that. Yeah. My bad. Um. Oh yeah, no. I'm gonna activate uh, Jägerkunst, which, uh, which means um, 
which means I take one heat, but also means I can uh, move in any direction, uh, two spaces in any direction as a free action, ignoring engagement and reactions. Okay. So I'm going to use that to basically parkour sneak my way past two, two squares. Uh, um, so okay. you can't, I mean, that that going over that would cost you an extra movement because it's difficult to rain. It's also hard cover. Ah, fair enough. Uh, mm, this is all complicated. It's changing. Uh, I might just... Ooh, you know what? I'm going to boost with my all, all theater mov movement system to basically fly upwards and, uh, and then shoot this dude over here with uh with my crawl ri rifle wait i have to uh, i have to check something um low gravity yes mechs count as flying when they boost but must land after they move characters never take damage from falling just fyi oh okay oh so no gravity yeah mine yeah i don't even need to use my uh all theater movement suite then yeah cool. i'll just uh jump upwards then just uh crawl rifle take it off my back uh basically this uh big ass fucking harpoon gun and uh it's inaccurate so i need to take one difficulty um hang on because this sheet is whack um and i don't know if it's gonna roll with the difficulty um yeah it, it oh, did yeah. it did yep uh, yeah, and that, uh, wait, where is it? Where is this? Okay, this is this here. This is, it's way complicated. Okay, um, so you hit, you, you fly up, you hit this weird, this one here, I, I presume. Yep. Um, you hit it in the face. That's six kinetic damage. Um, da -da. minus six. And it, it, it like, it seems surprised that you were even there. I mean, as far as these sort of mechs can have human expressions. Um, yeah. Just r sudden movement. And it's also, this one is also like human size. I gotta give these, uh, it's half size. Um, oh. Yeah. Okay. Th these are all half size. Ah, uh, no. That makes it even more fun for me. Um, yeah, but th I mean, they are quite large for being half size, but yeah. they are still technically half size. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and so it it, it it's it, it takes a bit of damage, but it's it still seems stable um, enough. So uh, yeah, where did you move then, or are you just what no? The I fuck just was uh, that. I just moved upwards. Okay. To har to be able to have the line of sight to hop in them. Okay, so let's let's say let's give you a because you are now moved upwards. What can we give you as a as a counter for that? Let's this. this oh, you good. must land by the end of the thing. So basically, I would have jumped up, and then as the line speared them, I would have fallen back down. I assume. Okay. Yeah, let's do it like that. Key. Cool. Okay, then it would be uh, the turn of one of the enemies. This one is a bit confused at this point in time. Uh, so this other one will move here uh, and shoot at uh, at uh, Baron's big Big Mac and I will because I'm running this on <laughs> on, on, on roll 20 I am uh, I have to run it I have to input this manually uh, because I didn't port them because I am lazy mm -hmm. uh, it's a too difficulty shot wait actually uh da -da -da -da. Yes, um, and also this will make two attacks at once. Um, and it's a plus one. Why can I not? It's a plus one hit chance, but I can only add the two difficulty. Motherfucker, this fucking character sheet sucks ass. Jesus Christ. Just say, uh, take some actual dice, roll them, and you're good. Yeah, no, it's the... Di yeah, but that's very loud. I just want to click the button now. 
No, no, here we go. Wait, where? For fuck's sake, man. There we go. It's uh, it did a minus two. It didn't even. It didn't do shit. It, the way it, <laughs> the shot ju it just stumbles around the corner, and the shot just doesn't even. It goes completely wide, and the something is broken with that weapon now. Um, and he spends uh, some time sort of uh, trying to fix it in some capacity, but doesn't seem to to be very good at it. Okay, next person. Shall I, as I'm standing up front? Do I? Sure. Yeah, so I, I think I, sh I should advance a little bit. That would put you. Uh, you are would be advancing within his threat range, but his weapon is currently disabled. Oh no! So I'm gonna advance two squares, engaging one of them. Yeah. And. Yeah, I think I'm going to attack <clears throat> using a uh, characteristic weapon of the Balor mech, the Nanobot Whip, extending my right arm, launching the hand to the other guy, the one standing a little bit further. Uh, to this one? Yeah. Okay. So that's a second. This is why I probably hit him. Uh, yes, that's five damage. Uh, and I've got the second weapon called Swarm Hive Nanites. And if I understand it correctly, I can use two weapons when using a full action to Apparat. do damage. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah. So. Um, I think I'm going to launch those t nanites, those clouds of gray, gray uh, blobs, into the same direction as my hand. Okay. Also attacking him thereby. Yeah. Uh, okay. This does heat damage or burning? <laughs> burning. It inflicts two uh, it burning. Burn. Yep. Yeah. Two burn. And two kinetic damage. Terrifying. Balor is terrifying. Uh, it's not actual fire burning, it's nanites eating yeah, nanite inside eating nanite, his yeah. carapace. Damn. But it's uh, damn, dude. Oh, um, oh, there's another thing. Uh, there's a talent called Executioner. First time in Iran, when I hit with a heavy or uh, super heavy melee weapon, I can make another melee attack with the same weapon as a free action against a different target. In oh fuck! God damn! So I I can hit the other guy too. Like right now, you could do that. Yeah. Nope. Do you hit have to roll for it again? Yeah, with a nanobot whip and hit the other one. Uh, the one standing right in front of me. Damn. So this is uh, an assault mech, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Just. Uh... All lancers are, are Mary Sue's to some degree. Yeah, it's kind of the point of lancers. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and yeah, basically the 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 one on the um. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake! So, right. so pretty much the the hand extends, punches the guy in the far end, and swings back to the guy in front. Yeah, and the uh, the actually the guy in front seems to be a lot more damaged by that one particular hit, uh, but the other guy does is kind of like the nanites are eating into this weird ass mech. For uh, fuck's sake, I had that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, that would make it. Uh, this this next uh, another mech's turn. That would be the guy that was this man's turn here and uh, though nanites seem to be eating into him he doesn't seem to be particularly impressed by it and as the nanites sort of go further and further it doesn't actually seem to be anyone inside the mech um, mm. is what you can tell and he's gonna try and attack uh, you with the standard weapon trying to make two weapon attacks at once 
<laughs> Come at By me. which I mean Ollie, of course, yeah. But it doesn't it doesn't do that. So, um The shot goes wide. So, um at this point I'm gonna activate the special Wait. ability of the crawl rifle. <laughs> Anytime during your target's next turn, he can reel in the line, take the boost action as a reaction to any of his actions or movement, as long as your boost moves towards that target by the most direct route possible. So I'm gonna basically have to go over this. And uh, your, ta uh, your target must then pass a whole save or be knocked prone, and this effect ends. So basically I'm just gonna winch in the wire that's still sticking out of him and just slam into him. Yeah. Okay, how much damage would that do? Uh, n none. You just okay. need to pass a whole okay. check or he, or he falls over. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Roll 1d20 plus 2. Yeah, he is you knocked. Pronaroni. This is the wrong one, too. Bonk. This is the... Statuses. Yeah, I'm basically uh, standing on him. He's also engaged now, isn't he? Yeah. Engaged plus number two is also engaged by Ali. Dope. So that was the reaction. Yeah. Um, this would mean that it is now the turn of me, right? Yeah. No, that's a reaction. It's. Uh... It's yeah. Still your no, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to uh, keep track of this. No, because no, he just attacked. It's not oh yeah, it's still his turn. turn. It's still his yeah. turn. Yeah. Okay. Like, no, I'm just trying effect. to keep track of the turn order yeah, right yeah. now. Yeah. Um, let me find. Let me actually. To, so I can. This makes it easier to tell. Okay. So uh, it, now it is you guys' turn. Who wants to do something? Uh, I, you guys pull it me going yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah so the thing is you can move through other characters you can't end your turn in other characters yeah right um and then i guess i have a question too uh so with boost right and i'm charging uh how much does that increase my speed or does it, it not doesn't at all? increase your speed it's just you get to move your speed again i mean it oh, technically okay. it does increase your speed yeah okay so it increases double Okay. Yeah, and yeah. also uh, because this is low gravity, you count as flying while doing that. Okay. This is okay. this is because of the environment of the map. Yeah, basically, right. flying means you you don't care about hostile terrain. All right. All right. Um, because I was gonna say I could try to just charge the guy directly in front of me, but I don't want to hit uh, Alley. Yeah. Uh, you can, you can pass so I can do that. Can do that. Yeah. All right. So yeah, then definitely. I mean, I will... it depends which one in front of you. Are you going for this one or this one? The man uh, directly straight in front of me. Uh, this guy. How can I ping him? You just hold it. Just hold, yeah. Hold yeah, right here. That, that one, guy. Yeah. That, one. Yeah. Uh, that guy you could do only if you weren't to move on the uh, on the Baron. Oh, okay. I don't want to hit him. Yeah. So basically, you don't want to stop don't, on the Baron, mind. but <laughs> if you do. Yeah. Okay. Let me let me let me think of this thing. Two, three, one, two, three. Okay. Um. So then, um. I guess also with the boost. I'm sorry. I keep asking questions about this. Uh. Is it? Does it necessarily have to be in the same direction? So like, mm -mm. could no, I move? No. Okay. No. So then I move. One. Yeah. I move. Uh. To here. Right. Or I mean here. Yeah. Right. And then I would boost diagonally to hit this guy four and ram him. Uh, I'd lad. allow that. Yeah, well, you could do that. Okay. God okay. Damn. So then I ram the lad, and then let me see. Um, so I have a bunch of. Just don't critically on fail on this because. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so when you boost uh, your next ram uh, before the start of your next turn, gets uh, uh, plus one accuracy and uh, target back an additional two spaces. Um, you can already push him back three spaces. You can fucking fling this dude. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fucking making him fly. And I think I actually have another thing that makes it, um, the move one more. And also any like a uh, train in my way, I destroy. I, it takes twenty kind of AP damage. God, yeah. Um, God damn. So uh, what would I roll for a ram? 
just because you get the extra accuracy, you would do uh, the d20 plus one accuracy. Okay. Right on. Well, so that's an extra as well. The what? Great. The pilot great. Uh, no, I'm pr no. Yeah, yeah. No, grit is just specific abilities. Yeah, and then let me let me oh, just right. see if I have any other um like. I thought it was just so, general. Do oh, doesn't grit also give people. you a bonus to attacking? I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Like the I've I've repeatedly read that it's only for special abilities, which in my opinion Ooh. makes grit somewhat useless. Oh, it's got a three. I think Ooh, it uh, you need to roll a uh, d6. As yeah, well. a d6. Oh, yeah, that's accurate. what accuracy yeah, yeah. is. Yeah. Okay, my bad. One. Yeah, cool. <laughs> a three, yes, a three, three. indeed. Uh, so you, I mean, you do move to him, and you do sort of destroy. Um, yep. Smash the cover. Yeah. How do I f sort of mark this? It's uh This cool. is broken now. <laughs> um, this can be f freely moved through this one square here. Okay. Um, but you don't actually don't manage it. to hit him. It's like just with how how close uh, Baron is standing there, and the this the whole cover, and it sort of drifts you off, and uh, and then you stop at the last minute because you don't want to hurt uh, yeah, Baron. Yeah, yeah. It's like it doesn't quite work out. Okay, and then uh, can I use a weapon or uh, with the boost? Is that uh, you can still skirmish, yeah. Okay, okay, and then uh, I guess since I'm in range, I hit him with my catalytic hammer. Which is a Boom. D3 plus 5. Which so is a, a hammer D3. that you have to reload. That's fucking... Yeah, afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, that is so good. Yeah. Uh, shit, there's no 3. Can I, like, do I fudge a dice? Or, what like, do you mean uh, 3? Uh, it's a you, D3 plus 5 for damage. Yeah, you don't... Yeah, but no, right now you have to no, do... D6 uh, divide by 2. Just yeah. click on the weapon. But oh, you wait, can do a, you, but you yeah. can just roll a D3 in roll 20. Yeah. yeah, but I'm, I'm looking for where that is. You I'm, could just I'm type gonna... it in chat. Oh, type it in chat. That's slash R D3. Slash R... But that's D3. not relevant right now because you first have, have to hit, hit him. him. I have to hit him. Yeah, yeah, and then accuracy is what again? I'm sorry. My bad. Um, okay. it, um, 1D6. Yeah. 1D6. Okay. Yeah. All right, so rolling six. Okay, I got two. <laughs> no, but that you roll 1D20 plus 1D6. Oh, oh, my bad. I... All right, and I got a one. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. A, that is a, a critical fucking failure. <laughs> so basically, epic. yeah, basically after this, this, the whole like the energy of having moved and the momentum, you still try to like uh, southpaw knock the guy th on the chin essentially with the hammer, but it just the hammer sort of unloads mid swing and it just. Oh my God. Goes into the ground, <laughs> and so you would have to. Uh, I'd say like it's not loaded anymore, and you would have yeah. to spend like a spend at least uh, one quick action next turn. Um, uh, well, no, actually, you'd have to stabilize, yeah, in order to yeah. uh, reload it. Um, uh, well, well, shit. <laughs> um, all right, uh, can I do a quick action? No. You're done. Okay. That's that's fine. You are completely done. Oh yeah, uh, and exactly because this otherwise wouldn't do. Sh well, that also doesn't do shit. Mm -hmm. Well, you, you also I'm take like one heat. All right, right on. I'll put that on there. Which uh, you don't need to worry about right now. I don't. Okay. Yeah, put that on there. Um. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, now is the 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 bad the bad guysios. Uh, wait, this is, no, oh, god damn it, no, just erase this. How, wh why can I only erase all of the, I want to just erase one. Sp specific drawing. I, I have to clear all of them. Are you sure you want to delete all drawings? No, actually, I don't. I don't want that, but I, there's no other choice than to do that. Thank you. Roll 20, for fuck's sake. Um, and this man will go one, two, three, uh, here, and try to shoot, uh, dear Miss Varani, uh, in the face hey. area. They can try. Um, that is a six. 
Yeah, no. You get the f- impression that these are not like professional weapons. They're not. This is like something is fucking off about this. This doesn't seem like a hardened mercenary crew or anything. We we if could only we could offer them to capitulate. Uh, okay, then it's the you people's next turn. Skippy, you can go ahead. All right. So I will move ahead. Two, actually, two squares. And uh, can we aim uh, through, or do we have to actually go around? Um, well, uh, because this guy it has two squares of uh, um, cover. In I mean, which one do you want to hit? Um, I was actually thinking about the one on the far right. This dude here. This one. That one you couldn't. You basically this one is the. I think. I think you can shoot through other players' max, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is the only one you All could right. really hit because. Uh, uh, I mean, this. Uh, if it was here, it would be hard cover. But because there's like two full blocks of this, yeah. uh, it line of sight is blocked. Soft cover, yeah. You can still shoot him, but like, it's gonna mm. give you negatives, right? No, no, no! Like these two here, they're comp- they're not. They don't have line of, line of sight on them. Oh, okay. This Fair one enough. you have line of sight on, and he is not in cover. Fair enough. All right. So I will use my pistol for that. Let me. What's that? This and fire. Um, so that be roll twenty plus a additional. Wait, what did you? Oh yeah, hard cover. Uh, you have to put a slash in front of it. Yeah. Oh goddamn it! Also, you need to subtract the hard cover. No, he is not in hard cover. Oh yeah, no, it's he the... is not in hard Best cover. Guy. Sorry, I'm dumb. Yeah, that is unfortunate because you don't hit him. Just, you're very careful not to hit, hit your mate, but you may be a little bit too careful. Uh, that would... You didn't boost, right? No, you didn't boost. That would leave you with another quick action. Alrighty, and uh, I will... Can I ship to uh, the... Uh... Aren't you a hacker? Yeah. Yes. Right, I'll uh, take out my drone maneuver it around the right side of the you have a drone oh god activating damn. systems yeah god, can you give yourself can you pu- pull yourself onto the screen again like for so we can have the drone oh yeah definitely um where you spawn it and so we, we can we can keep track of it Okay, there we go. Uh, let me actually. What can what cool sign can we give this drone? It's a it's a drone. So I don't know. Fucking these are all dumb. They're all bad. There's the turret a uh, sentry gun. Yeah, something. yeah. I suppose that one's. Wait, where is it? I had it just a second ago. There it is. This is your drone. It's not actually a sentry gun, but this is representative of what it is. Can your drone fly or what? Yeah, it can uh, fly up to uh, I think it was like uh, twenty feet ish, uh, half mile. And, yeah, as long as there's no obstructions. Yeah, so we should be decent. But what can what what can it do? Oh shit! I forgot um, it, my. A, a small non-violent drone or a common sites in the field, a nonsense visual audio reply, new signals. Yeah, so basically it just allows me to 
extend my hacking abilities. Ah, okay. It's, it's extended it. your sensor range. Oh, so this isn't even a drone that we need as a token. It just extends your sensor range. Yes? Yeah. No? Okay, yes. Okay, then we can just yeet this. Um, cool. Good. But activating that is your other quick action. That's a quick tech. Okay. Uh, then is it's these... Things. Never mind. These guys' turn. And uh, uh, I see. looking at the back, you see that like one of them is kind of retreating. Um, and that is what will be their turn. Sandro. Yeah, it's my turn. Yes. You're left, yeah. So, uh, hmm. I am going to move over here. Okay. Is that, is that a thing I can do? Yes. How much of your movement did you waste on that? Uh, I have, uh, I was here. That's three, I have four. Yes, okay. You have one movement left. And obviously your actions. All right. Uh, I would like... So, okay. So first of all, I'm activating my Horus Pegasus Frame trait. I don't need to activate this. This is just something I have. Which is, by the way, I know everything. So when I roll for damage, I just deal the average of the die I'm, I'm rolling instead of rolling the actual die. I thought you could choose to... You oh, yeah, no, I can choose. Yeah. yeah, you're right. I'm choosing to do so. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh huh. But you still need to roll to hit. Yes. No, I need to. I don't know. But you don't. I mean, this is. You can't. Okay, you. Hmm. Yeah, you could hit uh, this one if you were to shoot, but it would be in soft cover because of, you know. Or you can boost, therefore fly, and move around this yeah, piece of cover. Yeah. That you could also okay. do that. I can do that? Does, does that take a full action? Single. No, it's a uh, boost. Quick, quick okay, action. Right. Then I'm, I'll do that. Okay. Alright, so... Just, do I just go here? No, I mean you'd have Wherever to... I mean you, you can stand on there, yeah. It would just leave you kind of exposed, but you could stand on there conceivably. Hmm. Well, actually, no, you're a bit big. No, the small one, the small people could, but you, you're too big. You could go here. I can crawl, right? No? Oh. Yeah. This is basically where you could go with your movement if you boost it. Okay, so I'll go here. Yeah. Uh, this, I have an ability that leaves me in soft cover, I think. I don't know. Uh, so... So, so here, I have this thing that's ammo case, right? Do you know anything about this? <laughs> ammo case means you can uh, choose special, uh, special types of ammo when shooting people. Okay, right. that's cool. Uh, then I'll use the, um... Okay, so I'll use a Savage, which uses two charges, and gains AP and deals kinetic damage. It doesn't say how much, though. It changes the damage type. If it doesn't right. do additional damage, then it just uh, changes the type, or adds tags. Okay, then can I just, uh... That's this thing. Let me see. One per time when you attack with the main range weapon, you may expend charges. Okay, but you need to, like, actually attack with your main weapon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm attacking with it, which is. So here's the passive. Which guy? Which guy are you attacking? Atta <clears throat> the one right in front of me. This okay. guy. No. <laughs> no, this <laughs> is <laughs> my guy. That's your guy. Well, whoops. Uh, I'm attacking him. I don't know what to roll though. I really don't know. Like, it doesn't tell me. Which well, one. just Dude, the gun? same thing that everyone else has rolled, which is a d20. Uh huh. Roll. So I deal the average. You deal the average damage. This is to hit. Oh, okay, okay. And that actually does hit. Uh, what well, your? It usually does. Wait. That can't be. One AP kinetic damage? No. Oh no, it's not the. He's not using the uh, Ushapti, okay. he's using his weapon, aren't you? Okay, how much damage would that deal on average? 
I don't, I don't know. You rolled On it average, earlier. You, ro you rolled it earlier, because yours is weird. Oh, the average is... Okay, it's 3d6, so it's 11. Oh, yeah. Damn. Yeah, you, that basically the destroys this guy completely. Fucking damn it! <clears throat> isn't, he the, isn't he the one that's supposed to be burning? Yeah, he's um, the one with the burn. Well, okay, uh, I put the burn on the wrong guy then. Fucking shit. Wait, right. no, that is not. That is actually the one with the burn. Yeah, forget what I said. Yeah, this one is destroyed. It is completely. Uh, come you just, on! You just basically. <laughs> it just blows up. <laughs> and that would end round. Yes. Wait, actually. Yeah, that's everyone. Yeah, because the other that's two it. mechs don't move. So when this round starts, my, my weapon should transform into another thing, right? Yes. Yeah. The second D6. Uh, the second dice. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me just... Wait, wait where is the... Th oh, God damn it. God. You have the mimic gun, right? Yeah, yeah. Do you remember when we rolled 3D20s? Yeah. I rolled them again? No. Oh. You have those three. You need to write those down. And then your gun, one turn is the first one. Second turn becomes the second one. Third turn, oh. third turn becomes the third one. And then fourth turn cycles back to the first one. That tells you the weapon's range and the weapon's oh, damage right. um, <laughs> is going to be... Um, Half of the range plus one. I'm just playing for your very first character, one of the most complicated systems. He told me to play it. Jesus, no, I trusted no, him. you yes. said you said you wanted to play it. I specifically told you you no, sure, you and you're like, yes, no, this does a lot of did, damage. You didn't tell me it was fucking complicated. I did. No, you didn't. You just said it was weird. You didn't say it was complicated. You piece of shit. Uh, Same thing. I'll I'll learn it in between this session and the after and the next one. I mean, there's not gonna be a next oh, session, man. but okay. Are you fucking serious? Yeah. Jesus. Okay. God. Okay. Well, well, while you figure that out, who wants to go first? Uh, could could I, could I go? Possibly? You could, yeah, yeah if you uh, want to. Because if people move, then I couldn't do the thing I want to do. Um, okay. Uh, I I charge again, all right. When I'm gonna try well, you one need more to time. you need to stabilize now. Oh, I need to stabilize. Uh, wait, actually, no. Unless you don't okay. want to, you don't, don't have to. Load, I don't want to load it this round. Okay, well then you don't have to. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I I, I charge and hopefully I can hit both of these lads. Uh, because I can just run through people with my uh, juggernaut ability. Yeah. Um, so I roll a d20 d6, correct? Yep, if you get that because of the- yep. Yep, okay. So, d20... Plus a God d6. God hates me. Yep. God hates me. Um, no, oh, four. Okay, so... <laughs> Holy fuck, I, I rolled like five ones this game. Uh, yeah, you, uh, have some bad fucking luck. Uh, yeah, but I mean, you do, do you still move, then, if you charge? Yeah, I, I would try to at least. I mean, this uh, is a rules question, right? I mean, you yeah. would be able to. Yeah. Um. So I mean, basically, it's like one, two, three. I'll put you like here. But you just—he—he he evaded you. You moved into his space. He moved to the side, even though he is quite damaged. And then you just here now. Well, fuck. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, can I do a quick action then? I think you have one left still, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then I activate my hyper dense armor, and uh, hopefully that keeps me from getting my cheeks ran, being just exposed. Wait, what is it? Um, hyper dense armor uh, gives me um, plus three uh, or. Uh, when activated, the armor hardens into a sh uh, into a shimmering, reflective surface. Offers you unparalleled protection. You gain resistance to all damages and heat from attacks that originate beyond the range of three. However, you become slowed and deal half damage uh, and heat uh, to to characters beyond three. 
Cool. Uh, Hyperdense armor can be deactivated as a quick action. So yeah, I'm just cool. putting them. That's armor. good. That's good. Uh, well, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, the guy who just evaded, he needs a second. Um, so this other guy, uh, whom you didn't actually end up hitting. All right. He's gonna try and shoot you in the face, Anfash. All right. All how, right. How um, do you, how do you feel about that? I feel really sad, actually. Oh <laughs> damn! That is my, very my, nice. My rolls have made me. Oh, look at that. Um, That's gonna hit so, and be and uh, it's like a double attack. Mm -hmm. It's two attacks at once. Yeah. Targeting the same character, so you take uh, a total of twelve damage. Uh, oh, which is two times six, but you can subscribe sub subtract your armor from both of those individually. So that's two okay, okay. attacks that do six damage each, minus okay. your armor. Um, so I can't evade that, right? I don't, I don't know. How I, I mean, that uh, was your. I I rolled against your evade. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Because my evasion's eight. Yeah, right? it's. I I figured that it was going to be less than sixteen. I yeah, play. Yeah. I play it all too. You can brace. You can brace. No, 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 no! I did, I just didn't know that he knew my evasion. I didn't oh, know yeah, yeah. that stat. So um, you gain resistance to all damages. He okay. So, yeah, but he's more. He's less than three away. I'm assuming, right? He's the guy. Yeah, he's two. Or it's exactly three. So that yeah. would be what. I only take like, no. Four he damage, it, it's it's actually two. He is two away. Oh, okay, okay. So that means I would take eight. Yeah. All right. Oof. All right. Okay. That uh, that would be uh, his turn. Yes. May I go again? Yeah, you can. Okay. I mean, unless someone else has a problem with that. Yeah. No. Okay. Um, quick rules question then. Uh, I'm just gonna post the Jäger Kunst um, description in chat, and uh, uh, Berger, you need to tell me if it can trigger itself. Maybe. Because I can move two spaces. Until the end of your current turn, each time you move adjacent to an object or freestanding piece of terrain larger than your mech, your mech moves two spaces in any direction as a free action, ignoring engagement and reactions. Your mech walls, uh, your mech wall runs, tumbles, or slides around. Uh, this effect can trigger multiple times a turn, but only once for each unique object and piece of terrain. What are you asking? Um, can I bounce between like the box and the wall type thing? I guess you could. Okay. Uh, so, other question. Which one is the person who was retreating? Oh, they're way ahead. They oh, okay. uh, they, they have stopped <laughs> retreating. Uh, which one of the... Which one of these it's two? this one, this. yes. Okay. So I'm going to firstly activate Jägerkunst. Move four squares this way. Which gives me two... Uh, two free, oh, sorry. Um... Four squares this way gives me two free squares this way. Gives yeah. me two free squares this way. I, my total speed is seven, and I'm planning to oh, move, boost, and then possibly ram if I get there. <laughs> oh. Sorry, Burger. I did tell you it was fucking fast. Yeah, I, you did tell me this. Okay. So, yeah. That goes. So, four. This is two. Two plus. Five, two, two. <laughs> Don't even need to use up all my movement. Okay. I can just bounce from obstacles. Go ahead. I do take one. <laughs> I do take one. Uh, one heat for that. <laughs> okay. So I'm getting all the way there. Let's see. Can I ram? Uh, I mean, can you? Yes, I assume so. Holy sh that is OP. That is, uh, that's because of the way that the map is built, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that, I mean, da damn. <laughs> he fucking gamed me here. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I wasn't even expecting it. I saw this map, I was like, Jägerkunst. <laughs> that's uh, what I was asking. So yeah, that was just, just to point this out, all of you seeing, this is one of the most impressive pieces of flying that you've seen in this relatively <laughs> narrow cave. Rocket-assisted parkour, basically. Yeah. 
Uh, okay, uh, you ram, so how much damage does that deal? How much does, how far does it push the man? Oh, this is the wrong one. Uh, I have a giant killer, which means I count as one when ramming. Uh, which doesn't matter because ramming is still, uh, your size is sl smaller. Um, ignores engagement from actor larger than itself, doesn't matter. Uh... Uh, it just deals the same amount of damage that a normal ram would, uh, which I don't know how that's calculated. Let me go quickly check ComCon. <laughs> Action economy, ram. Make a melee attack against an, uh, an adjacent character of the same size or smaller. On a success, your target is knocked prone. You may cho also choose to knock them back by one space directly away from you. Okay, uh, so it's just uh, an attack, and they if I succeed, if I succeed, they go prone. Okay, cool. Attack. <laughs> they go <laughs> prone. Yep. Um, uh, uh, at this point, uh, the the message that was just "stay away" an automated computer voice all the time is uh, becomes an actual human voice. It's like, okay, 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 we give up. There you go. Okay. Stand up. Um, so, who are you? Are you the crashed uh, Harrison Armory crew? Okay, so the, the fir first thing that happens is we're going to go to back to the other screen. Yeah. Uh, b b I actually, I need to drag you people back to the other screen. While they're talking, can I reload my hammer? <laughs> I mean, yeah, basically, we're out of combat now. Uh, and I need to move you here then as well. This It's the worst when you have to handle every single aspect. This is, this is why fucking uh, Critical Role has a producer. Yeah. It's, I have to do everything. Um... So you, you other people also can uh, like accept this concede. Or do you just go around smashing all the mechs? I mean, I mean, I could do that, but no. Okay. Uh, so uh, this guy comes out. Um, well, he doesn't come out. He sort of appears on a video feed. Um. And he goes like, "Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. We 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 surrender. We give up. You can you can have the cargo. There's barely anything left anymore anyway." Uh, well, actually, we are employees of Union. Well, employed by Union. Well, you should have said so. I thought you was pirates. I mean, one-way communications blasting us to stay away. Not exactly easy to reply to. Well, you could you could have said something. Is all I'm saying. That's why I tried to get to you as fast as I could. Yeah, I can see that. Look, this is a with the, you've cost me a a good bit of money here. We're breaking your own break, fucking fault, really. Breaking my no, you came. What am I supposed to think? <laughs> Somebody comes here. You know that we keep this salvaging thing private. If somebody knows where we are, it's it's because they want to kill us. So you defended yourself. So you have a good reason for having spent your mechs. But you're still the one that spent your mechs. It's, it's, you know, at this point, it's just an economic calculation. You can have this. It's the, just one run anymore. And then it would all be delivered. But, you know. Uh, so wait, no one stole anything yet? What do you mean stole? Why did you crash? This- I didn't crash! The ship crashed! I'm a- hmm. He, uh, he, 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 he- You receive, uh, 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 a certificate, a digital certificate, uh, put out to Terresti Salvaging. Um, uh, to, uh, salvage, uh, the contents uh, of a cavern 31 31 45. That's this. 
Oh, this right. is a salvaging operation. We got, I assume, I assume Harrison Armory. Some guy said, "Hey, we lost the spaceship. Please quietly drag it into a cave, disassemble it, load the guns on spaceships, and then quietly, running dark, fly them to our warehouse." Yeah, you got fucking swindled by a pirate, dude. I ah, uh, come on! I don't get swindled by pirates. You want me? You want me to call up uh, the? Who do you want me to call up? Harrison Armory or or the Union Patrol that dispatched us to recover this? Whoa, whoa, whoa! I have I have this worksheet. I have it's a form order. I'm cool. supposed to do this. It's my legal right. Except not, given that this is this has been uh, this ship has been uh, you know crashed by pirates, and therefore um, it I believe it falls under the union. Whatever, just deal with it with the union. Bring it up to union. Well, I, if I can, if I can, uh, if I can get the reimbursed here for you destroying my mix, I'll I'll certainly take that. Ask Union. This we're a, this is a salvaging operation. We just we take it. We have three ships flying rotation. Send it to the place. Then. Cool. I assume you're not going to tell me where the place is. Well, I mean, I you know you s look. I'm in a bit of a pickle here now because uh, as time's gone on, I've become increasingly Italian. Okay, <laughs> you understand. <laughs> <laughs> Understand what I'm saying? Here? <laughs> it's just I started out with a normal accent, but now I'm fucking full on Newark. I could be on the fucking Sopranos. Is all I'm saying. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, no, no. I mean, you, you clearly some kind. I mean, you work for Union, you say? Send certificate over. C certificate of contract of Lancer contract. Lancer okay, look. Movement. If I if I cooperate here, because I yes. I don't want no trouble. Me and my crew, we don't want no trouble. Mm -hmm. You can uh, you could you we gonna note that down in your report. Definitely. Just trying to because then you know they're gonna go oh this was all a big misunderstanding, mm -hmm. and they they might actually give me the my money back. Mm -hmm. In oh. fact, if you want, we can arrange for you to meet with the you know union dude that contracted us. But I, don't worry about it. Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna. Ha we're gonna handle that. Uh, just write in your report that I was uh, very cooperative. So okay, okay. Uh, we sent those ships to uh, Surgun. That's the one of the planets in uh, actually the inner system. But uh, we fly More dark. We load. We have three ships on rotation. Uh, we fly them out dark. Uh, fly ballistic. Uh, Fly their ballistic to, you know, make sure because this is look, it's very embarrassing to lose this kind of cargo. It really yeah, it's yeah. I mean you don't want people to know. That's I mean this is pretty standard practice in the in the salvaging business over here. Fair enough. But you're gonna deal with that with the union, right? Uh, I'm gonna so I'm gonna, we're gonna sort out the legal paperwork. As, as long as you note that down and yeah, he yeah. sends you uh the coordinates coordinates for a uh Basically, a countryside starport on the planet of Surgun. Okay. Cool. Yeah, this well, is... Well, then, for the moment, we're going to be seizing the weapons as well, if you don't mind. I mean, uh, you know, I don't even know what's in these things. Is it weapons? I mean, it's armory. Well, they do a lot of things. Yeah, but... This could be... You've seen the ship. This this could be just films, digital data with films on it. We could take a look. I mean, the well, containers no, are sealed, we're working but I mean, for Union, uh, switch to private com. We're taking a look later. <laughs> I mean, I can uh, the fellas and I. We could. How big is your ship? Uh, big enough. Is it big enough? Yeah, it's quite. It's just big enough. Yeah. For like you Big would enough. you could you would probably have to leave like one or two of the containers here. 
but like there, there's like six containers left mm. and you could maybe load up four you know what we're loading up four we're gonna take your contacts you load up the last two bring them to union um while you sort your paperwork to show how cooperative you are and uh yeah that's it we're gonna write down on our reports that you were the one that grabbed the last two containers yeah okay what this think? this whole situation is a bit of a mess so let's do it like that i'm gonna help uh, i can uh, send out the the guys they're gonna help you load this on your ship cool thanks okay anyone else want to do something no this round okay well uh in that case he just kind of uh, helps you uh load stuff onto your onto the the big old the, the i mean the medium size old ship that you have um and yeah then he just kind of leaves you alone you max it back in place and you're now just standing on that planet's surface uh, right, well, that was surprisingly easy. Yes, uh, too easy. Somebody say my name? No. Okay. No. Nah. Uh, well, easy is your name. Are we getting back on our ship? You are yeah, back I mean, on the ship now, unless you wanted okay. to do something else. Well, I mean, if I'm on the ship, I p fix my piece of shit mech. <laughs> Yeah, you, well, you, you can do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, how about cracking open, c cracking open those crates? Yes, let's... So, do you want to crack them open in a way that's, um, like... Where you can close them again and nobody will know what you did? Uh, I mean... Yes, but if... But I don't want to, like... Like, if I can't... I'm gonna crack them open visibly okay. as well. Because basically. you would need to like hack the locking mechanism. Yeah. Somebody could hack the locking mechanism and then. Skippy. <laughs> blow it up. We could, I mean, not blow them up, but blow them open, possibly. I mean, they specified they were weapons. These are just containers. We could justify it that way. I mean, probably Union wouldn't want you to open this, is what I'm trying to say, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, yeah Skippy, crack it. <laughs> but if you could do it stealthily, they probably wouldn't mind. Skippy. So, Skippy, you'd have to roll a d20 plus whatever your trigger is for hacking. Alright, one second. Okay. Nope. Ooh. Yeah, you try this old technique that you know to spoof uh, authorized security codes to open these boxes, but uh, but this uh, this system seems to have like an older version of the firmware where that exploit hasn't appeared yet. So uh, unfortunately, you can't stealthily crack it open. But other than that, nothing much happens. All right. Like, you managed to clear your trail before anything is logged. So nobody will know that this happened. Alright. Damn. Well. Wanna crack it open forcibly? Or... Yeah, let's play some C4 on it. Uh, uh, I'm washing my hands of this. I'm literally, I'm literally going to use my, uh, my ability. To blow something up. Yeah. Okay, you actually want to blow this open then, like yeah, with yeah, a yeah. precise demolition. Yeah. The precise demolition. Yeah. Of In the ship. In the ship. Yes. Uh, where is my? Where is it? I'm pulling up my my self on the suits uh, hood hood to to vacuum oh, seal oh, it. Sorry, sorry, oh, just, that's hit, just roll, blow something up. Okay. Yeah. Roll. No, I can't. What the you fuck? can. On the left of your pilot 
tab yeah. of your sheet, there should be triggers, and you could click the dice next to it. Pilots. Triggers. No. Oh, yeah, here it is. Okay. Nice. Well, it wasn't it wasn't a natural twenty, but you definitely hit that. Um, yeah. So yeah, you you carefully place this plastic explosive, a very narrow line of it, in just the right spots, and then you hit the, do the click button, and it's like, and it just swings open on its own, and inside the right, the pirates did that right, all the salvages. Yeah, and inside. Of that uh, shipping container, there is racks upon racks of various different kinds of high-tech personal weapons. Ah, uh, this is this is for us boys. So you have you have pistols, you have assault rifles, you have sniper rifles, uh, you have some grenade launchers. No rocket launchers though. Uh, much a lot of this is like laser powered, which is a Harrison Armory specialty. Um, like this is, this is like some Johnny Walker blue label shit. This is good, durable, high tech Harrison Armory. We're gonna destroy some shit weapons, and it is a lot of them. Like you could, if you, if you were, if you were to estimate with how much is in this container, the other containers, and how much the ship would have probably held. You could equip, like, an actual army with this. What the fuck are they- what the fuck are they- what are they doing? Were they... ...planning on taking over the system or something? I don't much care for what they're doing. I care for the weapons. <coughs> I'll take some guns. I'm yeah. not taking one. Okay. If you're taking one, you justify why you have them. Yeah. Well, well I didn't as, far as, them, as, far, as, far, as far as they know, we didn't open this. Well, actually, I mean, they be, know that you open be, this. Yeah. It's gonna be a bit difficult to hide it that it's uh, open. You literally blew the thing up. Yeah. Well, yeah. it could have been the other guys who found it. Right? Yeah, well, as far as I know, I was just repairing my mech, and I didn't see that. <laughs> I just work here. Yeah, I just work here, exactly. <laughs> work here. No, I'm taking a sniper, grenades, and a pistol. Have fun with your new toys. Um, oh, I shall. Right, so what what do we say? The salvagers opened it? Yeah. Whatever. Absolutely, I did it. Cool. I don't, yeah. I don't recall an explosion on board. I mean, there was none. You're right. Exactly, exactly. There better not be an investigation into this. Actually, I can, I can use Nicodemo anyway. Poor Nicodemo. Yeah. Him <laughs> just him just doing his yeah. job. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, essentially, that would leave you with these weapons and the coordinates of where all the other weapons have gone. Well, that was easy. Those things should not hit the markets. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, I bet they already did. Well, we don't know till we go and find out, right? True, true. Yeah. So, shall we head directly or drop these crates off? I mean, the station would essentially be on the way. Council station, you need to go... Wait, let me actually look at, a, at my map of the system. Uh, yes, uh, it would... Essentially, let's just say that the orbital alignment is such that it would be essentially... It would be like a, maybe a six hour... Um, well, no, actually, you would have to stop, though. Yeah. Um, so it would be a lot longer detour. It would, like, let's say that would be like a 12 hour detour. Yeah. If you, if you went from here, you could be in Surgun. Uh, at, um, in like, um, in 30 hours. Well, they're flying ballistic, so they won't notice that the next shipment is missing for like, what, a week? So, whatever. Although, if they do get messages from the dude, it's probably not ideal. 
they'd probably start shifting them. Well, what do you all want to do? I think we should head back to HQ and report this. Brexit, are you speaking? Not presently. Okay, okay, because it sounded like there was some, like, weird ghost shit going on with your yeah. microphone. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, I mean, I guess it is not your fault, but it was weird. Yeah. Oh. Alright. Or it might have been Anfash, too, who knows? Yeah, I don't know, man. Fucking sucking ghost stick. <laughs> Whatever. Um, that's a joke. It's a. Uh, it's a bad joke. Yeah. When you when you yawn. Whatever. So we are heading to HQ. <laughs> do you want to do the twelve-hour detour? Ah uh, no. It's just twelve hours. I don't think that would be much of a head start more. Uh, I mean, they are way ahead of us already. That's true. Yeah, but, you know, if they start, like, hearing from the dude that that um, their shipment got intercepted because dude's angry or whatever, then uh, that might fuck us over a bit. I think we should not take the detour. Look, let's go by votes. I'm fine, what, however. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just right, immediately so nobody has an opinion. Yeah. I, okay, oh. so I win, and I use pull rank to make these shitheads. Do you, do, again, I do don't win. use <laughs> this shit against <laughs> other players, you know what, man. You know what, you know what, if you try, if you try... <laughs> you know uh, what, I vote against Giovanna Sandro. is gonna try to... He's gonna start saying no, let's go. <laughs> I, ha I have an opinion now. I do the opposite of what he wants. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Okay, you, yeah, apparently no. you're taking the detour. Oh, fuck's sake. Ah, <laughs> uh, whatever. Good thing that was my plan, actually. You know what? Right. <laughs> I'm really <laughs> acting retarded. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it was all planned, man. So sure. you, uh, the ship, you know, it, it launches off the off the moon, and then it goes. <laughs> what What do you want to do as you travel? Is there anything special you want to do, or can we skip this? Fix mech. That's it. Yeah, I need to fix my mech. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Skip it. I mean, you couldn't do a full repair here, but essentially remove heat uh, yeah, right. and conditions. Actually, cool. it means I can change the loadout for my experimental weapon. You could do that, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna full repair again. Just uh, you know, gonna. Wait. You can't do full repair here. Oh, why not? Because the the, the you don't have the facilities. Oh, right. This okay. is a deployment. You can do minor repairs. You can uh, remove any kinds of conditions. Uh, yeah, yeah. Get rid of, like, heat. That kind of stuff. Uh, yeah. uh, but aside from that, you can't, uh, like, regenerate uh, structure, What's HP. Oh, uh, even, yeah. even with uh, skill, like, uh, fix and hack or something like that? I mean, if, oh, okay. if you could if you could do... If you could give me a, a fix check, I would allow you to refill your hit points. Yeah, that's that's what I'm looking to do. Yeah. Um, so, so if I you pass that, yeah, plus whatever your that is. Yeah, yeah, I believe. Let me check. I think it's plus two, but I will. It's my mech. It is. Yeah, it's plus two. All right. So. Yeah. Great. Four. Yeah. <laughs> Man, <laughs> what the fuck is going on today? I don't know. But yeah, I also realized I hadn't done it anyway, so that and that's uh, the. The, the good time to do it. I mean, I had already chosen which tags to give the experimental weapons, but I hadn't rolled the d6s that I need to roll. That's range and no, that's fuck users and damage because uh, that's the order they appear in in the description. Uh, so I have uh, what uh, three uses of it, and uh, it does six damage. Oh no, seven. Yeah, cool. Uh, yeah, and uh, I mean, if you you do your fixeroni repairs, you dock yeah. with a council station, real quick. 
Um, there's some union personnel who would take the boxes off you. Uh, okay. The lute- the commander is not there himself. because Actually, he is, though. It makes sense for him to be there. Uh, okay. uh, 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 let's... Hello. Okay. Ah, uh, suka. So brilliant. Yeah. I just the best thing that I do now is I say sabaka. Is <laughs> <laughs> just curse our sabaka. <laughs> it's like fucking okay. I am a belter now. Brilliant. <laughs> uh, he he shows up with some union personnel and he he goes ah I see you have recovered some of the wares. Mm, this is exactly as I had feared. Oh. We can't have the criminal cartels with these kinds of weapons. Yes, that's um, quite a lot of them. And uh, yeah, so this is the guy that's going to be bringing more of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, we found him there um, with a crate open. And uh, I don't know what the fuck he was doing with that. But, you know, he, he, he's caught... He, when we put, when we put uh, guns to his head, he started cooperating. I will uh, see how we can drag him through the courts. Right. We do not, after all, have authority in this system. I mean, there are, I think, legislations against piracy, uh, maybe association with piracy, eh, whatever, good luck. It, 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 the lawyers would figure it out. Yeah. Have fun with that. Um, otherwise, uh, do you what, do you have any more information? Yeah, the place where the warehouses were, where they were bringing them, but we're heading there now. And why did you not go there immediately? This Drop I off assume this, stuff. this is a this is a pressing matter. Yeah, but if we needed to grab the weapons, we couldn't have with the, our cargo holds full. Well, I mean, it's too many of them anyway. You need to secure them. Whatever. All right. Please, uh, let's let's get this over with quickly and then leave again. I will make sure you have a priority docking clearance. Cool. <laughs> Fucking. Hey, he seems a bit irritated. Whatever. I literally just lost, like, I don't know what happened now, because, uh, someone, someone entered my room, sorry. Oh, Oof. um, the dude was not happy that we brought him the guns immediately. Oh, what, why? Uh, All right. Because he is a, a, he likes time. Okay. It's a faggot. Right. Uh, okay. Why? Uh, then... You would go back to the ship and approach the beautiful planet of Surgun, which I'm going to write down in the chat. You mean you mean Fiducha? No, <laughs> completely different. Oh no, planet. The other yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. No, I so Surgun is not. Surgun has an atmosphere, but it's uh, synthetic. It's like it's created by big machines and a like a, a, a nominal ecosphere. It is essentially a massive desert. It's not a massive, fairly small world. It's a desert world, though. It's mostly like red rocky desert, as you would imagine, the outback of Australia. And it is inhabited, uh, or like, you know, the the deep hinterlands of Anatolia, which it just so happens that the majority of the people who live here are of Turkish descent. And it's basically, uh, they came here as part of a company mission because uh, the planet can be exploited for resources, but it's also like a very slow, ongoing, traditionally minded terraforming project on a planet that is way too hot for this. Um, So basically anywhere that isn't the polar regions, it's punishing heat. It's like fucking Saudi Arabia in summer shit heat you know it's it's quite warm really on this planet it feels hot outside doesn't it guys 
fucking. I guess I should wear a hat. So, uh, where do you wanna uh, where do you wanna land the ship? Because the the, the 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 you you were given so the specific place was one uh, outlying landing pad on uh, a specific starport, but he's changed. So the landing pad that stuff has been delivered to has changed over time, and this is a this is like the biggest starport on the planet. It's huge. It's for industrial use primarily. It's very convoluted. Uh, and so if you know your shit, you could probably hide a lot of stuff here. Goddamn. We could wait in orbit for the next fucking ship. Ask the guy. Just board the ship. And be like, yo. Probably not ideal though. Especially with, uh, Captain Pressing Matter over here. Over there. That is a good idea. I mean, I assume you would have gotten the, the delivery schedule also. Yeah. Actually, no, you know where the next ship is going to land then, because you got the delivery schedule. You know the landing pad where it's going to arrive in a whopping 18 hours. Oh, well, fun time. We could, we could stop them in orbit. I assume they don't just fucking smash into the atmosphere. They slow down in orbit. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they, he, he would probably oh, aero break. While they burn. Oh, well, we, we could intercept them while they burn. Yeah, exactly. We could uh, essentially board the ship and uh, be. But be I mean, the the, cargo. why would you do that though? To be the cargo. That way, the people are like, "Huh, let us see the containers, open ah, the door, and be like big guns." I see. That's a good idea. Okay, uh, well, apparently it's now ship-to-ship -ship combat time. <laughs> Wait, I thought I thought these dudes were from the shipping company. Yeah, no, no, yeah, company. these are they work for the salvaging company, so no, it's not going to be combat time. Basically, okay. you can uh, you ha you need you need a little bit, but you can pinpoint them. Let's go. And you Why could, not? I mean, unless you you have a different idea, I better. Agree. So yeah, you could intercept them. Uh, you could uh, move the cargo from one ship to the other. Uh, this uh, the 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 ship sure. with which a cargo is being moved. It's um, like it's got like a very loose hold. So you'd probably need to have the outer layer of uh, crates still. It's like a it's like a hexagonal ship. Yeah. Uh, you'd probably need the outer layer of crates Ooh. to still be in there to Where's hide you. Yes. What if we put ourselves in crates? I mean, your sh mechs wouldn't fit. The crates are not big enough. I mean, the mechs of uh, Skippy and uh, Blaze, yeah. your mechs would fit, but like Osprey and Baron's mech, uh, no way. Yeah. But you could- get shipped off to where they're storing the weapons. And be like, surprise, bitch. Like you couldn't hide in there properly. Yeah, they're probably gonna crack them open to check anyways. Um, yeah, so, but you could, like, make it, you could, if you keep the outer layer up there, you can f all fit in there and they wouldn't notice until basically they started unloading the ship. Yeah. Is that what we're doing? Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, this, so this is, it's a very rudimentary thing. There's only one s a small... A pressurized section which is like the pilot's cabin uh, and like a small living area this is a one person crew the guy piloting the ship is kind of like scared actually it's a woman piloting the ship because feminism I guess space um, truckers yeah, yeah she's a space trucker and she's uh, she, she's like, ah, what the fuck? This is very unusual, but my boss said that this is in the union and all that. And I, we do shady shit sometimes in this company. I hope I don't get put in the knicker. But yeah. no, it's... She, uh, I, I, uh, uh, Giovanna probably would be like, yo, it is I, the latest blaze. She doesn't really care. Yeah, still like, you know, recognition. She's like, okay. <laughs> to help. Well. Uh, okay, so, um... 
Yeah, that basically, and she would uh, then deliver the stuff. And she she explains to you that this is like people pick it up very quickly, load it on a number of trucks, and then basically drive away, and then she leaves again. They have a very, very short, very efficient crew unloading window. Cool. Well, um, you get away as soon as you can. Uh, Can you, like, jettison the cargo? I mean, not when we're in atmosphere. That would just basically make it tumble around. Yeah, well, but if you start taking off, there's gonna it's not going to be balanced because we'll be getting off. And then you jettison the cargo and you can get the fuck out of there. I mean, I could probably do that, yeah. Yeah, do that if you can. Yeah, she, she prepares that maneuver. Um, uh, basically, uh, it lands... The, the big, big ship lands. Right. Um, yep. It's like, sets down, it's very tense, you roll in your mechs. Uh, and, I mean, she would have to uh, open up, like, the- she would have to open up the lowest layer of cargo, basically. Um, so, you know, they should- they'd have to remove a layer of the containers. Like, a couple of the containers to create an opening for you. Uh, yeah. to get out. Um, and you see, like, uh, uh, immediately four of the containers sort of drop out of the matrix and, and slide onto, like, uh, like uh, big claws to grab stuff. And they move away, and, like, the, the, um, the, the grappling mechs, they turn their backs on you. But then one of them, like, just the pilot house turns back. Yeah. And you can Chunk. see... A guy uh, uh, in there frowning because there's not more layers of boxes, but just darkness inside of this cargo hold. No. May I jump him? Unless anyone else wants to do something else instead. I jump him, sounds good. Yep, fucking gonna try to ram. Get okay. On. Get him on the ground, get him basically knife to the throat type thing. Do it, do it. Okay, that's just a d20, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, d20. Oh! oh! oh you fucking, God. you you shoot out there, you just completely knock him over. The, the box that he's holding flies away, hits at the other mech, Oh. Next to him, which tumbles over also. You're basically standing on this larger than yourself mech's chest now with your uh, weapon just strained at the cockpit, just oh, immediately at the knife. guy's forehead. It's just straight up a massive fucking knife. Yeah, and, the, and he's he is fucking terrified. And it is at that Hello, moment. Lunch. Oh. Yeah, and then, you know, the rest of the crew sort of comes out looking badass. And uh, at this point, so this is like a big industrial shipping port. It's The sun is just barreling down on this. It's super fucking bright. Uh, there's a lot of warehouses, like brown, big, uh, like steel, metal, sheet metal, very, very rustic uh, warehouses. And suddenly... Out of all, basically all of the surrounding buildings, just probably like 60 guys in like at least power armor, well not power armor, but like a, a big sort of commando unit of police officers opens and has the whole place surrounded. Uh, a lot of it is like uh, SWAT. Uh, they have a couple of mechs. There's uh, helicopters with big barreling guns uh, flying around. Uh, and there's a big, big loudspeaker's like, uh, <laughs> This is the police. You are surrounded. Oh. Hi. Hello. Well, cool. Um, I'm gonna just uh, flip on... Flip on a, uh, like, outside speakers and be like, this is a Lancer team, currently speaking, call sign Blaze. We were leading an ambush, I assume, on your perps. Oh, shit. 
So <laughs> this is a minor standoff, and they they move in. So please, no, none of you move. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh, and they they uh, they go in to arrest the guys that were helping load shit onto the trucks. They arrest the truckers. Overall, they arrest like twelve people. Um. And then they're like, please step out of your mechs. <laughs> Who isn't doing this? Me. Yeah. Um, as I'm stepping out, I, I would also go like, if anyone attacks me, attack them back and then come get me. And then just walk out of my mech as it opens at the front. Wait, somebody didn't get out of their mech though. Who was it? Tell me. Hey, why am I not recognizing your voice? Yeah. I haven't spoken in a while. Oh, fuck oh, exactly. Yeah, but we know each other IRL, dude. I should know your voice. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Um, uh, wait, this is the wrong guy. What? Um, wrong guy to step down? I'm doing shit. Um... Uh, yeah, well, basically, so, uh, as the others step out of their mechs, uh, a guy approaches, uh, you. Uh. Uh, he, uh, in, like, a, he is not, he's actually wearing civilian clothes. Except, except for, like, the, you know, the, the vest that you get when you do SWAT yeah. raids. And, uh, when he sees that one of the mechs is still, uh, there's still someone in there, he sort of hesitates and is like, "Please, sir, step out of the mechs. Uh, we are, we are recognizing you as Union." Yeah, well, if they feel threatened, we still all wear exo armor. So, you, yeah, you, st Baron, come out. Yeah, You're gonna I start have wearing. Up. Oh yeah, armor. yeah, the the hot suit. He can oh. fuck himself. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. There we are. That was resolved. Uh, uh, technically, I am both a citizen, I am a citizen of Fiducia and the other government. Yeah, um, probably, uh, probably he doesn't recognize Fiducia. Yes, and the other government. S Sambar. Oh no, I would my character would also say the yeah, other. I government. know, I know, I know, but Sambar. Yeah. The actual real name of the planet. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, so he's like, uh, he, he comes there, there's a bunch of other police officers, some plain clothed, some uh, uh, uniformed. Uh, Hello, I am Inspector Kadar Um May we, we should exchange information about this. Hello, uh, extend hand, Giovanna Varani. Hello, uh, he makes the rounds. Yep. Hi. You are Lancers, Hello. yes, working for Union. In our current occupation, yes. And uh, this is related how? We have been finding that uh, they are... We do not know what kind of illicit cargo they have been smuggling, but this operation... Uh, we have tried to set up three stings already, but they have all failed. Ah, that must be why they moved the delivery location. Um, they are... Technically not smuggling. They are more like retrieving their piracy bounty. Um, that were booty. Uh, they um, that qualifies as smuggling. Oh, all right. Um, Legally not speaking, not a lawyer. Not a lawyer. Uh, transporting. They managed to down a Harrison Armory affiliated transport. You can guess what the containers are full of. I will. It is weapons. Mm. A lot of them. Um, Meanwhile, some of the guys are opening the containers, and there's like, yep, it's weapons. Yeah, you want to discuss this with the Union, I'm pretty sure. Uh, obviously, Harrison Armory is claiming all of these, um, and they don't want them around. Yes, we have legal authority. We are the police. Sure. As this I said, I'm not a lawyer. Uh, we have been trying to uh, uh, find the delivery location, 
but uh, I suppose now that we have the people in custody, we could yeah. do so. Yes, uh, it's probably for the better that you uh, you go. Although, although, if you would like, we are still employed to go and find these weapons. We could collaborate. Hmm. I will speak of it with my superiors. Right now, I cannot give you more answers than this. Uh, I am in charge of this investigation, but uh, collaboration like this must be um, uh, verified by the cleared with the state attorney and so forth uh, to ensure. But yes, it would be very good to have lancers on the breach team. I'm not going to uh, stop you there. Uh, you will, of course, be compensated accordingly. Uh, yeah. Collaboration with Union is always a good idea. Uh, Generally. Don't want to make them mad. Uh, but uh, <laughs> right now, I cannot say much more to you. We will uh, interrogate these suspects. Um, Do you mind if we come to whichever station uh, you're going to? Yes, you can, uh, you can move your mechs. Uh, please stay on the roads and please tell us where you're going. You can come to the station, but there is not much to do there. We cannot, uh, unfortunately, we cannot reveal too much of the investigation to you until the point at which the state attorney has cleared that we are collaborating. As long as they stay in the station. Yes, absolutely. This is a very awkward and situation that is going to be a very funny tell story to tell to my children. Well, good on you. There you go. Always strive to be to have an interesting job, right? Absolutely. Uh, yeah. So basically, uh, what happens is they investigate the guys. Do any of you guys want to do anything in this? Basically, in this starport. Next match. <laughs> I mean, the facilities are actually here for a full repair, yes. Oh, dude, hell yeah. And you would have, like, eight yeah. hours of time. Cool! All right, let's go. Hmm. Find out there, okay? Uh, let's see. I might, um... Let's see. God, what's the... Uh... Guys, do you mind if I just, uh, no. quickly go to the bathroom? Yeah, we're gonna uh, take a break soon anyway. Oh, yeah. Okay. But you can go you can go to the bathroom. Yeah, alright. Thanks. Yeah, I'm thinking of like how to call the uh the um actions, the uh uh background actions or however the fuck they're called to get to like communicate to essentially help mediate between the two members around so that we get faster collaboration and uh you know oh well, i mean yeah you could just be doing that um yeah uh that that wouldn't be just just schmoozing kind of yeah like come on i'm a, you know, I'm a citizen of the system and there it's reserves it's not like they, then nobody's trying to resist this there's just a lot of paperwork to be done yeah um, fair enough which you know they 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 they're all quite happy to do, and like uh, it's probably like ten hours later, um, uh, where they're like, okay, we have the where well, you meet again with uh, Kader Kimchayolo, and um, uh, in a, in a conference room in the police station, a uh, very like neutral conference room, not as like uh, super hygiene uh, like super sterile as the union conference room. Uh, but a lot more like dark brown rock. It's a, like sloped, uh, like a like a, you know, a 75, 75, a 45 degrees ang degree angles. Um, it's a bit more like it's it's a bit more homely, a bit more comfortable. Even the chairs are quite large. Um, uh, and I'd, they're like, I'd have like some coffee with me. <laughs> Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. You can get good coffee here. This is one of yeah. the things that Surgun is famous for. Exactly. They make good coffee. Um, and they're like, and oh, and he's God. like, okay, we know the location where the wares are being dropped off. Uh, it is in the fan wings. Uh, the problem is, 
It is by one of the major crossings and it is in a location that uh, we have had reports is heavily fortified. Right. It is then good that we have a Lancer breach team. Yeah. We could even... How are the for how are the fortifications? Are they defensive or or, or offensive? Mm, the the terrain is well suited to defensive combat. You would have to go into the fan the, the basically the fan wings are like these these long, um, relatively thin, as in like only a couple meters thick. Imagine the desert of Arizona, like these rocky formations. But oh, they're but quite long because they're ca carved in by the wind, Ooh. Um, and they all like right. go in one in the same direction because they're, well, they're you likely know. Likely, we have someone that probably could smash through them. Uh, not really. <laughs> like the thin ones, maybe, but they're too thick to smash through them. Okay, make nanites eat those dolls. So like they they're also they're like huge. They're like they're very large. Structures. I got a big hammer. <laughs> what is what is that? Pardon? Oh, he, he just right. got back here. You are very quiet, Sandro. Yeah. Is this better? Yes. Okay. Uh, Many I, I things are large, Sandro. Nice. Uh, okay, yeah. You, we would need a Lancer team to approach, but um, we have satellite data on the area, so we could assist you. We could give you tactical planning support. Huh. We have Back. been able to, now that we have been able to further investigate the location with satellite data, we can fairly certainly uh, make clear where the enemy positions are entrenched. Is there anything you can blow up? There is a lot to blow up, I suppose. Right. Although the fan wings are cultural landmarks, so you know. Try to preserve the environment. Although it, they are quite big, if something happens and one of them breaks down, it is history. Fair enough. Let's make some history. Okay. Let's go make some history. What I'm gonna do now is uh, say that we're gonna take a. Uh, break until 48, right? Okay. All right. And I'm going to move, I'm going to open up the, the map, um, for you guys. You would be starting in the lower left corner. Too fancy. Okay. And this is where the enemies are. So you can, after, you know, you've oh, gone no. to the toilet and all that, um, sort of go, um, and just to let you know, right, yes, that is indeed the Vulture, and yes, he does indeed have player levels. Ooh. Nice. Also, um... Burger, was it, what is it with you and maps with many vertical obstacles? I don't know what, what the problem- this is the only thing that you can do in Lancer. <laughs> Yeah. I suppose to just do a very wide open field? I mean, possibly. In some cases, yes. Or you can do, like, city blocks, I guess, but that's still lots this of... This is, you have line, you have really long lines of sight in this. That is true, that is true. Oh, well. Guess it means more things to bounce off of. Oof. <laughs> yeah, but this one is bigger, so it's probably going to be more difficult. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so this is like until 48. Let's take a little break. Uh, yeah, cool. I'm going to go uh, for a piss and all that. And I'll see you guys around in a minute. Or oh, a few idea. minutes. Yeah. All right. So just for the audience, up here we have a whole area of... Um, <clears throat> there's like a big bastion and a sniper. Here's your boy, the vulture. And this is like other mechs. Just to... Because I'm not going to be panning this around too much. We do know what kind of mechs are they run, right? Mm, well, uh, kind of. So oh, the okay. um, so you know that the vulture is in a rally. Okay. And he has it, this one has a lot of guns. A lot of six shooters. 
fucking... Like, f machine gun levels of six shooters. Like, hey, all of the flex mounts are six shooters. Okay? I guess. Um... Then the, the, uh, the, the guys that are just around are definitely some kind of aggressive shooty shoot type people. They have a lot of guns. There's a big bastion uh, that protects primarily a sniper, which you assume has a very long, not just line of sight, but line of shoot. I think I'm just keeping to size up my icon. No, it's just you click click on the token, right? Yeah. And now there's like a there's like black square uh, blue squares around it. Mm -hmm. Just take the one at the bottom right and pull it. Bottom right. Hello. Or I mean take oh, any no. of them and pull it. Mm. Ah, doesn't work. But it's uh, okay. That is weird. Okay, let me let me because okay, this is maybe you can't do it because you're a player. That could be the case. I guess. Maybe. I am here. Hello. Drop yourself on the battlefield. Well, dude, chief, no deal. Actually, playing. It's like just one normal sized mech, damn. Okay, Fine. let me... <laughs> How do I... Make bigger earth. Uh, complete encounter. Yes, confirm complete encounter. Uh, thank you. This is better. Uh, let me just get on these. Okay, this one is this. <coughs> this one is this. Okay, my man has... That's decent, though. Man, yeah, that's cool. My prototype when a weapon is overkill. Didn't realize that. That's cool. And basically, uh, like in this sort of valley section next to the. Um uh, Bastion, this is where all the cargo crates are. I know I could have, like, drawn them there, but I didn't. Yeah, that's fair. Based! <laughs> Alright. Based on what? <laughs> Science. Yeah. La laziness, actually. But Lazy. science, too. <clears throat> so, you, you know, just account for your movement because, uh, you big guys, there's some of these you can't get through. Like, I can't break? No. <laughs> like, okay, just to, like, the, the, um, the light brown is just the ground. Uh, mm -hmm. the, uh, um, or like the orangey one is the ground. Then the, the, the light brown ones are, uh, basically... Um, like, uh, two, three meters high. Um, and then the, uh, the black ones are, like, up to ten meters high again. Well, actually, no, they're uh, uh, two or three uh, meters what, high again. What I said when my, uh, internet died is, it says, you ignore difficult terrain. Yeah, but that doesn't, this isn't difficult terrain, this is just height differences. Any terrain, walls, or other stationary obstructions you attempt to pass through receive 20 kinetic AP damage, man. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they mm -hmm. will receive 20 AP kinetic damage, but they can take a lot more than 20. This is like big okay. fuck-off rocks. And then, and then if I have my battering ram, they take an extra 10, so it'd be 30. 
So yeah, that doesn't like the if there's like a, like a, a small outcropping, okay, you can yeah, yeah. slice that off. But this is like actual big rock. Yeah, it's understandable. I'm just taking the piss at this point. Massive, absolute units. Mm -hmm. Okay, is everybody back? Yep. Yep. Have you planned your approach? Uh, not completely. Okay. I'm currently planning my approach. Well, maybe so, you should do that as a team. You can try to communicate. Yeah. Um, yeah. I can I can get to the sniper. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, I think there, I can... There's this other mech right beside the sniper, you said. It's Sebastian? Yeah. So should that's I the defensive uh, short-range mech. I'm rolling 3d20 to establish my gun. Hmm. So going in bad. alone after the sniper could end up pretty tough. Hmm. So, Burger, what does my weapon try. transform? What does it look like? Uh, it the looks... The mixture of all the weapons it will be. So I don't know what it is. Yeah, that. <laughs> Just a mess of different... Jesus, pod, Matt. If, all, if only you Sorry. were the GM. Jesus. Sorry. Uh, you can basically pick what it looks like. I don't see why, because uh, mechanically it doesn't make a difference. It does, because like intimidation. Like, oh, my weapon looks like the weapon that you know how it works. Yeah, exactly. How scary. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> well, it is if you have like a good weapon, right? Uh... I suppose so, yeah. It looks like a six shooter. And and uh, okay, sure. Just a revolver. All right. A big one. A big fuck off revolver. Right. I like that. I like that. Cool, cool. And what they don't know is that it actually deals other kind of damage. So, so yeah, element of surprise, I guess, a little bit. Um, what the fuck? Is happening. What? What? Did, did someone have like a fucking Hitachi vibrator attached to their microphone? <laughs> Perhaps. Uh, I think that's a helicopter. Sorry about that. Why is there a helicopter above your house? Uh, I live by a military base. Okay. Uh, the, the feds are coming after him better. Yeah. Alright, so cool. I think. Our, our, our big boys should just stay behind and deal with these guys up front and then, like, our power. Yeah, I mean, like, the closest guy, I'm in range to fuck his shit up if I don't get a one again. I can get him. Yeah, your main danger is probably the sniper. Yeah. Because... So who's going first? Who's going first? It can fuck you up. Who can get I the can, sniper? I can... I can get the sni I can get to the... to attacking range of the sniper already. Are you right. fucking serious? Yes. If I if I if I boost, I sh I shouldn't have said yes earlier. <laughs> this is like goddamn. I mean, it, it's you who is gonna be behind enemy lines, yeah. Just right next to this big fuck off bastion, and uh, uh, yeah, which is why I probably shouldn't overextend that much. But hmm. He can take it, I guess, once. Mm. Let me see. Because you see, if I if I uh, move, boost, and then uh, and then uh, um, overdrive to boost again, I can move twenty three by myself. I think. Now the question is, no, do you want to do Sorry. it? Hmm. The question yeah, is, do I you want to not. do it? Yeah. Mm. I mean, I could get to the fucking dude and just knock him off the fucking tower, his fucking perch. It, he does seem to have a flight system. Ah. Yeah, that makes sense of, on how he got there. Yeah, the he, because he is <laughs> up there. <laughs> yep. Hmm. I don't know. 
we can just uh make our way bouncing around try we could try to keep ourselves in cover from the sniper uh, I also have a smoke generator drone somewhat like that just fucking put the yeah, smoke here smoke generator it's all rather a nanite swarm uh, right, but well, it's soft cover for all of us I was planning to take it from myself and move from the lower middle Maybe divert some of their attention. Here. Hmm. Yeah. Could do. I could come with. Yeah. You could probably just follow the Tortuga. Although, I think we probably, yeah, we probably should, uh, me and yeah. someone else should you, go you upwards. You can the, the really big mech, the Tortuga, as hardcover. That could be pretty useful. Yep. Oh, uh, I, any, I, um... any, any mech for me is half cover. <laughs> any, any not size half mech for me is half cover. Yeah, if you move into that space. Yeah. Yeah. I am a hard cover. I will take all the bullets and die. <laughs> no, you wouldn't even take the bullets. That's the thing. You wouldn't even suffer that damage. Oh, really? All right. So, what if we move around this way, then go around here, and then try to take out the sniper? Because we're not knocking down a Riley, a Riley real particularly quickly. Just to point that out, uh, the Big Macs couldn't go through that path. Because, you know, there's just one square there. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah just, it's just pawn. Hmm. Or I, I could do that. Overextend myself less. Deal with enemies along the way and stuff like that. As long as you deal with this... Th th these dudes, I, I'd be fine with uh, taking on the sniper. And the whatever the uh, I can big probably is. draw his attention. I mean, I'm really slow, so I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you might want to be boosting. I can move if super I, quick. If I, if I boost, can I? Where, where can I go to? Uh, I don't know. How much is twice your movement? <laughs> okay, it's eight. Well, I think I can boost three times my movement, but then I'll take heat damage. No, you can't. How can you boost yeah, three times? Jug or not, I believe, uh, if I'm correct, let me look back at it. It's final thing is, or second one is, uh, when you boost, you may supercharge uh, your mech servos, move your maximum speed in a straight line that takes 1d3 plus 3 heat. Huh. You the following benefits. You can, yeah. Or no, I can just break everything then. If we I could, we could, we could both rush in. We could, you know, just rush, bum rush them down the middle, yeah. me and you, and uh, fuck their day up. Yeah, that's, but I mean, you can't, one, yeah. That's when I give 20 kinetic. But, um, yeah. So I, I misread it. I'm bad. But still, I can go pretty far. It's just that I will take a shit ton of heat damage. Just heat, not heat damage. Just heat. Or just heat, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he could kill you too. Yep. Go but I gotta move straight. That's the problem. If I do that, it's a straight line. <laughs> well, whatever you want, my dude. It I'm just saying, like, how neck. could I do it? How could I do it in a straight line? You know. I don't know. Just like this way. True. True. Hit Wait, that dude in the way. way. Yeah, I could. Which once that way. you cannot, you 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 have to stay on one color. Oh, okay. For it to be, because uh, I, the other thing is not really a straight line anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You could uh, move in a straight this line. This is the like longest you can go, but, like, yeah, it doesn't so help you. Effectively, you this damage. is the longest you can go, then. Effectively, yeah. this is, is the longest yeah. you can go. Which is pretty far, frankly. Yeah. I mean, uh, if I get up that far and am covered, could you take the guy out? Like, what do you think? I mean, I can go first, and then you rush in as, as backup. Okay, I can do that. I probably can't take him out in one go, though. All right. So this will be. Uh. Yeah, I can do that. Hmm. But should I? Uh, let me think of where my the best place to go for me would be. Uh, you know what? 
Uh, I'm going to boost. Oh, uh, if if we're starting. Okay, you can start. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to um, well, first move, then boost to get 14 points of movement to this guy, this dude. Uh huh. Random. Basically, I'm standing on them, and random. Okay. Yep. Roll, roll a ready. Yeah. Okay. They're prone now. Uh, gonna... wait, well, can you... One second, I need to check which one this is. Okay, this is this one. Yeah. I'm going to overcharge to mm -hmm. do another action. Prone. Which is... Which is giving me one heat. Uh, oh yeah, also to ignore... I, I ignore... Um, I ignore the difficult terrain because I'm flying, basically. There is no real difficult terrain. Oh, okay. it's, it's very smooth, it's just there's different levels of hard rock. Okay, sure. Uh, you know what, I'm still going to fly because I deliberately want to bump up my heat. Trying to get into that danger zone. Ah, uh, yep. Although, no, you know what, no, because that means I can... Yeah, I'm going to overcharge and uh, do a skirmish with my orcs, orcs mount which has the full knife first um just going to do this plus my frame trait of hang on first I'll post the frame trait which is the fuck is it uh finishing blow oh I can't because it's a custom one um finishing blow once per round the atlas can deal plus 1d6 bonus damage on a successful melee attack against a prone target so this is going to be a melee attack because it's a full knife. Ooh, that doesn't deal a lot of damage, actually. Wait, hang on. Why do I have two difficult, one difficulty though? Oh no, it's it's accurate as well. So no, sorry. Wait, what? So that would be a full. So I had a difficulty on, whereas I yeah, should yeah. go with one accuracy. Yeah. I mean, that's still, I mean, it doesn't really change the fact that you do hit. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I mean, that really does, like, two yeah. damage. Though, uh, I also need to do the plus 1d6. Uh, well, before the, for, because he's prone. Yeah, because he's prone. Okay, hit it. Ooh. Nice. And then, since these are, uh, this is an auxiliary mount, I can use the other auxiliary mount and fire with the same skirmish. Uh huh. Which is my short range lo rocket launcher. Launcher. Oof. Uh, yes. Well, I mean, that you're basically standing on top of the guy. Yeah. Uh, they are specifically rockets made to be fired at point blank range. Okay, they that's. They have like a fucking... range of five, and they have shaped charges that go forwards. That is actually kind of I... cool. Yeah. They're. These two weapons are made to be used together, the fold knife and the, uh, uh, and okay. the rockets. Okay, so that's... Uh... Uh, so although the, the, the fold knife uh, really fucking gets in there and rips out some critical stuff, the rockets actually kind of bounce off his armor. Ech. Unfortunately. Oh, well. uh, yes, that would make it the enemy's turn let's see let's see hmm i wonder who has moved into my range oh i wonder who i wouldn't even know yeah what was this uh okay well that doesn't doesn't really matter um Da, da, da. NPCs can overcharge, right? They can do that. Um, don't Only know. some of them. Some of them, yeah. Yeah, this one doesn't have it written down. Well, I mean, I, I guess at that point you'll just, yeah. Um. <laughs> Yeah, this one has a plus two attack bonus, which I don't know why 
that doesn't get written down. You can't really write that. I mean, you probably can. I just didn't do it. Um, you are within 25 uh, yeah. squares of the... Yes. So, um, he will hit you with this. That's... Oh, shit! He still oh. misses! <laughs> this <laughs> fucking... Yeah. Big old sniper bullet goes... Does it have reliable? Uh, nope. it does not. Oh. Does it hit some of those rocks? Uh, I mean, yeah, it just <laughs> it 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 hits the rock instead, and it just. <laughs> Why can't I mark that this isn't loaded now? What the fuck? I mean, that's literally the point of CompCon, to give me the ability to take away the fact that he is loaded. Uh, you need to click to like the left of the charge or something. No, it because this is um. No, it just says this is a loading weapon. I'm gonna have to um. God damn it. Mm. I'll just use this, um... Fucking... Okay, I'm gonna uh, tag him with down and out. Just to remember that he isn't loaded right now. No. Uh, so yeah, that was his big round, which you just barely escaped. Holy shit, that would have been a lot. Um, next player. Uh, all right, Wasn't it going to be Juggernaut Man? Just yeah, yeah. Man. I was going to charge. Let me just... So I might... Yeah, okay. I'll do that then. So... Hold up. One, three, four, and then... Did you just... I'm sorry, did you just boost twice? Or my bad. I'll be here. Why not? Because you can only do every quick action once. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I, I boosted once then. So I'd be here. Yeah. And then, I guess, what I will do... Since I'm not in range of anybody, I'm going to put on that armor. So I think I'm immune to any shots that come my way. Uh, I'm um, sorry, what? Because, so it says... Uh, so you gain resistance to all damage... Um, and heat attacks from that originated beyond the range of three. Hyper dense armor. Well, resistance resistance reduces the damage by half, though, right? Oh, okay, so I'd get I'd get half damage. I mean, that, I'm pretty sure that's what it does. I I don't know what resistance means. That's why it, it, it is. It is what it. Okay. Yeah, it reduces. Right. Yeah, it reduces. Okay, the then it's it's reduced by half. I still do it. It would have been like quite powerful. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, he does get that also. Holy shit. This motherfucking lethal. Uh, okay. Well, uh, in, in that case, it would be my... Well, me. Um, uh, no, that's what I wanted to check. What's his, uh, his speed? Okay. What are you? What the fuck? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, five. Yeah. So he, my man, will uh, move uh, and uh, stand on sort of this ledge. Then, actually, let's do it here. Uh, we use this full. Move. Actually, we will fly this distance um, with his uh, big old flight system. Just <laughs> go there. Use his full movement. And then, hmm, oh boy. I mean, you can see that there's like, this guy has a big old shield on him. So he maybe doesn't want to take him out. But that other mech over there, that one seems pretty defenseless. Uh, barrage is two mounts, right? Uh, yes, it's yep. like two skirmishes or a super heavy. Yeah, or, yeah, I don't have a super heavy. Good. <laughs> Uh, what I do have, however, is, uh, actually, hmm, yeah, so he is going to attack you with a bolt thrower and two hand cannons, so I okay. will have to, the hand cannons, I have to both roll individually, right, I remember this correctly, yes, 
Okay, they have... Da, 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 da. They're not... Okay, they're reliable, though. But that doesn't matter right now. Um, the, uh, I'm gonna go hand cannon, hand cannon, bolt launcher. Uh, da, 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 none. Um, let, me, let me hit this. Where is this? Wait, actually, don't I get a bonus for this? Uh... No, no, you don't. Hmm. Uh, okay. Well, I know what One, I'm doing. two, three. So that's hand cannon, hand cannon, uh, bolt thrower. Okay, so, um, only the bolt thrower would hit because my evasion is 14. Damn. Um, and on the bolt thrower, I, uh, will activate one of my frame traits, the Jaeger dodge. Um, I gain resistance to that damage and move three spaces in any direction. Okay, okay. So the six shooters unload on you. There's a barrage of bullets. Um, and then there's this big bolt uh, going there. Um, which, ah, oh God, just let me unload this, motherfucker. Give me, get me. I am in life play mode. Lo unload, unload. Okay, and then I'm going to do damage. Uh, okay. Uh, it's just gonna be 3d6. Uh, uh, uh. Roll. 3d6. So the last one is explosive damage. But that doesn't really matter. Yeah. You get resistance to these then. But, yep. like, you get resistance to... No, you don't actually get resistance to them individually because this is one gun. No, it's one damage. Yeah. yeah. Oh wait, I also gained- oh fuck, I forgot, I'm on another mech, I have soft cover. Yeah, well you should have said this earlier. Frankly. Yeah, that's fine. It's next time, but yeah, I get to move three, um... Yeah, into any um, direction, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to move three this way. One, two, three. Because that way I'm in cover from the big fuck-off boy. Uh, hmm, I should probably- okay. Uh, yeah. That's mine, so half is four. Uh, barrage heat. Yes. Uh, oh, this is good. I needed to... Um... Okay, fantastic. Uh, then it would be the next player's turn. I'm going last, so who's next? Whoever wants to be next. Oh. Um. All right, I'll move. Uh, move. I move my character up, um, like 50 feet. It doesn't seem to want to let me move it. No, that's because you have to select it. Uh, you can't use the this tool for that. You need to use the oh. mouse tool. Oh, sorry about that. Alright, so I will move up here. Did you, you boost it for it. this, right? Yes. Okay. And I have a remaining action, right? Yes, you have a quick action remaining. Alrighty, and then I will also release one of my drones. Uh, which one? Um, the uh, uh, stealth drone. And it, the, the, what does it do? Um, uh, simply allows me to uh, extend my sensory range. So, I might be able so to it's the same one as last time, it just expands your sensory okay. range. That's good, okay. Okay, fantastic. Uh, then the enemies are turning. I have, I need to, let me just do, uh, I have to put these markers on them. Because otherwise I will forget whose turn it already was. This is already way too much information to be remembering. Yeah. Um... To be unprone requires a quick action, right? Or the, or the movement? 
Oh god. Let it doesn't require a full stabilize, right? That would be a lot. What? Uh, standing up was a movement, I think. Okay, it's movement. Okay. Well, that's fine. Um... Uh, so is that the full movement or a point of movement? Attacks against prone targets receive plus one accuracy. Additionally, prone characters are slowed. Encounters moving in difficult terrains. Characters can remain prone by standing up. It's a taking their standard move. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, yeah. then he's gonna uh, stand up with his standard move, a boost to get down here, and uh, to like have a bit more cover. And then uh, skirmish. Uh, which one is this? This is number four. And uh, yeah, the one that with the damage. Um, mm, 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 and then a skirmish. Uh, wait, actually, yep. those those are the 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 the. I forgot this earlier. I realized this now that I'm reading this. Ah, fuck off. Um, the hand cannons have reliable one. Do you have one armor? Me? Yeah. Uh, I had uh, technically I had soft cover because I was on the mech. Okay, let's let's uh, let's let that count because the, otherwise he would have taken that damage. But yeah. Um, great. Uh, then uh, he will use his uh, the, the two big o big fuck off rotary guns, uh, which constitute a heavy assault rifle, to. You, uh, right here, because they they they're kind of thinking that the big guy is gonna be big anyway. So, what gives, you know? All right. Doesn't hit. Yeah, that doesn't hit. It sort of just goes wide. Didn't really calculate that right, my dude. Uh, and that would make him... Ah, ah, ah. Tagged. Okay, next player. I think that will be Ali because Sandra insists on going last. Well, yes. fine. I'm uh, still uh, doing shit. One, two, three, four. And I'm gonna boost. One, two, three, four. So, um, I think I'm going to use some tech actions and, yeah, place a, what's it called? Um, I just blah, acquire this, this guy as a target, mark him as a target with electric, electronic warfare. Uh-huh. And this does exactly? Um, this gives us um, two dice bonus accuracy when we attack him and... You can use up the target lock to... Yeah, it's it's a target lock. Yeah. Okay, well that's very good. Uh, he Let me actually mark this down on him to uh, condition... Oh wait, it is no longer prone. Status condition lock on. There we go. And while we are at it, I'm gonna use some nanite haste to make him burn. Can you do that? Is that oh, a bonus right. action? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I can't do any more shit. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Already used my stuff. I mean, you could overdrive to get one. Yeah, more. nah. Too much heat. I mean, it's only one at first. Yep, too much heat. <laughs> so. This is by law. Uh, okay. Uh, enemy turn. The Bastion isn't going to do much of anything. Um, but this guy right here. But how much do they have? They have... I'm sorry, what? Okay, four. That's okay. One, two, three, four. Actually, no. Two, three, four. He's gonna be here. And he's gonna shoot at the big Tortuga, which I think now should be... 
uh, one, two, three, within uh, range three, right? right? If uh, I'm seeing yes. this correctly. Uh, and he would use... Uh, hmm. Wait, what did you mention? You ate this, uh, the one that just moved. This one is within yeah. three squares of you now. So right. your shield doesn't do anything anymore. Yeah. Against it. yeah. Um, what is this? Ah, okay. And what he will do is he will uh, uh, barrage on you. Why is this several different numbers? Did you, they did, I, th I think they didn't program this correctly. Or it um, depends on the tier, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, that might be. But, uh, but this one is put as a specific tier. It doesn't matter. We'll just run with this. So, um... Da, 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 within the affected area. Um, well, how big is the area? Motherfucker. Doesn't that, it's just sometimes this doesn't make any sense. Okay. He will still barrage on you. Uh, okay. That means he... One of these will be... I will roll 2d20s. And... Oh, fuck. I hate having to tab between, like, 18 different fucking tabs. Even with this ultra-simplified shit. Ah, yeah, that's right here. Okay. The first one will be the rifle. The second one will be the missiles. Um... Yeah. Um... Wait, actually, the missiles isn't even that. For the missiles, you have to pass a hull save, which will be, um... So the first one definitely hits you, I'm pretty sure, mm. reasonably certain. So I'm going to roll... This, this is uh, six damage. All right. Minus your armor, obviously. Yep. And now I want you to roll a d20 plus your hull. All right, my hull is three. So d20 plus three. Yeah, that makes sense, given your loadout. Yeah. So, let's... CD12, hold up. Two number. Yeah, there we go. Okay, 19. Okay, uh, you, so you don't, uh, take that damage. Uh, the, right. the, the, there's a bunch of missiles coming at you, but they all just fizzle out because you are very good at deflecting this kind of incoming damage. But uh, you did take the damage from the assault rifle. That's fine. Uh, he's he's stupid because now he is in range to get his shit slapped. But yeah, like that. Yeah. Uh, very good. That would conclude his turn and give Sandro the turn. All right, then I'm boosting. Uh huh. To move. Is this in line of sight? I think it is. Moving over here. Okay. Is that a thing I can do? Yeah. Okay. I mean, uh, you can do. You can, you can go here. Shoot your guns. Then I am going to use my. Wait, hold on. Let me open this. Which gun do I have? I am going to use my auto gun, which is a motherfucking cannon. All right. And I'm going to use my ability... Is it a super heavy weapon? It's just... Uh, wait, let me, it's, it, the type is... Pretty sure it's a lot, I'm pretty sure it's a heavy. Okay. It says... Wait, hold on. I don't think Pegasus has any super heavies. Uh, it says main ca... Oh, main. main okay. Main okay, fine. That's even better. Don't worry about it. Okay. Alright, alright. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna fire that. Oh, well, um... Before I fire that... Uh, it also has seeking and smart. Yeah, yeah, I, I've, I, I have that in the tags. Yeah, uh, smart means it doesn't uh, defend with its, uh, with its, uh, with its um, evasion. It defends with its e defense. Yeah. Okay. Um, but before I do that, I will. I am going to use the ammo case thingy. 
right? To deal fucking shock damage, alright? Instead of uh instead of the kinetic damage. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and now I lost I lost that charge so I can use that again. And can I use my other ability, Hunter Lock? To give me three plus bonus damage. I mean, does is ammo case free? It has to, it has to be within sensors, I believe. Yeah. When it's oh no, quick action to activate. Yeah, oh, it requires okay, a quick action okay. to activate. It's, then how do I activate this? Well, I mean, you if you do, it you... and then you can shoot. All right, then activate it. Well, no, you don't. Uh, to shoot, since you boosted, you don't have enough action. Oh, okay. You can you can overcharge, which means you take one heat. Oh no! Oh, you can yeah, I have direct. more heat than usual, so I'll take the heat. Okay. Yep. I'll take so you can heat. activate that. Oh, also, mark there. down that you overcharged once. Yes, I've added that. Okay. And now I'm gonna shoot. Uh, so I roll a d20, right? At whom do you wish to shoot? Uh, this piece of shit here. Oh, I, this guy. Yeah. Okay, you can do that. All right. Roll a d20. Did I roll? 20! That's... Oh, I have another ability that when I have critical damage, when I hit a crit, it deals maximum possible damage. Okay, how much is maximum possible damage? Uh, the HP of the enemy, I think. No, no, no maximum wait. possible damage hold is on, the maximum see. damage yeah. you can roll on a dice. No, hold on, no. Um, sorry guys, what? what? Um, okay, so Sandro. The maximum yeah. damage means the maximum possible damage you can deal with that weapon. So normally, weapons deal oh. d6s of damage. Your weapon just deals three all the time. Yeah, plus, the other, plus the other three. Uh, plus the other three for shock, yeah. Okay, but... yeah, okay. So, so how much would that be in total? I think it's six. just six. Oh, no, six plus the two from the shock damage. So eight. Eight damage. Yeah. Okay, so you hit this guy. Pff, you hit him good. Um, nice. Also, the what does the critical does extra stuff, right? Oh wait, no, that's smart gun. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I was I was asking the people who know actually have the wait, ability which to. Wait, hang on. That's sorry. Always deal extra stuff. Which gun are you using? I am using the oh, smart gun, gun, right? Smart gun. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. It's I'm using the auto gun. So you can't that... shoot the auto gun normally. It just shoots. You can attack with it as a free action at the end of your turn. So basically, we can mark oh, that so down as shooting with a smart gun. Yes. And at the okay, end of the okay. turn, so, you can so that's attack four again. Four damage plus three plus two, so nine damage. Yep. Yeah, but okay, and then at the end of the turn, I can use my auto gun. Doesn't yes. get any extra damage. All right, all right, all right. It's a main, by the way. Okay. It's a main rifle. That's nine damage then. Okay, sorry. Yeah. And then at the end of your turn... At the end of my turn I can use the... Auto yeah. Is that it? Alright. So is that guy dead? No. No, but, but then I'll attack with the auto gun. Yep. And that's like three more damage. Okay. So should I roll again? I think you no, have it's to. Straight up, no, it's straight up three. Is it? Oh, that's dope. Yeah. Alright, nice. Uh, yeah, but he, I mean, he isn't dead, but you hit him pretty good. Uh, doesn't the shock, like, deal something else? Like, um, like a status? Doesn't it leave him with a status? It deals shock uh, damage. Okay, it's just Let me that, check. Right? Yeah. Okay. okay. Sure. He doesn't have any specific vulnerabilities to that. Okay, okay, okay. But yeah, he's not he's not in a good place anymore. You you'd be you'd you'd say. Right, cool. <clears throat> having the expert opinion that you do. <laughs> um he might actually be in a pretty bad place. Uh enemigos. Opening up. Right just a second. Uh yeah, okay. Now it's just basically my turn for the rest of the time. And so this yeah. guy's going to move 1 2 3 you know, 3 4 And it's uh, one, two, three, four. And the other guys are not. The Bastion just isn't going to do anything. Wait, actually, 
forget what I said. It can probably do some stuff. Yeah, it'll uh, activate a protocol. Back, sorry. Okay, tremendous. Uh, that would remove all the markers. Ah, god damn it! Just remove. God fucking! Just remove the marker. And put us back in a position where we can play. Yep. What happened though? Nothing. Oh uh, shit, that happened. Okay. Does anyone want to go first? Uh, I don't mind going first again now. Uh, sure, otherwise I have a thing I can do. Yeah. Do you want to do that thing? Like, really bad? Yes. Okay. okay. Bam, I'm activating my core system. Oof. Which means I can move even faster now. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> so I'm gonna use... Uh, I'm also going to activate the um, Jägerkunst, which is a protocol, so I can activate it for free. Um, just does mean I get one more heat. Um, so I'm going to be able to move... Three, so from this obstacle, I'm going to be able to move three. Then from this one, I'm going to be able to move three. Uh, plus eight for each boost. Six plus eight. Fuck, calculate it. <laughs> well, I forgot I have a passive that gives me one one AP kinetic damage. Fuck. So fourteen. That sounds like. Oh yeah, no. Um, plus eight again. Twenty-two. So I'm gonna move along. Here. Oh wait, fuck. Wrong tool. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. no, no. Just, um. Okay, twenty-two. Measure out twenty-two. Uh, nine, ten, eleven, seventeen. So, so burger. Yeah. I'm going to. Uh, We're gonna die. That's what's gonna. That's what's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, hmm, let me think. What should I do? And Fash, what are you doing? What am I doing? Stop. Yeah, are you are you farting into the microphone? No, no, I don't know what's going on. Uh, Brexa actually subscribed with uh, Twitch Prime. That's cool. Thank you very much. There, Brexa, who is in this room right now. <laughs> Happy to help out. Mm, yeah, um, I'm going to move all the way to next to the fucking sniper. Yeah. This was one move and one boost, and the Jägerkunst, and then I'm going to hide. Cool. Just hiding right next to the sniper. Yep, and they can't, they, 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 they literally can't find me. This is the stupid shit that this frame can do. I mean, they must have seen you come there yeah they roughly know that i'm in the area okay uh but uh oh, okay i need to now i yeah. need to sort of as the ch as the, as the bonus thing says the hatless can hide even in the open without requiring cover the only way to reveal it is for an actor to search for it or if it breaks uh hiding in a normal way by boosting attacking forcing a save Jesus. or taking other actions that break hiding yeah, so you can make a Ooh, search. Oh, you know what? No, you know what? Before that, I'm just going to fucking... I'm going to... I think I'm going to attack it and then overdrive to hide. I mean, now you just did the thing. Yeah, whatever. I'm just going to hide. Yep. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's, let's keep, let's keep the tempo up. Um... Hmm. Who's gonna, who's gonna do what? 
I think... How close is this? Uh, yeah, okay, that's within range. Uh, so, uh, my man is going to skirmish. Uh, in order to, uh, shoot at, uh, you, Anfash. But this right. is still with the, this is without the, um... Uh, you are, you have resistance to this damage because it's far yep. enough away. Uh, he's gonna shoot at you with two six shooters. ba -bam. Or rather, right. you know, that but six times. Uh, and I think the second one should hit. Uh, okay. Because my evasion's eight. I don't know if... Yeah, yeah, then it hits. Okay. Uh, and the first one does, uh, it's reliable one, but I think, uh, because of your armor that does nothing. Uh, so the second one, da -da -da, both are unloaded. Uh, that's, uh, 1d6. Oh, 1d6. Uh, so yeah, I don't think you take any damage no. from that. No. Uh, okay, now what he's gonna do is... Uh... Five. Move up here. And also... That, it would be cool if you could reload as a quick action, but that would also be super powerful. Um, and, uh, yeah, he's flying, so he takes another point of heat. Uh, and he's going to... Boost for another five movement to get up here. Yep. That is that. Cool. Uh, play a turn. Uh, can I go? Sure. If you want to. Okay. Uh, alright. So I guess I move like. Can move two this way? Is that allowed? Pardon? Yeah, two. It, it just I'm just moving two this way. Yeah. So I'm out of range of the guy uh, south of me, and then I'm gonna blast this guy I'm next to with. Let me see which weapon I want to use on him. Uh, you know what? I'll 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 hit him with the hammer. Dope. Hit him with the hammer. All right. So um, I roll d20 d6 again. Uh, I mean that it depends on it. Is it reliable or unreliable? Uh, the hammer? Yeah. Uh, it doesn't say either. Wait, is it accurate, inaccurate? Uh, no, it just, it doesn't have either. It just It doesn't loading. have any tags. No, it says loading, that's the only tag it Okay, has, yeah, then so. just roll a d20. D20 and d6, okay. No, um, just a d20. Alright, just a 20. Right on, right on. 20? 11. That's two. Yep, that hits. Roll for damage. Right. So then I roll a d3, which... Uh, I'll just divide a d6 by 2 because I don't see the yeah. thing. Yeah, I mean, so then you I can got just two, write it down. A 2 plus 5 to damage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 2 plus 5, what? Yeah, because it's a d... It's a So I would have gotten 2 if that was a d3, and then it's... The damage is 1 d3 plus 5 kinetic damage. Ah, okay, yeah, I see. Uh, okay, so that would be uh, 7 damage. All right. Okay, basically, uh, you take your hammer, this already quite battered machine, you just pff, smash it. You just oh, yeah, d right. destroy it. It's it's right. broken. There we go. Just boofed. Boof. Destroyed. Hell yeah. Alright. Uh, then it's my turn. Uh, search is just against your E defense, right? Uh, I can't remember. I think so. Yeah, okay. Uh, reasonable. Then the Bastion is going to search for you. Um, oh, fuck. Uh, t -t 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 and it's a quick action, right? It's a quick action. Pretty sure. Uh, ba -ba -ba. This is already open. Why am I trying to open this again? Uh, yeah, that's a 19. Cool so, you are no longer hidden. Yep. 
And what it is going to do now, this is the wrong comp con. I have two comp cons open because I'm that level of king. Nice. Uh, that's threat range. That is threat range one, right? What is threat range? <sighs> it doesn't that threat range one. Um, yeah. His shield, right? Should be able to. Hit yeah, him. yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Search is um, choose a character within your senses that you suspect is hidden. Make a contested systems check against their agility. Okay. Yeah, so I need to roll an agility check. Uh, yeah, okay, this is system zero. Do an agility check. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait. For, I had an accuracy anyways. So yeah, yeah it, that would be a but six. it doesn't matter because it was a 19, so you are still yeah. revealed. I could, I could do that, but really, it's, I mean, it's loading, though. Yeah, I'm going to use, he's going to use his uh, heavy assault shield. To sort of buff you in the head with it. Uh, wait, that doesn't. That's nothing. That's nothing. Yeah, it does have a plus one attack bonus though. I have. Uh, I have a uh, soft cover. Yeah, I mean it doesn't. It's. I mean, it wouldn't even have done anything at all. Yep. Um, that is a fucking powerful build, dude. I know, my dude. <laughs> that's why I made it this way. Yeah, this, I, every time, this is every time, so I'm never doing this again, by the way, where somebody just asks me, hey, can, can we make it work this way? I because mean, every time I've done that, it's been some ridiculously OP shit, which is cool. It's just that I, as a GM, can't deal with it. Um, I mean, what can we make it work this way have we done because i have i don't think we have done much a, that's a lot of, a lot of it a lot of it but yeah it doesn't really matter it's it's fine sure uh i don't think um yeah uh, that will make it a player's turn i'll go this time because we must found the charges which we all right so i'm gonna move uh over here that's four uh, I, that would be, uh, you would have to climb that, so that would be a minus one on the movement. Okay, so I'll see here. Yeah. Alright, do I have light and sight to this guy? To whom? To this guy. Uh... <sighs> hmm, I could, let's say he is in hard cover. Hard cover. Yeah, okay. but you so have line of sight. The cover would be, uh... Balanced out with a lock on him, so it yeah. would be no difficulty, no accuracy. Yes, exactly. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I will use my smart gun again. Does Does he have any type of weaknesses to any type of? Uh, of if he does, you do not know. Okay. Uh, is there a way I can check? Uh, I mean, no, he doesn't. All right. I'm just gonna tell you, he doesn't. This is not a special kind of it, it's just a guy with a gun. Okay, okay, fair enough. Uh, so, I'm going to activate this. Uh, okay. Oh, um, All right. what? this is a reaction, I think. No, that, that has a reaction component, but I need to oh, react yeah. it first. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. so then, then I can react. Okay, this so, is a full tech, though. Yeah. So that's a full action. Uh, yes. You gain the AI tag and bend probability full tech option. Okay, that is interesting. What kind of tag do we give you to, that you were an AI now? This is designed for fantasy play. You're an AI now. This is what the I mean, tag looks not, like. It's more like you can let your mech do its own. Yeah, his mech has a built-in AI. Yeah. So basically, he can get out of the mech, and the mech will follow. That's basically, exactly what I'm gonna do. Can, can yeah, I get, can I still get out of the, of the mech? Uh, yeah, you could. I think you could do that. I'll allow it. All right. Then I'll get out of the mech. How do I do? I grab a second. Uh, yeah. You just grab a second one. Let me uh just um give you yeah because this is just a guy. And I have no more actions left, do I? Uh, no. Okay, 
Just yeah, let's. Easy. Yeah, be like, don't be fucking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And uh, that's it. Yeah. Cool. Oh, and the auto gun fires at the end of my turn. Uh. Okay. At this guy too. Uh. Yeah, that guy as well. Okay. Then he would take three damage. Yes. Yes. Three damage. Yes. Okay. Da -da -da. Yeah. It's crazy that that thing just hits. <laughs> oh no, you still need to fire it. I still need to roll the thing. You literally, you literally told... Yeah, it's, it fires at the end. Uh, it fires for free, but it still has to fire, I think. It's just a damage... No, it's seeking and smart. Yeah, but seeking and smart both mean that uh, essentially it, you roll against its E-defense. Wait. Yes. So roll roll for I, that I, damage. Yeah, this guy has low E defense though, I'm not gonna lie. Roll to hit. Do I roll a D twenty? Yeah. Oh fuck. Yeah. So that hit, that's that's perfectly fine. Alright, cool. Oh, someone left. Yeah. Uh I think yeah, Brexit, left. yeah, he's also it is always the Americans that have internet problems. Mm. I don't even Cancelled by Trump. Yeah. <laughs> Trump is going around cutting internet wires. Um. Nasty orange man. Sitting in a white house with a red button. Uh, let's see. Let's, let's, uh, I'm, I think. It sounds a little something like this. So one, two, three, four. This, this guy's gonna move down here. Uh, into uh, your range, Anfash. Yes. And he is gonna shoot at you. And he's gonna do a barrage, like the last guy, also. Alright. So, we're gonna have... You're gonna have to roll a hull save. And I'm gonna right. do a standard shooteroni. No! <laughs> Fuck, dude. God, why? Wait, was it a D2... It's a fucking one. How many times have I fucking grit failed? <laughs> a lot. In this game, a lot. Holy yeah. fuck. Yeah. So first thing that happens is uh, you take uh, six damage kinetic. Well, oh, fun. Uh, yeah. Just standard from his assault rifle. Just yeah. And you, it's just, you try to evade that, but then yeah. the barrage of missiles kind of comes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And it just, it's, it, it just impacts you. Mm. So perfectly. Um, uh, that not only do you take six kinetic damage, uh, but you also take two heat. Because it just Oof. it just hits... It's just the way the sun's standing and the way that it explodes. Let's, let's say one heat. Let's say one heat. You also take one, one heat. heat. Yeah. It's oh, I could have, so... Fuck, I could have used my bent probability to, to help him here. Fuck. Yeah. yeah it's my but bad. you didn't. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't really. Because you hate him, and Fash, yes. Walking Warrior hates you. This is that's the I fact of the matter. Um, I, I, yeah. forgot, I should have rolled two d twenties last turn. That's why. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll do it the next turn. Okay. Uh, that'll make it. Uh, da -da -da -da, uh, player's turn. I'm left, right. Yep. Well, he could also be right wing. I don't really care. I'm um, more of the radical middle. So, um, I can move four spaces forward. Yeah. And there's just one guy left. And he is locked on too. Well, I boost and use my whip. Which I think. There is a measuring tool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the weapon has a little bit more range. It's a threat three, threat three melee weapon. Yeah. Pushing button. No. No, that was the wrong one. Okay, I pushed the wrong button, but I guess the attack should still hit. So my Baron just pulls the wrong switch and showers him with nanites. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, uh, that would do... Yeah, two kinetic. Two burn. Two burn, damn. This is... What number is this? This is number four. Da -da -da. Guys, let me go first next round, because I want to activate the probability to help you. Ooh. Uh, tremendous. Uh, he is, uh, pr yeah, he, he is, he is on fire. The pilot is, is scared. There's some shit going on. He might be deploying some protocols. Who even knows? Okay, now it's unlimited my turn. Uh, first of all, the sniper guy is going to reload. Uh, and that would be his turn can't do anything else uh guy down here you're really splitting them up one two three four he's moving up here uh and this guy is going to try to shoot back at the baron <laughs> let him try full barrage my man so give me a whole save um uh, that was Can I do this? Yeah. Ooh. Okay, yeah. Oh, shit. So, I don't think the assault rifle hits, but, uh... Yeah, you do take a big time six kinetic damage from, uh... From your boy's missiles that oh, land no. there. Just pfft, impacting all over your mech. Yeah, some missiles blowing out chunks out of the armor. Boom. <laughs> Six, you said? Uh, yes. Six points left. This, I will say. Ah, fuck. It is now. Player turns. So let me go. Okay. Go for it. So I have a question. Yes. Can my mech, does my mech and I have an independent moveset? Uh, I I would say you will go both go at the same time and the same like turn, but you can do separate actions completely. Okay, so, uh, so my max gonna do the full tech thingy. So I'm gonna roll two d20s. Mm -hmm. Okay, I roll two oh, two d20s, and then I store those numbers, nineteen and fifteen, uh -huh. stored, and I can substitute them later on one of my teammates turns it's <laughs> fucking crazy cool dude <laughs> yeah it is it's fucking, fucking horrors man okay um i thought it was any roll i don't know no only if they roll a d20 can i can i substitute it but those ah. are good though those are good yeah, numbers yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah indeed indeed um then i am going to use i'm going to move like over here all right and I'm gonna just throw a fucking explosive at this guy. Like this guy here. Okay. Um, so How much damage does these explosives do? Uh, I don't know, because this is like a, a pilot action. Okay. Uh, it, it, there, action. there are pilot items that are basically grenades or mines. That's what you want to so use. I rolled a 24. Okay, that is pretty fucking good. You did a critical hit. Um, uh, let me check. Um, okay, and now my auto gun. This, 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 is the guy dead? Uh, oh no. Hang I'm on, let me check no. my, my let... auto gun is going to fire again, alright, at the same guy. I'm gonna, uh, how, I'm gonna say this, uh, like, the because it's a, a player explosive, it's gonna be like two, actually three, uh, plus he's shredded now, so his, uh, his... I yes? actually think that the player explosives are Oh, 19. Quite a lot Boom. stronger. Okay, well then, Red please grenade. look that up, then. Uh, so the oh no, it's there. Yeah, it's two. Yeah, it's two. You're right. <laughs> okay. Yep. Okay, but uh, hold on. This 19, like it hits, like, like the autogun hits, right? But yeah. One second. Uh, because you did it, rolled a critical hit. Uh, I will also give him the shredded, so he doesn't benefit from armor anymore. Cool. Uh, so you basically managed to blow off his armor, even though the grenade itself doesn't really do that much. It was placed it really quite well, and it's like. <laughs> So the armor is fucking fucked. And the auto gun, yes. Uh, can you, oh, but that's... the auto gun is firing with Hunter Lock, because he is uh, within the system. Yes, what, did, what does this mean? Does this increase the Plus damage? Three bonus damage? Okay, so a, for a total of six. Yes. Very good. Yeah, that actually, this 
Especially with the armor stripped away. It's just... The guy is fucking... He, he has problems now. He's still stable, but... He, oof. Not very. Nice. Alright, cool. Okay, what's gonna happen now is that uh, my man uh, Vulture is going to stabilize, uh, venting all his heat and reloading his many loading weapons. Alright. Uh, he has a total of five. <laughs> 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 it's like cha cha ching. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah, and that would basically be what he does. Uh. Okay, play a turn. May I go? Uh, yeah, you may. Okay, so I assume I'm at the bottom of the cliff, while the sniper is at the top of the cliff? Yes. So I'm gonna activate my all theater movements, uh, suite to, um, standard move, uh, all the way up. Oh, actually I'd hide first again. Hide first again. Uh-huh. Then move. And then attack the sniper um, from hiding uh, with the um, knife again, which in this case, since I am finally in uh, in the danger zone, <laughs> I am dealing. Let me look up all of the damage bonuses that I get. So, uh, oh yeah, firstly, um, the. Um, the sniper needs to pass a hall check or they're forced prone. Okay. Uh, does okay. this happen before anything else? Before I attack, yep. Fucking hell. And this is a sniper. So this is a... Uh... This used to be a sniper. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm pretty sure... Yeah. Yep. They have terrible hall. Okay, so... Now I have my fold knife, which is just my fold knife, plus the damage from uh, from uh, Hunter because it's prone now, which is plus one d six, plus one d six energy from the heat, the sheer heat, also deals two heat to it. Uh, oh, could you substitute that? I, I was going to actually, yes. Oh, actually, yeah, whatever. How, how much I, do you I need? need? How much accurate. do you need? How much? I would I would still have one accuracy tech. Any of them got to roll. Yeah. Any of them uh, would do. You get the fifteen. You get the fifteen. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna scrape this off now. I can't use the fifteen. But I, st I still have a nineteen to use. Yep. Okay. Oh! Holy fuck! Yeah. Nice. Okay. So that plants in. Is it dead? Yeah. Tell me how you want to do this. Uh. Just basically springing up from the bottom of the of the of the canyon, I'm just gonna burst up with a burst of uh, rockets, kick this fucking mech in the face, and just plant uh, the superheated knife into like the joint between the torso and the um, uh, and the head, like downwards. Damn. Okay, so this is this is actually the Ben. I'm, I'm reading further. The Ben probability can actually substitute enemy rolls as long as they're in range. Yeah. Yeah, that's so because then if you roll poorly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's cool. Mm. Because otherwise that would have been fucking dumb. I'm yeah. very tempted to overcharge again to to hide. <laughs> I mean, you ba you just destroyed that sniper. Holy shit. You know what? Fuck it. Yeah, I'm I'm overcharging again. <laughs> Rule D three. One. So I take one heat. Uh, and yeah, I'm back into hiding. Yeah. Coolio. That would make it an enemy's turn. Yep. Um. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, let's see. This guy down here, he was doing fine with the uh, with uh, the the prince. Uh, he's gonna try. He's he's getting kind. Oh, wait, actually, he takes damage, right? Because he's burning. Yeah, he's burning. Yeah. 
Uh, that would mean he takes- because he has burn two, that means he has two- takes two damage, right? And gets reduced one burn? Yeah. If I remember the rules correctly? Yep. I think that's it. They're like XCOM rules. And it ignores armor too. What is happening? Uh, okay. Well, he is fucking- he's kinda just scared. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna sort of fire at you with his standard weapon. Um, guy who literally just slagged the shit out of him. Um, with the, the big double assault rifles. Won't be able to do it, and then sort of move in this direction for four spaces, which I assume triggers uh, your reaction. Ali? Ali, Bruder, du bist... I'm awake, I'm awake. Brudi, ich bin da. Yeah, yeah, I think he triggers your overwatch, right? Because he moved from here to here? Yeah, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Yeah. So, overwatch, that means... Uh, I have I mean, no curiosity, like here. but I have this nice whip. Press the button. I do not hit. Oof. Except well, that, wait, 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 wait. five would or you, below. Where would you like? Would you like to hit? I I I hit I hit rock. Uh, so you don't want to no. you don't want to force this hit. All right. You can I'll you can Baron, you, you can get uh, Sandro to make you hit. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's what I was yeah. asking. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm that so would actually you... destroy him. Okay, yeah, just uh, just use my 19, man. I take your 19 and... Alright, you roll 19. <laughs> throw out my arm, armor. grab his his oh. uh, lower leg, the left leg, and pull it out of his chassis. Making him tumble over, falling to the... I'm more of a support than anything. <laughs> Damn. I <laughs> yes. mean, yeah, it seems oh. like it. Yeah, it uh, seems like it a lot. Uh, I mean, it depends. Your damage output can be quite fucking massive. Right, yeah. Like, you can do 12, 14... I like this, I like this. Look, I'm liking this. I'm finally starting to understand how to play this character. Nice. Are you feed? Are you cooking, Anfash? <laughs> That's not me. That's not on my leg. It's Brexer. Are you cooking, yeah. Brexer? <laughs> oh, no, I was just moving some cans. Sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> nice. I've been cooking. That um, was a while ago. Uh, okay, then it is an NPC's turn. Wait, didn't an NPC just go? Oh, yeah, NPC actually, yeah, it's you, it's you guys' turn, yeah. Can I... Let, let me go, let me go, let me go. Oh, okay, okay, you can. I want didn't to you already... No, 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 didn't you oh, go oh, already? Oh, sorry, this, yeah. this round already went. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. Uh, can on, I open up... Uh, can I... Get revenge on this man that fucks my shit up. You could, yeah, theoretically. All right, all right. Well, uh, I charge him. Yes. Uh, ramming speed. Let's go. And um, he's in range because I still have the shield up, so that means my movement is half, but that's still fine if I'm charging. Um, so I will roll a d6 and a d20 again, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, d20. 19. There we go. D6. Damn. Ah, and a six. Oh, oof. damn. Oh. This is this is Ooh, number boy. one, and uh, the knockback, uh, if that matters, which I think I have too much knockback. Uh, I get plus three to whatever the standard knockback is. Yeah, and also, uh, yeah. You basically you run into this guy and you just smash him, you boof him out of the way, and then he just almost shatters as he bangs into the wall behind him. Oh, dude, fuck yeah, let's and go. And des destroyed. Annihilated. <laughs> gang, gang. Okay. Uh, yeah. I guess. I guess that's my turn then. Uh, yep. Uh, and then it is uh, the last NPC turn. No, actually, no, it's not the last NPC turn. Uh, Bastion is going to try and do uh, the systems check, a contested systems check oh, against yep. you to find me. Yep. Yep. Uh, ba 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 ba. Okay, that's fine. It's just a zero. That's right. Ooh. 
Fuck yeah. Can't see this. Why can I not see what you rolled? Okay. Yeah. 18. Okay. Oh, can you see it? Yeah, that that didn't yeah. that didn't work. Uh, it's the whoever this is is kind of panicking. Um, and is going to da, 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 let's see. What the fuck? Oh damn! It's actually gonna move. Oh fuck! Uh, I can't move this way. One. Oh no, one, two, three, four. Do, do you get Overwatch reaction? Uh, yeah, actually, because I get a threat from my knives. Go oh, ahead. Although I'm, I don't think I'm going to use it because that would break my hiding. Hmm. Maybe, maybe. Okay, uh, did any player not go yet? Braggs, I think it didn't go yet, right? No, I haven't gone yet. Okay. We'll move forward and let's see. There's only one remaining adversary. Uh, I mean, yeah, there's like, there's three guys left. Yeah. All right. And uh, let's, see. let's see. I mean, there's, this is not going to go on for much longer, let's be honest. No. Alrighty, I will move, and let's see, it's the uh, feet for this board. I mean, basically you could just move your maximum movement and boost. Right. There is at this point not much you can do. Mm -hmm. Besides hacking, of course. Yeah. Alright. I will move, and I will attempt to hack the closest unit. Oh, the big bad guy. A, and that would be a D plus Uh, yeah, 18. what is what does your invasion do? Um, uh, that one should uh, freeze it up for a little bit. Um, well, yeah. What do you mean freeze it up? I think you can uh, like. Just up. Yes, what was what was just said by several people at once? <laughs> Hello? Yeah, I can say anything. Delayed. Delayed. The target, I think that's a quick tech, right? right? What does it do, specifically? Uh, okay, so, make a tech attack against the front, yeah, yeah, yeah. On a success, your target takes two heat, and you choose off the invasion options available to you. Yes, which Fragment one do you choose? Fragment signal is all available to all character. Additional options are granted by certain systems yeah, and equipment. I think yours specifically has special ones, uh, Brexter. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. why I'm asking what Let's specifically are you doing. Just use the uh, standard one. Well, which uh, which one of the standard ones? Because there's several. Frames. Where is it? Um, the squing. Yeah, hang on. Uh, Wait, no, let's just stick, stick with the standard ones now since, uh, yeah. you know. That's at this point, let me just. False information, obscene messages, or phantom signals to your target's computing core. They become impaired and slowed until the end of their next turn. Yeah, that was the one. Uh, impaired and slowed. Okay. Dope. Well, I think this basically concludes this battle. Uh, because he was just gonna f fuck off. But now that his mech is hacked, that is not going to work as much anymore. Awesome. And so it goes, okay, okay, I concede, I concede. Are your are your little friends going to concede as well? 
Mm, I think they're running away. I, whatever they're gonna do, whatever they're gonna do, they're just hired hands. Well then. Whew. You can, uh, you know, take me under arrest or whatever. Kill him. Hmm. I don't think we're gonna kill him. Ah, you always choose the boring options. I mean, you know, killing him, I think, if you did, I think Union would not be happy with you. Yeah, they <laughs> would charge you with murder. To kill him. Yeah, I think we're gonna grab him, and, uh, alright. He basically, he steps out of his mech, and, uh, there's, uh, uh Brexa, you do notice that there's something broadcasting off his mech. Probably, yeah. it's not, it's just in the mech, it's not the mech itself. This is probably a system with which he broadcasts to ensure that he doesn't get shot right now. Mm. So people know it's like probably yeah. like a dead man switch, and he's like he has a huge fucking grin on his face. It's like okay, alert everyone, you got me, and that means that we're gonna go back to the um ah this is the incorrect situation. Uh, we're gonna go back to this. We are no longer in combat. Bada boom. Bada boom. Immediately cool down. Just in case. Yeah. The other guys, you can catch them if you want. Um, otherwise, yeah. they're going to get caught by the police cordon. Uh, let's catch them ourselves. Yeah. I'd stay, I'd stay for the for the guy specifically, actually. Yeah, I mean, you know, you, you deal with this. You, you could catch everyone. It's just, uh, even, like, some of the pilots that survived are still alive. Um, what? One of the pilots whose mech you destroyed is also still alive. Good. Yeah. And, uh, uh, yeah, basically the police moves in. Uh, where is he? Kadr. He's like, damn. This is some shit. Uh, and then he's like, yeah, okay, then we're gonna take him into custody now. We're gonna take all these men into custody. Uh, Vulture? Or rather, I assume I know his name. Yeah, yeah, you know who he is. Alright, uh, D Dalibor Luciano, I hope you've had your fun. Oh, I absolutely have. <laughs> he's got some patricos in there. Oh. Just... Yeah. Well, yeah, we why? have to. Why are you so, uh, smiley? Oh, you know, this- things like this, they go wrong. I'm- I- I, I like the challenge. I'm gonna be out in no time. I have very right. good contacts. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Well... What, what were you planning to do with all your fucking- with, with all that- uh, those fucking weapons? Like, you well, have more than them. enough money, don't you? Mm, I mean, you can always have more money. I guess. I have a lot of money, I just don't have a lot, a lot of money. You understand? Not really, but if you say so. Like, right now he's like doctor rich. Like, yeah, yeah. you know, brain surgeon rich. He wants to be like fucking big Goomba rich. <laughs> No, yeah, no, I understand as a player, but... Giovanna, like, rich is rich, right? <laughs> you like, have money anyways? infinite money, though, right? <laughs> yeah. Although, I mean, uh, Vulture is probably a lot more than just Surgeon Rich. He's like yeah. a, He does shit like this all the time, and he bankrolled this entire operation. Yeah. Oh, well. I'm glad you've had your fun, as I said. Um... <laughs> Just try to lock him away as much as you, uh, as long as you can, Inspector. Right? Well, I very much will. Thank you for your cooperation in this matter. Mm -hmm. I will speak very highly of you. Always appreciate it. Cool. 
If you ever need a contact in the Surgut Customs Police, you know who to call. All right, I like that. Well, I think we're gonna stay in system for a little long, aren't we? Mm. Sorry, I don't know what you guys are going to do. I thought we were gonna stick in system. I don't know. Our uh, deal doesn't seem finished to me. I'm that going to do the same thing I always do and repair my mic. Yeah, but after that. No, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that essentially concludes this adventure. Really? <laughs> oh. I I would say that uh, would have said that like uh, you uh, you, you would have gained like a license level if this yeah. wasn't a one shot, uh, but it is a one shot. Yeah, but basically that's that is that is or unless there's anything anyone really wants to do still. Can I repair my mech? You absolutely can repair <laughs> your mech. Um. Well, okay, so when you activate final, uh, the final hunt, technically it means that you are getting all of the memories of combat and, uh, 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 from, like, the all of the users before you of your own mech. So probably I would have gotten, like, some special memories from my grandpa and gone to talk about with my parents about it. Yeah. So did he, act, uh, did, did he actually diddled you, though? <laughs> okay. I, ha I got access to Grandpa's special memories. Ah, I want to. I want to. I, wanna, I, wanna, I, wanna, yeah, I, wanna I was thinking of something wholesome, like oh, in the middle of combat when he was about to die, uh, he was, he was really thinking about furry? his son or something actually, like that. He re he, did, he really jacked off to birds. <laughs> 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 I mean, you get all the fucking memories, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Jesus. He probably also really loved his dog in a completely appropriate way, but... Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. For fuck's sake, yeah. I'm just saying I, as the GM, am deciding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, uh, before, yeah. Before we go, before we go, mm -hmm. I'm gonna follow this fucking guy. I, just, oh. I, I literally just forgot his name. You know, the one guy. guy. Which fucking guy? The, the guy you who know. Just Vulture. Vulture? Vulture? Yeah. yeah, Vulture, right? Yeah, I'm he's... Follow him. And I'm gonna roll. Well, what oh, do you mean wow. you follow him? He's be, He has, like, fucking six police officers around him as yeah, he's being... I'm, getting I'm, a, I'm following, I'm being sneaky, right? Put in a police car. It's There's literally hundreds of cops okay, here. Okay, okay, fine. But let me read this. <laughs> so, like, I'm not involved. Are you gonna just fucking explode the van that he's riding on? <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes, that, that's, <laughs> that's not gonna happen. I'm sorry. That is just I, that is just impossible to do. Come on, I rolled a twenty-three. Yeah, I don't care yeah. that you rolled a twenty-three. This is an impossible roll. <laughs> he planted C four on the van. I plan, Dude, I wait, C4 wait. The van. Dude, let him Dude. commit assisted suicide. Just let him. <laughs> No, I there's just him. there are there are roles that you cannot take because they are not possible. Come on, man. <laughs> Which aside from that, if you did do that, they would lock you up for life because you would not only would you have killed the guy, but also several police officers. Uh, yeah. No, 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 no. No one would have known it was me, obviously. Oh yeah, yeah of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah no, in this <laughs> no, no. place where there's hundreds of cops, thousands of no police officers. Have, no one would have known. No, literally no millions of police officers. <laughs> hundreds <laughs> of millions of badges. <laughs> of <laughs> actual billion cops. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, no one would have. <laughs> They're like ants, dude. <laughs> uh, killed two. Like uh, the entire population of Earth in cops, all yeah. looking at you. Jesus, imagine if you're all American. No, that's not gonna fucking happen. Don't just <laughs> roll. <laughs> let me just fucking roll. Hang on a minute. Yeah, let let me just roll on. Let me let me. For, I'm just gonna roll, and then the guy, the mission is done. Yeah, let me just exactly. roll to like kill um the president. Everyone, yeah. <laughs> everyone is dead. Everyone, everyone in the galaxy, yeah. all dead. It's just, I look. It's a critical hit. What are you gonna do? Yeah, yeah. Can I roll? Can I roll to ram the planet and shatter it? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> it's just for I Chuck mean, Norris listen, doing listen, push-ups. I actually, I'm not even kidding. I actually allow for that kind of stuff from time to time. Yeah, so, I well, never do. That's for me. Given that is the a... fucking, given the fucking damage output that I accidentally had today. <laughs> I mean, Jesus, you really got to play out your fantasies, my dude. Oh, yeah, my dude. Yeah. All I'm saying, any that terrain that includes the Earth, and you ignore all difficult terrain, being the planet. All right? I ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's it's a good combo. I think I'm going to... I think I'm not going to delete this character when I'm gone. When I'm done. Yeah. That might be a good idea. <laughs> I'm just going to keep it. Anywho, uh, thank you all very much for playing. Thank you all very much for watching. Uh, this was uh, cool. My mm. arm hurts for some reason. I don't even know why. Jerking Were off. you jacking off to the max? Absolutely on stream. <laughs> look at me. Yeah. Look at me. On stream, but it was an accident, actually. Anyone want to yeah. shout something out before we leave? Uh, Guys, check out my blog. Like um, a small word. Yeah, you know, six letters. What? what? I mean. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, we do not. No, 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 letters all jumbled together. Check <laughs> out my YouTube channel that might have a video at some what's point. The problem in the with these six letters? Like, what's the problem? A couple of G's, an I in an E, an R and an N, a hard R. Stand up soon. Ginger. Only a ginger can call another ginger ginger. Exactly. Like only a ninja can sneak up on another ninja. Yes. <laughs> you know, you're not allowed to say ginger, but you are allowed to say ginger. All right? Ginger. <laughs> ginger. <laughs> ginger. <laughs> oh, damn. Well, uh, thank you very much. Check out everybody's stuff. Um, I will upload this on, on the second YouTube channel also at, at, at some point. At this point, I will say, see you around, cunts.